Alrighty, good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, me of the future, and the void, as always. Hello, Slug Fan, hello, Shadow, hello, Chillabelle, hello, Eltic. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Can't believe it's that time of the year already. Uh, Slug Fan, Q is only one long. Oh, wait too long, <laughs> so you can easily jump in if you want to. <laughs> You're coping, but you're here to enjoy tonight's stream. I hope you get lucky if you still have any more pulls. Otherwise, my condolences. <laughs> I feel for you. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Alrighty. Uh, I have a hard time limit for today's stream because on my no leveling account, which I'm showing off here, I've made amazing progress of accomplishing nothing but farming red certificates. I need to see if I can unlock cold shot on this account. <laughs> so I'm giving myself an hour after stream <laughs> to try and brute force through, what is it, the two stages I need to clear? Oh wait, never mind. There's another day left. Sweet. I thought today was the final day of the event. I was having a stroke. <laughs> no time limit. Uh, let me get this Arknights game out of the way and show off my thighs. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, happy Halloween as well. I know some people are in a different time zone, so it might be Halloween where you are. But happy Halloween. Merry Christmas. I would sing the Padaru song, but I only know the first line. <laughs> Alrighty, one second. I started early so I could set everything up right and then forgot to set up one thing. Give me one second. <laughs> Like an absolute dumbass, assuming you can still hear me. I forgot to turn on my fan, despite it being fucking 40 degrees. <laughs> there we are, back, back, back. All sorted, nice and simple. Why is my model having a stroke? There we are. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, Eltic! And Merry Christmas! 40 degrees is insane. Yes, sir, it is sweltering. <laughs> Just Australia things. <laughs> early bird thighs. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you join the stream early, you get to see my fantastic thighs. <laughs> Alrighty, we have three members in the queue, so I will jump in straight away. Business as usual, everyone knows what to do, hopefully, hopefully. I will move Arknights to the other <laughs> section, my other monitor, so I can log into your account without doxing you. Let me Send me your email in DMs to South, not to Tarkus. <laughs> I'm still tech incompetent and haven't figured that out. And then you just need to tell me what stages and to approve the login. So kicking us off with number one, Eltic tracking its 11pm for you, man. So <laughs> I will jump straight in. <laughs> Oh, have you? Okay, there's already a code. Wonderful. My guy's thinking ahead. Let's make sure that code works, though. <laughs> okay, so you want the trim and then CM if I have time. Trim should be possible because I figured out a strat that works pretty reliably for that. CM, though? Not sure, not sure. <laughs> CM is lightly brutal. <laughs> hey, don't thank me. You jumped the gun. You were first member of the queue. You're first off the bat. <laughs> Okay, we're in, we're in. Now let me just check to make sure we're friends. Uh, I need to put my Typhon up because the strategy I use relies on having a Typhon. Never mind, you have a friend with a higher level Typhon than mine? Let's go, that'll make it way, way easier. Really need to work on that sneeze emote, given how sneezy I've been recently. <laughs> If you can't do CM, that's fine. You'll probably brute force. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, just depends. Although I'm not as much in a time crunch as I thought, because there's still one day left to the event. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, wait, let me unmute Arknights. <laughs> I had it muted because I was passively farming while playing Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> that is the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> okay, screen is all set up. Why do you only have... Alright, yeah, you get a whole bunch of the medals all at once. Alrighty, let's go. Starting us off nice and easy. X8, I expect that's probably what most of you need help with. <laughs> Which team do you want me to change? Eltec 4th Squad? <laughs> or do you not care? You did the trim with Dorothy and Typhon to slow and kill. <laughs> you copied my strategy. How could you do this? Any is okay. I'll use 4th Squad since you're not using it. Might as well build a team from scratch. So first off, before I inevitably forget, because I think I've established by now that while my long-term memory is really fantastic, my short-term memory could use a little bit of work. Let me quickly grab your friend's amazing Typhon. <laughs> now, as soon as we get an E2 unit, that should go. Let me just make sure this is S3. I'm pretty sure it is. 
<laughs> yes, okay, wonderful, wonderful, perfect. <laughs> now we just build the rest. I don't actually need Serta for this. <laughs> and yeah, Chillabel, very happy you were able to scuff my strat into your own. That's wonderful news. <laughs> So just read your message that I've missed a self. <laughs> Feels weird to use that in a... <laughs> given the circumstances, but any is fine. <laughs> eh -heh. Eh -heh or whatever it is Paimon says in that one cutscene. I don't know why I went for an impression of that. <laughs> Bad decision on my end. <laughs> okay, let's naturally just get a couple lane holders. Let's get Mr. Schwing Schwing because he's very, very convenient. Mountain will also be very, very handy. Now we just need some vanguards and some healers, and this should be relatively breezy. <laughs> Rare siege unit. <laughs> Somehow, like, all of my fans are siege users. <laughs> Everyone I talk to who plays Arknights is a siege enjoyer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just attract them. <laughs> okay, let's grab AAR, and let's grab Salon, since we might as well. Salon is pretty based, naturally auto. Siege is awesome. <laughs> you're you're really rare though because you're a saga and a siege enjoy. Usually it's one of the two. It's very rare to have both. <laughs> also, Shadow, since you're in the Twitch as well, hello Shadow. You get a second hello. <laughs> if you say hi in the Twitch, you get a second hello. <laughs> Trade offer. <laughs> okay, now this should be fine. Uh, so what else do I need? I mean. I have Saria, I might as well bring Saria. <laughs> Makes it more convenient. Hello there, Muffin with nothing. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, trade offer. You spam Kafka from Arknights and Twitch, I say hello a second time. <laughs> You're a scavenger enjoyer, then Saga. Yeah, yeah, I was also a scavenger enjoyer. Alrighty, I'm just gonna raw dog it, as always. You might lose some sanity due to me suffering a skill issue, but it is what it is. <laughs> That's the price you pay for my assistance. Fellow Saga enjoyer, let's go. Yeah, yeah, you're like a full-on Saga simp, and I mean that in a complimentary way. <laughs> a lot of people use Saga in the context of her being better than Siege, not because they like Saga. Uh, but you just like Saga, which is incredibly based. <laughs> okay, let's set up Siege here, naturally. I always forget how long it takes Myrtle to activate her skill when you don't... <laughs> Have Max Mastery Myrtle. <laughs> no Tokho? I don't know what that means. Apologies. Uh, if that's one of Saga's lines, I don't read Japanese. <laughs> I've tried though. You have five sanity pots and two big sanity pots. Okay, I was worried about nothing. <laughs> you understand. You are prepared for me to absolutely <laughs> waste resources. Natto Gohan. Aburagi. Romano Kista. Now I get what's going on. My apologies. I was having a dumbass moment. I put Saga in the wrong spot. That's fine. I only needed her for a moment. Thank you, Myrtle. Very cool. <laughs> Your job here is done. Now, Salon, you can be Mountain's dedicated healer. Not that he really needs one, but I need a use for Salon, so... <laughs> now, Serta will make this more convenient. Okay, right. And we're going for Metal Trim as well as 3-star. Should be very, very doable. I'll deploy Golden Glow because Golden Glow is based. <laughs> And that way I can activate her ASAP. Okay, Mountain, are you absolutely fine? Yeah, you should be. Sweet. Siege, I need you to very quickly finish off those two. So that Typhon can lock onto Cliff. <laughs> if Typhon doesn't lock onto Cliff, I need to restart because I've suffered a fatal case of skill issue. Now, just to double down on not having my other units die, let's use Black Knight. <laughs> okay, yep, quick kill him. Good job. <laughs> Now, Black Knight, your job's done. I need to catch these two who are leaking, so I will get set to do that. But it's not a major rush or anything. Honestly, they might just die to Golden Glow. Never mind. <laughs> now, while Typhon is doing her thing, let's quickly burst this down, see if we can activate it again. Doesn't matter, Serta's going to proc her talent here. She was going to proc it anyway. I just need her to activate this thing. <laughs> or get it close enough to activation. Oh no, sorry, that's the Metal Trim gone. Let me restart, let me restart. I forgot we were going specifically for Metal Trim. Let me get someone who will specifically activate that. Oh, you can hear my Discord? Thanks for letting me know. Sorry, I unmuted it. <laughs> Skill issue. It is now muted again. 
<laughs> Happy Lunar New Year. Yes, Dark Lune. Happy Lunar New Year. It's Christmas where I am, but that's just a time zone difference. So I hope you're enjoying the holiday. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. She does prioritize heavy. You're right. Okay, I don't specifically need Black Knight, but she... So it might actually be better to take Suzerain for her debuff. Honestly, this team is fine. I just need to not have a stroke. <laughs> I just need to pay attention. <laughs> My fatal flaw. Looking at the map. <laughs> I'm too busy waffling. Too much waffling. Too little time. You genuinely thought the Merry Christmas was an April Fool's thing, then you realize time zones exist? Yeah, yeah, it's just a time zone thing. Uh, I do understand the confusion, though. <laughs> it's pretty normal to think I'm just playing around. <laughs> Yeah, like, you gotta respect other people's holidays. Some people don't have a really solidified sense of time, and that's not their fault. <laughs> okay, so that we get some proper saga usage in, let's pop her down here, and then immediately retreat her, because her job is done. <laughs> Typhon prioritized the blaster instead of cliff. Oh, no, no, it's uh, this lane that Siege is guarding that I was worried Typhon would prioritize. I don't care if she prioritizes that guy, he's out of range. <laughs> Very thankfully, he is in the clear. Now, let's put Mountain slightly further forward. He's in range of that anyway. And he has a dedicated healer. And he has dedicated Wham, so... <laughs> Do I have plans for the upcoming Thursday? Is there something happening Thursday that I don't know about? Or are you just asking if I'm free? I am free. I didn't schedule a stream for this Thursday because I will be uh, starting a new job tomorrow. So I scheduled uh, my two streams for the weekend just to <laughs> make sure I would be free and have time and not be burned out. I'll be I'll adapt to it very quickly, but whenever you start a new job, just in case, better to be safe. Congrats on the new job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mountain, keep doing your thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks like Saga Saga was absolutely clutch there. These guys aren't leaking. The left lane, the good old Ifrit and Saria, yeah, that's very valid. Thursday has a few important events that I'll probably want to know about. Oh, by all means, let me know. I'm always happy to learn about new things. <laughs> I just wasn't aware. Literally clueless. Unironically clueless. Okay, Saga, let's deploy you... Oh, no, no, that guy will die to Golden Glow. No reason to be worried. <laughs> now, I'll wait for him to move in range so that Typhon uses her thing while he's defense shredded. <laughs> there we go. Golden Glow, do your thing. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, this time I'll deploy Serta here so that she doesn't immediately die. <laughs> oh. Golden Glow, you failed me yet again. There were no Kane's chicken fingers. <laughs> oh, no, damn, it did pop. Quick, Serta, activate it before you retreat. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Typhon has two more. Quick, Thorns, activate it before he dies. <laughs> nope, he's not attacking the right one. Will it act? Yes, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Okay, that is uh, part one of the Metal Trim Down. I'll leave Typhon alive so she can use her next few shots, and then I will retreat her to redeploy her later. <laughs> now that's strategy. <laughs> now, this might be a scuffed strategy, because I don't have Dorothy to slow him down, <laughs> like I did for mine. But it'll be fine. She'll be right, as they say. This guy did instantly kill Siege, but I suspect Mlynar will be just marginally tankier. <laughs> just a little bit. I, d I don't know why I got that impression. I don't know. <laughs> Could be any reason, any number of reasons, but I think Mlynar's marginally tankier. Okay, Typhon fire one more time. Thank you, very cool. But yeah, no, like, if there's anything going on Thursday, absolutely let me know. <laughs> Though that may be a joke for unspecified reasons. I'm not sure why you'd play a prank on me like that, given that today is just a normal Monday with absolutely nothing special happening. Ah, uh, but... Call me, uh, Ace Detective. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. The way I'm predicting that. <laughs> okay, Saga, you're up. Mountain died of cringe. <laughs> Myrtle, you're also up. <laughs> Stole the enemy. <laughs> Uh, this other guy will almost certainly die to Golden Glow, so I'm not worried. Oh, there's two of them. That is a slight dies of cringe moment. Looks like Mountain might not be sufficient for that left side. That's very good to know. <laughs> Come on, Saga. <laughs> I might actually need to swap to Saga S3. That's always rare. <laughs> oh, no, no. She's clutched it out. She's clutched it out. <laughs> and Golden Glow should be enough to kill him. There we go. That's that side done. 
Oh, there's many important events and all of them pertain to me. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yes. I need to figure out something to stall Cliff. <laughs> I need to delay this, man. It's a shame you don't have Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a VTuber event on Thursday. Yeah, it's um, it's something that's like so elite, I'm not even announcing where I'm streaming it. <laughs> so none of you can even be there. That's how elite it is. <laughs> Thorns, you are utterly worthless there. Uh, parentheses, affectionate. It's a hump day. <laughs> you have no idea about these events? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now, do you have Robin? Even E0 level 1? Hopefully. Because an unleveled Robin can unironically clutch this out. Why don't I filter by specialists? No. Why do you not have Robin, sir? <laughs> She's a welfare. There's a real AK tweet. <laughs> you don't have Robin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I figured it out. Uh, let's see. Who's tanky enough to survive a single hit from Clip? That's all I need. He is immune to sleep. Otherwise, I would use Kafka. Which is very unfortunate. <laughs> You have E1 Karara. I don't think that'll help against an insta-kill. <laughs> let me see, let me see. All I need is someone to slow. I mean, I could just use Sari as S3 instead of her S1. That might suffice. Thorns, you weren't really necessary, so let me swap you out for someone else. La Pluma will just die. Amia might be the better call, just to give the slight attack buff to the team. Before I forget, let me grab someone's Typhon. <laughs> very, very critical. Saria S3, let's go. Salon, you'll have to do. Use Schwartz to kill phase one. Oh, that's a viable solution, actually. That wouldn't the problem is that wouldn't get me the medal if I then use Typhon on phase two. But what I can theoretically do is weaken him. That might be the way to do it, actually. Saga, I'll swap you to your S3 because unironically that will be better here. I'm usually not a Saga S3 enjoyer, but in this case, I am. <laughs> Suzeran, uh, I'll retreat Saria instead. I'll replace her with a uh, Schwartz. That's about as far as you've gotten on the stage. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty brutal stage, not gonna lie. Alrighty, let's go. Now, Mountain will eventually die, which is unfortunately kind of cringe. <laughs> Imagine dying. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I've never died once in my life. <laughs> Used penance to out of the crowd near the right spawn box. If Eltic had penance, I would also be using penance. <laughs> She's a slight game changer when it comes to lane holding. <laughs> you haven't been tuned into AK recently? Yeah, that's very, very fair. Don't, don't stress that stuff. Never stress that stuff. It's a video game. Real life always comes first. <laughs> Okay, now they should be fine to take a few hits, which is good. Now let's get you there, AAR. She can help out with Mountain this way, so that might be the game changer. <laughs> Thank you, Saga. Incredibly cool. <laughs> okay, now we just need enough DP for Mountain, which we have. And he will be in range of AAR and Salon, so he should be fine. <laughs> okay, Saga, I'll retreat you for now. Your Schwartz is fully maxed, there might be a stat diff. I'm not expecting her to insta-kill him, but I can deploy Serta to help out. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, now let's also start getting Golden Glow set up, because might as well. We have the extra slot. And then Mlynar, because also might as well. But let's go, yes sir, let's go. <laughs> okay, Schwartz, quick, clutch it out. <laughs> Thank you, Schwartz, very cool. <laughs> and now we activate Golden Skill... Golden Skill Glow. <laughs> golden... Glow skill. <laughs> Why words? <laughs> Why must words be so cringe? <laughs> now quick, while he's stunned, go. <laughs> and because he doesn't actually move, I can do this. <laughs> I was being a dumbass with Serta earlier. This is the way. <laughs> oh, he's attacking Liner. Interesting. He must... Oh yeah, he's just barely in range. Now let's wait, let's wait. Activate it, please. And then I'll use Typhon. And that should be enough to kill him, hopefully while it's active, otherwise I'll... Oh damn, that's incredibly cringe. <laughs> damn, that lasts so little time. I'll have to restart for the metal, but I think this strat will work. Okay, I need to just not rush that as much. I need to activate Typhon earlier. 
isn't going to target Cliff and Face. Yeah, yeah, she'll still follow him. So if I keep her ammo count high, she'll still be tracking him. She stays locked on until the target dies. She doesn't unlock during a second phase, though she will shoot at other enemies he's near. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> this is absolutely the way, it's just timing it for the metal is really, really cringe, because he needs to be under this and it doesn't last very long. <laughs> okay, let's uh, lead with Saga. Nah, lead with Siege. Why change what isn't broken? I say having lost multiple times. <laughs> Okay, Myrtle skill, let's go. Wait for that guy to be out of range. There we are. What, would you say this stage is harder than WDX8? No. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> that is notorious for being one of the hardest stages in the game. <laughs> uh, the trimmed version of this, no, it's, the trimmed isn't necessarily super difficult or anything. It's uh, like in terms of actual stage difficulty, it's just annoying. Uh, because it's very easy to mistime it. It's just a case of timing it. It doesn't ultimately change the boss. Uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> a very good thing. <laughs> now let's get Typhon ready. Let's get Golden ready. Golden Glow ready earlier as well. If only this account had a Yato S2. Yeah, I've used her for that as well. <laughs> hi, hi. Hello, Ancient. How you doing, man? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, Saga, your job here is kind of done, but I'll leave you up because you're about to get X3. Don't worry too much about being you, Eltic. <laughs> it's just how it goes. It's, it's the natural order of life. It means you still have a lot more game to explore that the rest of us have already cleared and are bored of. <laughs> Alright, might as well activate Golden Glow skill. Now Saga will quickly kill all of them. Siege, do your thing. <laughs> Activated her lightly early, but that's fine. Let's activate Typhon early as well. It is a bit of a waste of ammunition, but that should be fine. Line I survived, which is what matters. Oh, did I immediately fuck it up? Maybe. I should be able to activate it in time, I think. Maybe, maybe. Come on. Clutch it out. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I sped up too much. You realize the channel points are called, uh, called pipe bomb materials? Yes, sir. By watching on Twitch, you collect pipe bomb materials. <laughs> Rip. Oh, damn it. Rip again. I just started without Typhon. I was distracted. Tarkus, do I cook much? Yes. I Just today I cooked myself a lovely macaroni. Uh, similar to American mac and cheese, but more healthy. <laughs> so just bacon, cheese, macaroni. Relatively basic, but very, very nice. I also make lots of spicy dishes because I have a high spice tolerance. Hello, hello all. Nice to see you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope your day's been going well. And Merry Christmas, by the way. I've been saying that every time someone comes in, just to make sure they get in the festive spirit. <laughs> okay. Don't have a stroke. That's a difficult challenge for me, but I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> oh god, I hate my hate fever so much. <laughs> it's year round. <laughs> There's no escape. Soda S3 isn't M3 to shorten it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, this isn't my account, Dark Lude. Eltic is fairly new, so he doesn't have many E2s, let alone Masteries. My mom got a pipe bomb and she wants to compliment you on your quality construction and stable payload. Hey, that's what it's all about. <laughs> like, the yes, some people have been getting them a little bit delayed. There are more of you than I expected, but you can't say I make shoddy work. I make impeccable craftsmanship. <laughs> say what you will about the obligatory pipe bomb you don't ask for, but it is very well made. What's my favorite type of cheese? Jarlsberg or Bluevein? Or parmesan. Actually, no, no, no. I'll change my answer to parmesan. Because I was just thinking, I sometimes enjoy eating Jarlsberg and Bluevein, and sometimes it's disgusting. I always enjoy eating parmesan. <laughs> on pasta, on nachos, on beef. <laughs> not by itself. I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> and or Italian. <laughs> oh, yay, Christmas trees! There's Christmas emotes! I forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, now let's get Golden Glow set up. Parmesan is amazing. Yes, sir. Best cheese. By far. Cheddar is also pretty nice, to be fair. Also, did you know? Like, isn't that such a crazy fact? It's hard to believe, but it's true. Itakus, I haven't seen my 30k <laughs> character manifesto in the New York Times yet. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm- I keep those private. It's between friends. It's an in-joke between friends. It's not a terrorist attack. 
You did not know that. That yeah, like crazy fact. So few people. I thought way more people would know, but like just people don't. It's it's so wild to me. <laughs> It was a fun fact about Parmesan that I realized wasn't fun, uh, like halfway, so. <laughs> I figured that would actually be a funnier way of telling that joke. <laughs> I stand by it, I stand by it. <laughs> now, he shouldn't kill Mlynar here. Hey, thank you, Mlynar, for being ridiculously tanky. <laughs> now, once Serta is ready, I will activate Typhon. Once he's below half <laughs> HP. So once Typhon next shoots, I'll activate Serta again. Should be good enough. <laughs> Should be perfectly timed. Hey, check it out. Literally perfect timing. <laughs> Flawless. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> okay, Mountain is still alive. Having AAR helping out is very clutch. W, yes sir, yes sir. Now Siege, you're going to die there. But, <laughs> schwing schwing. <laughs> Counter argument. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Oh damn, Lionheart died there as well. Thankfully Saga is back. <laughs> And Saga should be fine to 1v1 this guy, especially with a- you know what, I'm gonna give Saga a little bit of a helping hand. Actually, having Lynar die there is kind of incredibly cringe and might have lost me the run. Uh, skill issue on my part. <laughs> Saga, quick, do your thing. <laughs> Hard carry it, Saga. <laughs> yep, okay, I can't have Lynar die there. <laughs> very good to know, very good to know. So I need to delay that guy a little bit. Oh no, let's go. Hey, don't worry, I got the hard part, which is timing the boss's death. <laughs> That's the part I struggle with. <laughs> it's difficile. <laughs> Let me actually see if I can use someone other than Soda and have Soda assassinate that guy. That might make it a little bit easier. As long as the timing works, it's okay. Yeah, like, for real. <laughs> the timing is the most critical thing. Let's deploy Siege nice and early so she can hopefully get... Better skill timings for more DP gain. I do really like this soundtrack. This event soundtrack. <laughs> for a boomer account, this boss ain't all that. Yeah, yeah. Having, um... I mean, he he's definitely an interesting boss because you cannot stall him. You know? <laughs> like, you, you just can't. <laughs> he will just kill you through it. <laughs> but... Uh, very, very interesting boss. Especially, uh, but yeah, not, for Boomer's not too threatening. He only took me a couple tries. I first tried him on default, but not on high difficulties, obviously. <laughs> oh, you, you can with enough DP, yeah. <laughs> but even then, only certain units, because only a couple of units can survive his buffed attack. Unfortunately. Actual dies of cringe moment. Okay, now let's make sure I type time this right. The boss is cool but feels so detrimental and it's disheartening. Yeah, it definitely is like a massive noob check. <laughs> because it forces you to engage in the boss a certain way, if you can't, you're just kind of screwed. <laughs> Which is uh, not ideal. Okay, now let's start timing this correctly. As soon as Saga kills this enemy, retreat her. <laughs> Thank you, Saga. Very cool. <laughs> no, boss, start shooting Miner. Mlynana. <laughs> Just the trim metal is the hard part. Yeah, it's been that way for a couple of events. <laughs> okay, let's get as much use out of Siege as I can. There we are. Now we activate Serta. And we'll launch with Typhon. And that should be plenty. Hopefully. <laughs> yep, Typhon should get off uh, two shots while it's active, which should be absolutely fine. Oh, come on, don't cringe me out, boss. Oh my god, that didn't count for the metal. <laughs> By 0 0.01 seconds. Be right back, you're gonna go find whale facts for me. Oh, by all means, I'm always down to learn fun facts. Hoshiguma can tank Cliff if you're lucky. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the story of Hoshiguma in a nutshell. She can tank anything as long as you roll the dice enough. Burst while distracting with Hoshi. Even found a use for Silence Elter. Yeah, anyone with literal iframes is perfect. Typhon, Spectre, Alter, and Nightingale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or even just default Spectre. But yeah, Spectre, Alter can just, um... S3 HP through it, so... <laughs> just lane hold cliff with Bee Hunter. <laughs> yeah, SL level 1 Bee Hunter. Just roll a dice until you win. <laughs> That's the most efficient way to play the stage.
60% dodge with M3. Buff it further with Maya. You're not thinking hard enough. Iframes when did <laughs> Arknights become a Souls like? Uh, Arknights has had Iframes for a while, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, Silence Alter does have a no one dies button. It doesn't work on Serta though, which is very interesting. Serta cannot actually die. <laughs> like, she is completely, literally unkillable. <laughs> Always has been. Yes, sir, it always has been. <laughs> okay, let's get everyone set up. We're almost up to the part of the stage where I need to pay attention. Oh, I deployed Golden Glow in the wrong spot. You know what? That is ultimately fine, because she is global range. Silence Ulta? Yeah, uh, she is a welfare, so you can get her if you want to. She was part of the uh, new newish Rhodes Island event. <laughs> How would those dodges stack? They stack multiplicatively rather than additively, which is to say, you cannot get a 100% dodge chance. <laughs> People have tried. So for example, if you have a 50% dodge chance and Maya gives your unit a 10% dodge chance, you have a 55% uh, dodge chance. You don't have a 60% dodge chance. <laughs> uh, it's two separate roles. So the way the game actually calculate, uh, actually calculates, it's calculate, yeah, words, calculates it. You roll the dice for a 50-50, and then if you win, you roll the dice for a 10% dodge chance. So it does them all individually in a row, and that you have to fail all of them. Yeah, 100% dodge is not real. Sag is in Flametail. However, you can get 100% res. <laughs> Shout out my boy Matterhorn. Literally refusing to take damage from arts. <laughs> oh, I'm a dumbass. Saga's gonna- Oh no no, Saga has dodge, let's go. <laughs> the problem is that Siege got stunned. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I, I was about to aim Serta down like a dumbass. Schwartz, thank you, that was actually a major contribution. <laughs> okay, now let's have Typhon shoot twice, and then I will activate Serta. <laughs> 100 res is insane, yes sir it is. <laughs> okay, now this should be all good, should be. We'll find out if not. Time will tell. You know, surely that counts. <laughs> yes! Okay, phase one de dealt with. <laughs> now, we really need this MF to die, so thankfully we have the stall button. <laughs> this guy ruined the last run, but I learned from my mistakes. W, let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Siege only barely died, which is fine, because we have Schwing Schwing. Uh, it is also fine for Suzerain to die. Oh, please kill him. He's low enough HP that at least most of the bullets will go from Typhon to the correct target, which is Pog. <laughs> so that's definitely helped out. It is a shame that Siege died, but we have Amia. <laughs> Schwing Schwing is amazing, yeah. <laughs> Schwing Schwing has always been amazing, both the OG Schwing Schwing and the new one. And we will uh, remove Typhon so we can deploy her again later. Damn, Mountain hasn't died yet. Wells are born with human-like feet that they lose a few months after birth. Yeah, that is definitely a true fact. A more interesting true fact, did you know that every single one of us was born genetically female? For the first few months, I think it is. <laughs> and then we become male later on. <laughs> but we start off female, which is why we have nipples. <laughs> That's the biological reason. Okay, now, I believe Mountain will die. So I will save Serta. <laughs> Silver Schwing Schwing was meta until Gold <laughs> Schwing Schwing. <laughs> yeah. Silver Schwing Schwing was indeed meta. Okay, now, Mountain somehow didn't die, so I'm going to use Saga somewhere else. <laughs> now, unironically, let's uh, let's use Serta to tank the boss's stun. Because that will uh, help out. <laughs> that doesn't count as a die. <laughs> that gives us a lot of wiggle room. Oh, Saga, Saga, please. Please, Saga, please. This is a bit of a problem. We have no solution. Oh, wait, Golden Glow. Never mind. <laughs> We're fine. And now, because no one else spawns, I believe I can use Typhon here. <laughs> That's fine for Salon to die there. Saga, I'll retreat you for now. Mountain is 100% going to die to Cliff. <laughs> Slight problem. Saga, funny number two. Yes, sir. <laughs> we talking about Gacha Whales or Sea-Dwelling Mammals? Both. <laughs> both of them are born with human feet, and both of them lose human feet as they get older. It's an unfortunate fact. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll have Platinum Schwing Schwing. Yeah, we'll collect <laughs> Just all the different colors. <laughs> oh, rip, uh, rip Suzerain, and he's going to dash off of that. We might just be able to kill him here. Maybe. Shout out Golden Glow, by the way. <laughs> now, the problem is we can't actually deploy any new units until the boss is dead. So... 
at this stage, we just hope. Unless we can get Surtur up in time. Maybe. Oh, the boss is standing still. That's actually amazing. Yep, we can Surtur the other three units. <laughs> worked out well, worked out well. And that lowers... Uh, the problem is, can we actually kill him while he's in these? Maybe. Oh, if he walks into range of one. Oh, no, no. Typhon. If we leave him super low HP... <laughs> We can do it when it next activates. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Works out well. We've got Golden Glow and Schwartz, so as soon as it next activates, we can kill him and get you the Metal Trim. We just need to stall it out a little bit. I'll wait for him to move enough that I can hit this with Amia. That should be plenty. Now, this is a very strange thing to do, but... <laughs> this will stop him in place while he uses his super attack. Hopefully. Come on, activate it, Amia. Amia, come and clutch. No! <laughs> Damn it. One frame off of winning. Okay, the strategy works. I just need to be less shit. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I should have stalled with Saga on the other tile. That was my fault. <laughs> but the strategy works. My guy th throwing for content. Yes, sir. <laughs> throwing for content for real, for real. That was insane. Hey, look. It means the strat works. <laughs> Which means I don't need to change anything. Whale pods, what whales are born in, have anywhere from two to 20,000 whales per pod? Damn, that's like the same as an iPod shuffle. <laughs> you can retreat a unit since he does a normal attack, then skill retreat. Oh, okay, so if I'd retreated her fast enough, that would have been enough. That's fine, that's fine. It just means I um, need to stall him slightly longer or activate that earlier. Which, if I set up Linar here... I, or even over there, I can absolutely do. Like, if I set up Linar here, aiming down <laughs> the second time, because he was up in time. <laughs> Damn, you missed a medal on CV8. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> Hi, Tarkus, just finished dinner. How is Christmas hand-holding going? It's going well! What'd you have for dinner? Hopefully it was something nice. <laughs> you needed to do that when following Echogen's guide. Damn, Echogen is better at the game than me if he noticed that. I just brute force everything. <laughs> Why not Surtur up at the last part? Uh, because he would have died, and you need him to be affected by this vent to get the metal trim. So we could have three-starred it, but we would have missed the metal. Ah, uh, so that's why. Oh, it's just for the metal. But yeah, we could have absolutely three-starred it. <laughs> okay, now, actually, deploying Golden Glow down here is the better option. Because it helped us massively there, because the boss didn't kill Glo Golden Glow. <laughs> Gotta do it slow, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a skill issue on my part, but one I can rectify. <laughs> Just means I need to stall the boss slightly earlier when he's attacking Saga up here in phase one. Which is very easy to do, because he uses his skill on Saga, so I can just deploy Amiya to block him, temporarily. Is Echogen the Arknights YouTuber who looks like Josuke4? I don't know who that is. <laughs> and I don't know what Echogen looks like. <laughs> so you are unfortunately asking the wrong person. <laughs> Please don't talk about the number of holes that a whale has. <laughs> also, Shadow, thank you as always for making sure my Twitch viewership knows where the Discord is. Uh, your service is greatly appreciated. <laughs> Okay, now we do need to set up Mlynar here, but that's fine. Now, as long as um, that happens... Yep, sweet. Now, before we stand still... Yes! <laughs> we bought time. Wonderful. <laughs> and Schwartz should kill both of them. Yes, perfect. So that bought us a little bit more time for this to come back up naturally, which is perfect. Thank you for your service, Amir. <laughs> Echogen looks like... Uh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> It's a stereotype, but uh, we can't really distinguish, so. <laughs> now, this might actually save me Surtur, which will be really pog. Yo, Mlynar lives that? Okay, now let's uh, let's activate. Yeah. This will be the better way to do it, because the vent will activate <laughs> sus <laughs> by itself. <laughs> Hopefully we can kill him in time and save ammo. Wait, this isn't the same Typhon. This is S2, goddammit. <laughs> Pranked. <laughs> Earlier, I was insistent on you providing whale facts for the greater good of the Tarkus community. No, look, that's just to troll Tarkus when we're all stalking him. Because we're all parts of his stalkers. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why the enemy didn't die. Okay, this is the correct Typhon. <laughs> you have two friends with an E2 maxed out Typhon. <laughs> that's not Typhon, that's Tornado. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't matter how much morale people have when they're making the pipe bombs because I hand make all of the pipe bombs. I am responsible for the content that reaches your shelves, and I take that responsibility as seriously as I do my promises to assassinate anyone for five bucks, no questions asked. <laughs> like, it, it's basically a core part of my personality, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, now let's uh, pay slight attention to the start, because otherwise Saga's skill is slightly off cycle. <laughs> What's my morale when making pipe bombs? Oh, it's just meditative, you know? You don't really need to pay attention. <laughs> When you've done something so many times, it just becomes second nature. <laughs> five bucks is five bucks? Yeah, exactly. Tw I'm not gay, but twenty dollars is twenty dollars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> YouTube has been censoring anything these days. Oh, what did it censor? <laughs> it doesn't show anyone as having lost a comment. That does happen sometimes, and a as always, it is not me who censors your comments, it's YouTube. <laughs> I have never- the only comment I've deleted uh, was Shadow saying first. Whereupon, I then stole the first and said I was first instead. Because <laughs> I thought that was funny to do so. The VTuber lore is weird these days. <laughs> Look, my lore as South is very, very simple. I'm an assassin for the love of the craft. All the other fancy pantsy background details about me, you don't really need to know those, do you? <laughs> you know what I do for a profession. That's what matters. <laughs> South heart violence? Uh, that's because I heart violence and I am self. <laughs> Let's test that. Yeah, sure, send me five bucks, I'll kill anyone. <laughs> five bucks to retreat a unit? Bet. <laughs> it's not my sanity. But yeah, uh, by the way, that's in any game. If you want me to kill myself, chuck five bucks my way, tell me to do it, I will. <laughs> because it'd be funny. Okay, now, as soon as that's done... Thank you, Amya. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Saga, as well. You did your job. <laughs> Bro is Elsa from ReZero IRL. <laughs> I haven't watched uh, ReZero, but yes. Mountain, how did you die there? Oh, I didn't activate Golden Glows. <laughs> Golden Glows skill. <laughs> You're not opposed to excess of industrial society, but a well-crafted pipe bomb is a well-crafted pipe bomb. Yeah, like, when it's handmade, it just has that extra wow factor. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that, that was the difference between Mountain dying and not dying. Activating Golden Glow skill. <laughs> Krill issue, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm one in a Krillion, but sometimes you make a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> you know, I was tempted, by the way, for April Fools to just uh, pretend to not speak English and only speak German. But the problems with that are none of you speak German and I'm not fluent in German. <laughs> <So> <laughs> It was a very brief bit I thought would be funny, and then I realized, wait, no, it won't. <laughs> Do I have any plans to move to the mountains of Montana? No. I will probably never visit America, because even though there are places in America I want to go, I'm afraid of getting shot. <laughs> and that's not because everywhere in America is dangerous, that's because I personally have a really bad track record when it comes to choosing safe places in other places in other countries, and I don't like doing research. Uh, when I went to Japan, I accidentally stayed in the red light district. <laughs> Which means, on my first day in Japan, when I, right after I'd visited a shrine on the way from the airport, I walked past a porno store <laughs> to get to my hotel. Uh, is my new job at Berkeley University? Uh, yes, you can tell by my strong American accent that I do indeed work at Berkeley University. Are the medals only for decoration? Yes, decoration and, um... What's the word? <laughs> Social- the EN equivalent of social credit. Bragging rights, that's it. <laughs> Sign language only stream. Tell you what, if I ever get a 3D model, if you ask me to, I will learn some sign language and use it. <laughs> Red light district, uh, that means where people pay money for sexual encounters, in case people aren't familiar with the terminology. But yes, I did accidentally end up staying there. Your Arknights crashed, I'm looking. Du sprichst Deutsch? Ja, ich spreche in den Wiesen Deutsch. Uh, ich bin nicht gut, ich bin in der Nähe von B2, aber ich kann verstehen einfaches Deutsch. <laughs> so, einfaches Deutsch ist okay, aber English ist besser für alles. <laughs> My pronunciation's a little bit off, so sorry about that. I just, in general, have not been speaking well today, whether that's in English or other. <laughs> okay, Myrtle, your job there is done. Now, as soon as he locks in... There we go. Now, is that a normal attack? No. Now we're good. Saga, thank you for the dodge. Very cool. <laughs> Schwartz, thank you. Do your thing. <laughs> oh, Saga actually killed all of them. Let's go. 
My German's better than yours. <laughs> Don't worry too much about it. My German's not amazing. The Red Light Hotel was indeed very clean. It was a very, very upper-class hotel. It was just in the border of the Red Light District. So I just headed south instead of north. Did I bring a black light to the hotel? No. This was a very nice hotel. <laughs> it was just in the red light district. <laughs> it wasn't like... It was uh, It was on the border of the suburb that is the red light district is all. Oh, that's really cringe. <laughs> Thankfully, the vent will activate itself, like an Among Us. Damn some strong sneezes. Yeah, I'm a sneezy boy as always. Quick, Serta, speed it up. <laughs> Thank you, Serta, very cool. I forgot to set down Suzerain. That might have ended the run. <laughs> You know what? It ain't over till it's over. It is not Jova just yet. Uh, will Typhon even get the medal? No. Okay, so I would have fucked it up anyway. <laughs> you didn't even see Siege. She's better than Saga because Saga died. <laughs> Some great places in America are Compton, California, Chicago, and Bronx, New York. <laughs> Look, if I ever do go to America, the main things I want to visit are, like, a few conventions and a lot of, um, naval, uh, ships. What's the word? Museum ships, that's it. Because I'm very into World War II naval history. Uh, as a result of some of the people I've met and some of the stories they've been able to tell me. <laughs> but also just like some of the wild stuff they got up to. Like that time, um, one US boat, a battleship was out of range. So they <laughs> intentionally <laughs> flooded half of their ship to tilt the ship slightly so that they could yeet cannonballs slightly further. <laughs> Which is just very, very funny. I think it was the Montana, Mighty Mo, which... <laughs> classic US. Battleships should make a comeback. Oh, like the USS Lobster Fest? Uh, no, that doesn't exist because that was trademarked. So it was, uh, what was the name Russian Badger went for instead? <laughs> I know he went for something else. <laughs> it's a personal favor. A fave. Yeah, that would be a very funny name for a battleship, unironically. <laughs> it would be very funny to have a fast food chain sponsor a battleship. Did I hear about the ice cream ship? Do you mean the fact that they had ice cream on ships? Yes. I'm aware that it was uh, common practice for ships to have ice cream to maintain morale. Uh, the funnier part was that Vestal, one of the one of two of the US's repair ships, was solely dedicated to the Enterprise for like the entirety of World War II. <laughs> they had two repair ships total and they're like, okay, this one ship, this gets one of them. <laughs> Lobsterminator, that's it, that's it. But no, the US has gotten up to a lot of absolutely ridiculous things <laughs> with its navy. <laughs> like one time a heavy carrier took on an entire division single-handedly. And won. <laughs> the lore video of Big H tweaking at the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, that's a classic. They had a ship devoted to making ice cream to distribute to other ships. I don't necessarily believe you on that one. I know they had ice cream on ships. I don't think they had an ice cream ship. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Me not inherently believing you doesn't mean I disbelieve you, it just means I need more evidence. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, the images of uh, Big H from Germany in the Olympics are very funny because um, a lot of Germans lost to uh, people Hitler does not like. <laughs> and he was present and just had to deal with that. <laughs> uh, hopefully you know what I mean, because I'm pretty sure YouTube flags those videos harshly, even just mentioning it. USS Blizzard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe uh, World of Warcraft sponsored a USS ship. <laughs> That's so wild, man. USS Quartz. <laughs> okay, now let's face Serta left because it doesn't really matter. And this time I'll remember Suzu ran. <laughs> Why did Suzu ran when she could have walked? I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, now, as soon as... Oh, he used it on Myrtle. Ah, uh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> this is a strange-looking Myrtle. <laughs> now, let's activate Typhon nice and early, so that <laughs> this guy actually dies while it's active. <laughs> no shot of him dying earlier, which is what matters. Now, Suzerain, do your thing. <laughs> I could have kept Serta there to try and kill this guy, but it should be fine. As long as this guy dies, we're in the clear. Thank you, Mlynar. Incredibly cool. <laughs> Rip Suzerain. <laughs> Rip Bozo moment. Uh, now let's set up Amia to kill this guy. Using <laughs> amphetamines was rampant in the 1910s onwards. Look, name a single time in history where there haven't, hasn't been a rampant drug problem. And I will tell you a time in history where we don't have extensive records. 
<laughs> it is what it is, and it be what it do, my friend. <laughs> USS Free Talula, she's based. The USS Talula was not a ship. <laughs> I can say that very confidently. Amia, why did you target that one specifically? You know what? That actually kind of works. That'll make it easier later on. Okay, thank you, Typhon. Very cool. Now we need to set up Saga. Should be fine to set up Saga here. She just needs to hold this enemy in place for Golden Glow. <laughs> and we do indeed have Surta, which is very based and epic. <laughs> now, just in case, so that this guy will stop shooting at these guys, I don't want to risk my healers dying. <laughs> Shoot at Siege, you bastard. Alright, Milana has Taunt. Never mind, that was a complete waste. <laughs> Amiya went all in on the vent. Yeah, for real. She thought she heard an imposter, like from Among Us. <laughs> 30k BCE had a few drug issues. Yeah. You mean like when they used, uh, what was it? Lead makeup? <laughs> okay, I made an oopsie. That's fine, that's fine. We can recover from this oopsie because Serta will tank it out. <laughs> Thank you, Serta. Incredibly cool. Okay, now, Saga, please live long enough. Very good. Good work, Saga. Okay, Siege, you're here to be bait. Siege, no. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> now, the good news is, all of these units will delay Cliff. <laughs> the bad news is, I needed Serta to kill some of these guys, but she should be up in time, maybe? It is very cringe that these guys are still alive. Quick Golden Glow, kill them. <laughs> okay, we might have scuffed the strategy. That's fine, that's fine. I know roughly what I did wrong, so it is salvageable. <laughs> it depends if Typhon can kill these guys. It might still be salvageable because I know he pauses. Right, no, what am I what am I worried about? He pauses for fucking ten years. <laughs> as soon as the vent activates, we should be fine, and just in case I'll deploy Milano here. Now. Thank you, Myrtle, that was incredibly cool of you. If Siege lives long enough, which we can't actually see, <laughs> for Milano to activate a skill, or for Saga to respawn. Either's fine. Maybe. Saga clutch it out. Saga clutch. Saga clutch. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of cringe. <laughs> but it should still be winnable. Should still be winnable. Let's retreat Typhon because we don't know what the boss's HP bar is like. Golden Glow, no, don't disappoint. Golden Glow. I can't actually see their HPs. Nah, it wasn't even close. Damn it. <laughs> Serta being a Serta riff. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Oof. Yeah, sorry, I do sometimes suffer from a critical case of skill issue. <laughs> Almost, yeah. No. This is so doable, like, I've, I've got the strat down, I'm just dumb. Siege S3 might be better, but you need to manually activate it. Yeah, that sounds like too much work. <laughs> because the only reason I keep losing is I keep forgetting to activate skills. <laughs> and yeah, welcome back, Shangri-La. -la. Happy Christmas. Good to see you again. <laughs> It's been a while. Hopefully you've been alright. How's your day going if you want to chat? If not, that's fine. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to look. I just like to say hi because I'm very sociable. Ah, uh, but no worries at all if you're not. <laughs> the solution is to have more skills to activate. Yeah, yeah, let me swap Saga to S2 and then use Arketo S2. Just have Hoshiguma tank everything and call it good, yeah. If you have Hoshiguma, Robin, or Dorothy and Typhon, this is so easy. <laughs> And we would have already three-starred it, it was just a case of, um, I messed up and we wouldn't have got the medal, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Hoshiguma, very, very based. But uh, honestly, the GOAT, gotta be Dorothy. <laughs> if you can use Dorothy, you should use Dorothy. You can infinitely stall the boss so everyone else on the stage is dead before he spawns. Uh, before he moves in his phase two, rather. Your E0 level 1 S1 Typhon about to hard carry you. Yeah, for real, for real. You understand exactly what I'm talking about. Hoshi and Yan together for tank it forever. Yeah, yeah, you can also use um Spectre uh, S2 and Spectre Alter. And a few other units with literal invincibility. Or even just Silence Alter. <laughs> just having her. <laughs> Take your picture, don't forget her. <laughs> Take a picture of what? A siege? <laughs> so that I remember to activate her skill? Something tells me that won't help. <laughs> Dorothy Binding is so fun. Yeah, Dorothy S2 is the GOAT. It's just a buffed version of Robin, and Robin is already a fantastic unit, so... Okay, now, as soon as he locks on, we're fine. Thank you, Saga. Incredibly cool. 
I love that Limar is just barely tanky enough to survive one of his phase one hits. It's very Chad. <laughs> I should always have pictures of Siege. I do have a secondary Discord where I just say fan art I like with a few other people. <laughs> uh, they can't post, except for one channel. It's just me, like, <laughs> storing fan art I like so I can revisit it or use it as drawing reference. <laughs> and yes, there are plenty of pictures of Siege. The line is from a Dorothy song. Dorothy has a song? <laughs> SMH. Tarkus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's very fair for you to SMH your head at me. <laughs> I'm kind of a dumbass. <laughs> now quick, we need to stall him. <laughs> oh, please activate. Yeah, this one should activate in time. Perfect. Hey, literally perfect. <laughs> but I was a dumbass and forgot to deploy the suzerain, so Mlynar's gonna die here. <laughs> you know what? It's salvageable. It's salvageable. <laughs> Let's go, nice, yeah, don't nice me just yet, I've already fucked up majorly, multiple times. <laughs> but it's salvageable. Dorothy is one of the best songs. I do enjoy the Arknight's music a lot, I just don't necessarily listen to it a lot. And I'll deploy Amia down here so that she doesn't target the fucking vent. <laughs> Dorothy is a song, is it over the rainbow? Yeah, that was that's what I was thinking when I heard Dorothy had a song. Uh, because, well, obvious reasons. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Typhon. Very cool. Oh, wow. Saga's just fine. <laughs> Magic Theorem is the song name if I want to take a picture. <laughs> Don't worry. Amiya will target the other event. No, sir, she will not. Okay, now I think that's in range. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Very, very cool. It is a shame Lynar died. I kind of need him. Will he be back in time? Yes. Never mind. Blue Box Saga Gaming is truly the strat of all time. I mean, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> I'll retreat Amia so I can use her later. <laughs> now, once the boss is on the move, I will deploy Serta so that I'm not a dumbass. Like last time, <laughs> where I was a dumbass. Uh, nope, I almost just had the enemy. <laughs> I almost just did something very stupid, but I caught myself in time. Okay, Serta, do your thing. Golden Glow. <laughs> oh, that is... That's a shame. <laughs> Uh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Stream is good at the game. Let me take a sip of water. That'll guarantee victory. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Mild dehydration. It gets the best of us. <laughs> okay, I need to clear it on this stage because it's been an hour and I'm still on person one. <laughs> So this is the try, unironically. This is 100% guaranteed the one. <laughs> Damn, that's a terminal case of skill issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single loss outside of the first two have been nothing but a case of skill issue on my part. And this one, I will not suffer any skill issue. I'm just that good. <laughs> so now that I've thrown enough for content, which is definitely what I was doing, <laughs> definitely not just sucking for no reason. <laughs> now that I'm finished throwing for content. <laughs> We will successfully carry out the strat. See, look at this. I'm actually remembering to activate skills. I'm so cracked. No one has ever remembered to activate all of their skills quite like I have. <laughs> I'm built different. <laughs> okay, so far we haven't even forgotten anything. Let's go. I don't need Myrtle anymore. I can retreat her early so I can deploy Typhon if I want to, but I won't just yet. Insane skill activation? Yeah. They don't make them like me. <laughs> Neurons have been activated. Yeah. <laughs> no one has ever activated skills before in Arknights. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> I'm a special case, what can I say? Okay, quick saga, you're almost up. Perfect. Now we wait for Cliff to start his stun, then we deploy Amia. Retreat saga, deploy Schwing Schwing. Activate Schwartz's S3. Amia will die, which is absolutely fine. And then once Schwartz is dead, I need to replace her with Suzerain, which is what lost me the previous run. Because <laughs> I <laughs> once Schwartz is done shooting, not dead. <laughs> oh, happy everything is a lie day. It's like four minutes for you, AAU, it's already started. Apologies, I don't quite understand what that means. <laughs> Skill issue on my part. Okay, let's just uh, pop this bad boy. <laughs> It's very funny that he tries to execute Serta and it just doesn't work because Serta. <laughs> hey, she even got in a single hit. Okay, that should be fine, should be fine. And just in case... 
Thank you, Metal. Very cool. <laughs> a clutched out liner. Not even close. <laughs> I threw in a little bit of a spice. March 32nd. Yeah, yeah, today is March 32nd for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> Happy March 32nd. Almost April Fool's Day in gun country. <laughs> That's a funny thing to call America. W liner. Yeah, not even close. Wasn't even slightly worried. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, obviously. Hello, Dat Noob! Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I've already said hi to you in YouTube chat, but as I said to other people, <laughs> if you come to both, you'll get a high in both. <laughs> That's the least I can offer you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Typhon. Very cool. I'll leave Amia skill for now. Never mind, Saga's so dead. <laughs> can she out heal it? Just barely. <laughs> Now, Golden Glow skill, and I will stall out these guys with Siege, because I really need to. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mountain, you're now full HP again. As long as this guy dies, and Golden Glow will kill him. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you know what, that's fine, that's fine. We ultimately accomplished what we needed to. <laughs> which is stalling the boss, and we should even... Nope, never mind, we didn't quite have enough time for Serta skill. But the main thing is that he doesn't use it on anyone else. <laughs> And we even get to damage some of those guys, which will make the rest of my job easier. Why are you targeting Mountain? That's cringe. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. These guys will stall them out. Golden Glow should be fine to kill one enemy. <laughs> now this looks like I've made a catastrophic error, but since I promised that this would be the one, uh, obviously we're going to win anyway. As soon as Golden Glow skill is up, we got this. <laughs> so don't even worry, ladies and gentlemen. The stage is not yet lost. <laughs> As long as Golden Glow is alive, the stage is winnable. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start again. <laughs> if only I could Vanguard like Siege instead of Saga. <laughs> yeah, for real. Salvageable. Yeah, yeah, salvageable, salvageable. Hey, look, uh, my stream mysteriously went black and then the stage started over. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm so annoyed that I messed up that one successful run by suffering this case of skill issue. <laughs> we had this half an hour ago. <laughs> Everyone wants a streamer who's built different, just like me. As long as Golden Glow is alive, this is winnable. Yep. <laughs> hey, look, Golden Glow isn't dead yet, so winnable. Need more Yato if I need more good Vanguard? Yeah, yeah. Yato is the best Vanguard in the game. She doesn't even generate DP because she'd be too overpowered if she did. It's that simple. <laughs> okay, now that Golden Glow is alive, uh, and I didn't suffer a case of skill issue, this is, um... This is a new person, I'm just using the same units, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, Eltic, this is my first time attempting this on your account, hopefully we succeed. <laughs> we need a Therm X Alter, I would unironically love that. <laughs> I like Therm X a lot. <laughs> He's very funny in chat. <laughs> it's okay, neurons haven't been activated yet. I mean, if I'd succeeded the first time, that would have been a neuron activation moment. <laughs> like the thought process behind Siege, if she generated DP, should be too OP, yeah. I mean, hey, respect to Siege the Queen. She is no longer the worst DP generating Vanguard in the game. <laughs> That's Vigil. <laughs> My guy generates an amazing 2 DP with one of his 20 second cooldown skills. <laughs> Yato is so good at Vanguarding because she can produce a negative integer of DP. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Nah, Yato, um, the reason she doesn't generate DP is she predates DP being a Vanguard thing. Vanguards didn't in initially exist, they were just guards, and then they decided to make a separate class <laughs> for guards that create DP. <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> okay, now Saga, thank you for continuing to clutch it out with your S3. Now Ami is there. And now Mlynar's here. Yato doesn't need to produce DP because she's meta. <laughs> yeah, she's built different. <laughs> now he should use his skill on Mlynar here, which is perfect. So that's what we want. That makes it easier. Now, I just need to stop forgetting to deploy Serta and activate Mlynar's skill. <laughs> that's all I need to do. And let's activate Typhon nice and early. That might have been too early. <laughs> Come on, clutch it out, clutch it out. Yes, perfect. Literally frame perfect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mlynar is guaranteed dead there. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, as long as this guy doesn't leak, we're fine. And he won't leak, so. <laughs> I massively worry way too much about that. Lino will be back in time for what I need him for. So I just really need <laughs> to use my other units. It's really not a problem. 
<laughs> if anything, that's beneficial because that means Suzerain's still alive. Unlike Vigil, who isn't meta and needs to produce DP. Yeah, true. <laughs> Doesn't Ponceress produce 1 DP? She produces 1 DP every 3 seconds, not 1 DP every 20 seconds. <laughs> Don't slander my girl Ponceress. <laughs> we haven't seen Yato's true power uh, when she takes off the mask. Sadly, she's no longer single when it happens. Yeah. <laughs> she only takes off the mask as a sign of marriage with Noirkorn. <laughs> I do really l appreciate that they played into the ship that everyone liked. <laughs> With those two. Okay, now Mountain, I really need you to be alive, so Siege, you're up on stalling duty. Okay, that's a, that's a slight issue. He skipped his pause time. <laughs> you know what? We can salvage this. We can salvage this. <laughs> still winnable, still winnable. As long as he targets Serta there. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> also, yeah, Ponceros also breaks kneecaps every time someone talks shit. <laughs> so watch out, you still have one kneecap left, don't worry. Better than Vigil is not a high bar to clear, yeah. Okay, you know what? I need to account for my own skill issue. <laughs> Who's someone I can replace to remove my skill issue? Surely Pat and Ponstrus can break both your kneecaps. Yeah, for real. You know what? There we are. That will solve the skill issue. Because all we need is Golden Glow not to die. <laughs> so, there we are. <laughs> the, the, first try with this new strat. <laughs> And yeah, Yato and Noir is pretty based and wholesome. They're both funny. <laughs> Black Knight as Staller would carry. Uh, maybe. She's kind of good for this boss because him killing her little thing doesn't count. Uh, but we already have Serta for that. The problem was I deployed Siege one tile too far up, which was a skill issue. <laughs> New Groom Noir Alter. <laughs> yeah, he is a pretty handsome guy. <laughs> A marriage, the first marriage alter outfit being Noir Korn. I don't think the fandom would be mad. <laughs> John, jokes on Ponceris, you're over 40, don't have kneecaps, only need jelly. Uh, she will give you more kneecaps so that she can break them. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know what you're signing up for and getting into. <laughs> just so you're fully aware. <laughs> Black Knight is awesome, I love her as a character. Yeah, I love Black Knight as a character and her design. Uh, she is Australian, so by default I like her even more because of that. <laughs> New bride, Yato. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she already went from dressing very conservatively to dressing very not conservatively in the Monster Hunter collab, so... <laughs> Eltek E2 Black Knight, very good taste. Yeah, Eltek has some based operators, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, all I need to do is not fail. Really, when you think about it, the two options are to beat a stage or to not beat a stage, so really I should just beat the stage instead of failing. Like... <laughs> Why have I been having so many issues when all I needed to do was not lose? <laughs> thought of the day, dude. Thought of the day. Now, as long as Saga activates her skill in time, we're absolutely fine there. And she activated it in plenty of time. Props to AK for not making the Doctor a harem protag. Yeah, there are only, like, two characters who are canonically interested in the Doctor. Which I do actually kind of like. Okay, now, I forgot to deploy Amia there. Because I retreated Amia and replaced her with Saria, but that's honestly fine. I'll just stall with Serta earlier. <laughs> now, will he activate his thing on Liner? No. As long as he doesn't immediately activate- Oh, I've completely forgot Schwartz. Schwartz was entirely useless there. <laughs> the good news is Serta's skill will be up, so she might actually just outright tank it. <laughs> okay, now will this be enough to kill the boss during the phase? Maybe? No, that's so cringe. <laughs> Damn it, it's the trim. It's the trim. Yado got a Terra armor, yeah, for real. <laughs> nice short skill. Yeah, it unironically cost me the game like a dumbass. <laughs> uh, the stage in quantum stage until you clear it. <laughs> it's in quantum stage, yeah. Modrock. Modrock is fun. Oh, the characters who canonically like, um, Doctor, uh, Platinum, Gravel... And two others. One of them is, uh, Milsis and Hulkiak. That's it. But Hulkiak's a weird one. She kind of just wants to eat you. <laughs> Angelino. Yes, right, right. There are five. That's right. There used to be four. There are now five. Cliff's hat gave him plus one skill difference. Yeah. 
<laughs> it is kind of embarrassing that I cleared this stage successfully. <laughs> like, 40 minutes ago. And have since just consecutively suffered skill issues. <laughs> so, you know what? This is the one. This is the one for real. <laughs> Skadi and Mudrock kinda. Yeah, Skadi kinda, Mudrock kinda. But they're both a little bit weird. It's, it's sort of like implied rather than stated. Unlike the other five who are all stated. We also do have a canon lesbian in the form of Provence. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, Scavenger. You have to feel bad for Provence, given both Red and Sca Scavenger kind of stalker. <laughs> oh, that's why there's so many Mulesis and Angelina and Joyous. Uh, Mulesis kind of like... Well, let's just say there are a lot of fetish tags that Mulesis and Joyous can appreciate. <laughs> And even without that, she's very cute, so... <laughs> People like her regardless of that. <laughs> Golden glow skill, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I remembered. <laughs> Lapdum in Texas is your favorite Yuri. <laughs> you mean where one of them has a massive unrequited crush and the other just hates them? Yeah, it's a pretty based combo. Okay, now remember to retreat Myrtle. Remember to activate Siege's skill. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't have a stroke this time. And I will deploy Surya here to stall. Which will buy me even more time, which is perfect. Black Diamond Texas. <laughs> you want to give Suzerain a 12 gauge? <laughs> and there are some funny Suzerain art out there. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a 12 gauge Suzerain fan art. That's an interesting siege we've got there. Yeah, his siege is pretty based. <laughs> Red just wants the floof. Yeah, but Red is also canonically terrifying uh, for every other Lupo operator, so. <laughs> it's definitely not fun getting stalked by Project Red. <laughs> Okay, now, I really need Blinder to survive his skill here. So come on, clutch it out, AAR. I think this is skill. Yep, perfect. And now we can activate Serta to speed this up. And because this is about to pop, we'll activate... Uh, what's her name? Typhon skill. <laughs> and that should be enough. Yes, perfect. Okay, I, di <laughs> I remembered late, but we have the emergency medal. So I just need to time this flawlessly. <laughs> surely, surely you're fine. <laughs> live, Lana, live! Yes, perfect. <laughs> Not even close, wasn't worried for a second. Mountain, please don't fail me. It's fine for you to die there because Golden Glow skill is up. As long as Golden Glow doesn't die, we're fine. And I have Saga, so... <laughs> Saga with a massive HP. That works out well, that works out well. Metal Trim? Yeah, yeah, we're going for Metal Trim. <laughs> Which is what is making this painful, otherwise it would have been cleared long before now. <laughs> okay, now Siege will have to hold this guy while Golden Glow kills him, but I'm not worried about that. She can self-heal. <laughs> Surya, not Siege. Lino is literally at 3 HP. Yeah, yeah, just like last time he did that. <laughs> He's come and clutched so many times. Okay, Typhon, thank you for your service. Project Red in-game looks so cool, but in the Art Knights anime, she looks so cute. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely both. <laughs> Siege should self-heal, to be honest. That'd be very fun. <laughs> Siege, <laughs> Siege skill activation. <laughs> I don't need to activate Siege's auto skill. How did Surya instantly die there? <laughs> they, is this guy buffed? I can't afford to deploy Serta here. <laughs> Mountain's about to be up, though. Why is he one-shotting everyone without his buff? <laughs> this is incredibly cringe. <laughs> okay, Golden Glow, please kill him. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on there. <laughs> Siege Ultra needs self heal, yeah, for real. And yeah, Project Red X Lapland. I am 100% down for that ship because two of, they're two of my favorite characters. Uh, but that being said, no, it is not canon. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> Okay, now Mlynar can activate his Schwing Schwing. Mountain, I'll retreat you. We no longer need you. Saga, thank you for your service. Keep Golden Glow alive. <laughs> now, all I need is for Golden Glow to live through these two enemies, and then we're fine. <laughs> as long as that happens, we're fine. And it looks like he's targeting Salon. Okay, come on, come on. Live a little bit longer, Saga. No, damn it. <laughs> Do I have anyone? Yes, I have Saria. Perfect. I planned for this, and the plan came to fruition. <laughs> Now, he did just ding his bell, which is very unfortunate. But I think we can... As long as Golden Glow lives, we're fine. Okay, sweet. He's out of range. He's out of range. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are safe. How much of a Saber homage will Siege Alter be? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people are asking that question. Okay, Typhon, start doing your thing. 
Golden Glow, please. Live it, live it. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. This is possible. <laughs> Project Red is the doggo that likes to snuggle up but will also attack people. <laughs> now, we have 10 seconds until uh, Surta spawns in. So we should be safe to deploy Mountain there to very briefly stall. Thank you, Mountain. Very cool. <laughs> now, Typhon, retreat you there. Okay, we should be good now. <laughs> as long as I retreat Serta before the boss dies. Oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> you know what, Saga? It's your time to shine. <laughs> okay, quick, quick, quick. As long as, her, as long as she lives long enough for her skill to be active, should be maybe fine. If this guy dies... Ah, oh, damn it. No metal trim again. Why do I suck? <laughs> Are you happy with just the three-star, Eltic? This strategy will work. I'm just suffering a major case of skill issue. I can try again for the trim. <laughs> that was my own dumbass fault. I put C um, Serta in the wrong spot. <laughs> so close. Yeah, yeah. I'll do, I'll do it one more time. I'll get you the trim. <laughs> I just need to make sure I use the right Typhon. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's fine. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself for being cringe and sucking at the game. <laughs> Oh, Chillabelle, you also have a maxed out. Yeah, that'll work. We'll use yours instead. <laughs> so you appreciate it. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. The source of the skill issue is me. I am the cringe, not you. <laughs> All I need to do is not fail. It's a really good strategy when you don't lose. I don't know why I keep losing. I really just need to stick to the game plan, which is to win. <laughs> The event, uh, Metal Trims gives you AIDS, yeah. The worst for me was the, um, Mountain event the during its first run. I, that was the first medal I just did not get. <laughs> I got it on its rerun and it was really easy because we had many more units with good range. But effectively you had to spawn kill four hyper-aggressive ranged units before they killed a equivalent of an NPC. <laughs> and they basically insta-kill them. <laughs> it was so annoying and cringe to deal with. <laughs> it was actually ridiculous. <laughs> Should have purchased Cliff's hat for the plus one. Yeah, I really need to gear my characters better. <laughs> also, hello, Yesent. Good to see you again. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Let's just pop Golden Glow skill early. Might as well. It's not super important as long as I just regularly activate it during a few key raves. <laughs> Which I have been forgetting to do, but no one worry about that. <laughs> no one remind me of the many, many skill issues I've been consecutively suffering, please. <laughs> Okay, we're remembering everything so far. Siege, <laughs> Schwartz skill, let's go. Saga, thank you, very cool. <laughs> now we retreat Saga and deploy Schwing Schwing. Keep it up, Surya, let's go, let's go, and perfect. <laughs> now, all we need to do is remember Suzeran exists. <laughs> I've been failing to do that quite frequently. <laughs> Okay, now we activate Typhon there, I believe. And just in case, we'll also deploy Serta. As soon as it activates, we should be fine. Yes, sir, we are absolutely fine. Quick, Suzerain. Okay, I forgot again. <laughs> you know what, let's just leak this guy. Safe liner. <laughs> That's an easy fix for my skill issue. Since we have to deal with him anyway, there's no reason to kill Mliner when I can just let him go through and then use Mliner as soon as he would no longer be blocking. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> that is way less of an issue than I made it out to be. <laughs> Golden Glow skill, let's go. <laughs> okay, now Cliff, relatively injured, that's fine. I'll let Typhon get off our last shot, because might as well. That'll help out. Oh yeah, yeah, that helps out the left lane. <laughs> Insane strategy, yeah, truly. I'm built different. <laughs> okay, now this guy should die to that. And then I can hold the other guy in place with Siege if needed, which I won't need. This strat is better, yeah. All it is is me uh, becoming accustomed to my skill issue. <laughs> I'm adapting. Dear God. <laughs> now all we need to do is stall this guy until Golden Glow skill is up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? It's fine, it's fine. Salvageable. <laughs> uh, he, he will still target... Um, what's next. So, perfectly fine. And I'll activate a skill to get in the free damage. It'll help. 
<laughs> come on, come on. Stand back up. Stand back up and never be defeated. <laughs> Those who know, know. Yes, I have been in that hellhole again. <laughs> I did kind of need uh, <laughs> Saria over there, but it's fine. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I may be suffering a mild case of skill issue, but it's not fatal just yet. As long as Golden Glow remains alive, and so far she is perfectly fine. Okay, now he's doing that, which is perfect because that means he'll dash through. <laughs> and I'll actually retreat Suzerain here so he doesn't get another freebie. <laughs> now I'll actually set up my range unit. I have an emergency Schwartz who can help. As soon as Cliff is out of range, which he's about to be. She can help. I keep forgetting about Schwartz. <laughs> but Typhon is kind of coming in clutch. Making plays. If I can also set up Linar, that'll be perfect. Myrtle, thank you for your service. Sweet. Linar is up. He'll be good to go in a second. I really don't want him getting targeting. Hello, Zephyr Ember. Welcome, welcome. I am doing handholds today. Thank you for the raid again. <laughs> You're a legend. Thank you so much. Welcome, raiders. Uh, please don't mind my severe case of skill issue. Getting the metal trim is hard and embarrassing. <laughs> it's very, very embarrassing. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh god, it is so embarrassing how many times I've failed to get this metal trim. Schwartz spotted, yes sir, yes sir. <laughs> Schwartz is the best unit and unironically carrying this run. <laughs> Her and Typhon. <laughs> but it looks like I, you joined just in time, I'll fi finally get the trim. <laughs> he will die to this. As long as I stall with Serta. <laughs> now quick. Siege. Activate it. Now. <laughs> that should be enough. That should be enough. Mountain. Do you think? I can't afford him dying by counter damage. There we go. That is the medal. <laughs> finally. Finally. Yes. <laughs> I finally stopped having a skill issue. At long last. <laughs> also, welcome everyone. Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's having a fantastic holiday season. <laughs> hey, thank you, Eltic, for the woo. And you're welcome for the metal trim. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me three successful tries on your account. Because I kept screwing up at the last second and failing to get the metal. Hey, look at shiny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shiny. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want me to get CM as well, Eltek? That should be comparatively very, very easy. <laughs> I can if I want. And yes, Schwartz is fantastic here. <laughs> I stole his hat. Plus one skill. Oh, hydrate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, welcome, Raiders. It is good to see you. Hope your days are going fantastically on this fine Christmas day. <laughs> It is the festive season, so naturally, we're having some festive tunes while we clear some Arknights content. <laughs> Only if I want to, the stage is very annoying. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll give this, like, one try, and if I fail again, then clearly your account is cursed. <laughs> and I'll move on to other people. And help you off stream tomorrow if you want. <laughs> it is very embarrassing how many times I messed that up. <laughs> I'm glad that the raid happened right as I was being successful. <laughs> Uh, the entire stream, it was just that, that attempt on that account, by the way. So it only took me an hour and a half. <laughs> and I knew the strat worked successfully, <laughs> like, 20 minutes in, and I just kept messing it up. <laughs> Can you imagine the metal description was accurate and you had to kill both phases with the vent damage? <laughs> yeah, that would be absolutely insane. <laughs> I do not think many people would bother. <laughs> <laughs> Do not even start with that yet. Yeah, don't give the devs ideas. They already introduced the Originium Dust boss. We don't want them getting any ideas. <laughs> now, from memory, does his phase one start off with six shots in the CM instead of the standard three? So is it time to start stockpiling for the next dragon grill? Yeah, if you want shield. Oh, still three. Wonderful. Thank you. That's perfect. Uh, because I've been using Saga to tank it, but if it's a Threefa, <laughs> that is a bad idea, and I should retreat her. <laughs> oh, yo! Thank you, Eltic! <laughs> thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Together we are scamming Twitch out of money. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to save for the next Dragon uh, Girl, absolutely, she was amazing. 
the cooldown being shortened is absolutely fine. Now, Schw this is why Schwartz is based, by the way. <laughs> she lets me mess uh, fix any mistakes. <laughs> Whenever I leak someone due to timing Saga's skill wrong. <laughs> okay, thank you, Saga. Incredibly cool of you. <laughs> now we set up Lina. She is all I need. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, we don't actually... Wait, I made a mistake. Mlynar can't actually tank it out this time. That's fine. Oh, we don't need to kill with event damage. What am I worried about? <laughs> I was worried over nothing. <laughs> now you get two Saria. Yeah, yeah, that's what. That's Shu in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can Serta activate it? Probably. And yeah, we don't need to kill him in the vent, but ideally we want him getting damaged in the events. Just because it massively decreases his defense. So this should be enough for Typhon to still one-phase him. How can Schwartz be based when she doesn't have the R6 Siege skin? She does have an R6 Siege skin. It sounds like you're suffering a mild case of skill issue. Oh, Mountain died because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Originium Dust with Antoine Dodge. Stop giving the devs ideas, they'll do it. <laughs> a Schwartz can still be based with a default skin? Hard agree. Schwartz is the coolest character in the game. Her S3 sound effect is just incredible. I love it so, so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cope, cope and seethe, Schwartz enjoys. Look, her S3 just sounds really, really fun. <laughs> I understand not liking her design. It is a little bit skimpy. <laughs> okay, now let's let Typhon get off her last shots. Because ideally she'll target one of these guys and make the left side easier. And it's not like we're in a super rush or anything. Okay, now, Saria, last time you died to the vent, so I'll, I'll deploy you here. <laughs> Alright, uh, Mlynar's Shrink Shrink is up, let's go. <laughs> yeah, Originium Dust was bad enough, please do not give it Anduane's dodge. <laughs> you make people cringe by having Schwartz set to S2 default. I mean, a lot of people really like Schwartz's S2, and her S1. I don't understand, but Schwartz sims are, like, incredibly diehard. Like, I kind of get it, Schwartz is pretty based, <laughs> but <laughs> it's to a different level. <laughs> Okay, now it looks like the Aya Berries will die here. <laughs> Serta, thank you for being incredible against this guy. Oh, Golden Glow died. Okay, no, Eltic, apologies. I can't do CM on your account <laughs> without rejigging the strategy. <laughs> Golden Glow will just die there. <laughs> Anduin's dodge would be so much fun. It encourages Lapland usage. Doesn't Lapland's dodge cancel not work on Anduin? <laughs> Isn't that one? Isn't that the only source of dodge that she can't actually ignore? <laughs> Originium Dust is an old event. Yes, it needs to be buffed to modern standards. <laughs> Do not, no. <laughs> Alrighty, apologies. I can't quite manage CM on your account, so I'll go to next in queue. <laughs> Sorry for the massive wait, Shadow. <laughs> Hopefully yours will be a little bit faster. <laughs> Now that I have a strat, I did warm up. I just also am bad at the game, evidently. <laughs> and hey, thigh, thigh break while I change accounts. <laughs> you get to look at my fantastic thighs. Smooth thighs, thank you very much, Dark Lud. <laughs> hey, Dark Lud, that could describe my design. <laughs> okay, Shadow, you still here? You still here? If so, you are up. Smiley face. <laughs> I'll give Shadow a few seconds to respond, and if not, I'll move on to Snafu. <laughs> Let me in that queue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Daily CC map today. Oh, nice. You'd give me an easy task, but you already cleared the event. <laughs> yeah, no worries if you don't need a handhold. <laughs> but I'm happy to help you out with any permanent content if you do. <laughs> Except for Hard 12. <laughs> I can't do that and talk at the same time. That would be such an unfun stream because I'd be dead silent the entire time. <laughs> Okay, yes, Shadow is here. Snafu, you're up next. Uh, Shadow, I need your email, please. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Wait, let me scroll up. You sent it before. There we go, there we go. Got it, got it. Sent. But yeah, it is fun that um, Lapland is either absolutely god tier or completely useless. <laughs> and it's a 50 50. <laughs> God damn, my allergies are so bad today. The code. There we go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Pulled it off. <laughs> 
out of any curiosity, are there any modern operators that make Originium Dust easier? Yes, the main problem was lack of um, AoE damage that wasn't affected by attack speed reduction. So ever since we've had Ling, for example, she makes it way easier. We have so many more AoE units now. <laughs> so it is much, much easier for modern day players. The main problem was that the boss deals 1200 true damage <laughs> and uh, globally every 15 seconds. So you need certain levels of healers and that you need AoE that isn't slowed down by attack speed reduction. So previously the strat was to just run like Siege, Blaze, Weedy, S2 and just hope. <laughs> okay, now interestingly we're doing the X for 5 and 7 on this time. I might give 8 a try, depending on how built your account is. Are you fine with me using any teams, by the way, Shadow? <laughs> uh, Ling or Lin, either, honestly. <laughs> any AoE unit we have that's new makes it so much easier. <laughs> what do you mean Siege mentioned? We just used Siege for like the entire run for an hour while talking about her. Okay, I'll change your first squad then, because it's not full. <laughs> E2 Ponsorus is awesome. Yes, sir. My... Oh, wait. Yeah, you're, you're already in my Discord. Cult of Ponsorus. Mine is maxed out. <laughs> Back in my day, the only global skill was Amriel S2. Yeah, that was the OG. <laughs> Fartooth was the second. Thrombrosis Blue. <laughs> Siege hard countered Originium Dust. Uh, she was useful in it. She didn't hard counter it. Oh, right. This stage. Yep, I remember this stage. Should be very, very doable. Oh, my screen went black for a second. So let's start us off. Who do we need? Who do we have? Let's start off with that. Grab a few more vanguards, ideally. Inez, fantastic. Myrtle, fantastic. That'll do for vanguards. Now, do you have any of the assassins? No, but I can borrow one from someone. I like that you have Swire defaulting to E1. I take it you used her against Talolo, like I did in my video. <laughs> uh, Kirito is this S2. Let's see, let's see. No, that's a shame. Why do people use Kirito S3? <laughs> I don't understand. Siege hard cannon, Originium dust to a point. She wasn't a max hard cannon, though. Can maxed Kawara tank Cliff? No. Because he has a stacking defense debuff. He, she probably can in phase one, not phase two. You have a S2 set? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> S2 is only the best skill. Why would you use it? <laughs> Still not at Patriot yet. Ah, gotcha. You should have a friend with Yato S2. It's fine. Texas is fine for this stage as well. Especially because you have units like no. You don't need too many um, lane holders on this stage. You mainly just need DPS because the enemies all spawn in really weird stages under the vents. So everyone just kind of dies. <laughs> okay, so let's grab some healers. Silence. Perfumer should be absolutely fine. Do you have Golden Glow? No. Let's run Dusk. <laughs> Dusk S1 because I enjoy Dusk S1. <laughs> S3 is also useful. <laughs> yeah, unironically, all of Swire's skills are really great. <laughs> Swire Alt is a very, very fun to use unit. Oh, Cement E2, you'll love to see it. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Who should be my 12th? I guess another emergency blocker. You did have red, and I do love red. So let's... Oh, no, let's, let's give Kazumaru a time to shine. People rarely use her now that Spectre comes out. <laughs> Cement E2 based account, yes, sir. <laughs> That's the sign of a true based account. <laughs> That's concrete, baby. Ignore your M6, Roberta. Uh, I'm not ignoring her out of malice. I'm ignoring her because I don't know what she does. <laughs> People always make fun of me for not understanding Stainless. Um, but I don't understand Stainless. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> Magnets, how do they work? <laughs> Actual skill issue from me. Gotta go to sleep. No worries, Eltic. Thanks for swinging by. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't manage CM for you. Oh, really? That's in range? I thought visually it was out of range. Should be fine. Metal's served her purpose here. <laughs> Okay, these two are my main lane holders. Let's go. Sleep well, Eltic. Sorry that took so damn long. <laughs> Major skill issue on my part. Okay, Palace and Thorns is a great combination. I love this. <laughs> Have a good stream. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Inez. Ideally, you'll harm that guy, but it's fine if you don't. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Now, <laughs> ranged units. More like Texas Lamau. <laughs> Okay, that's half their HP gone. I'll take that. Dusk, let's set you up to help out here because Thorns is about to die. And now the stage is just kind of over. You just need to make sure you kill the drones. Oh, that is the wrong Texas. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Texas S3. 
<laughs> Deploys wrong Texas. <laughs> Truly, I'm the greatest strategist of our time. <laughs> you enjoy making a stack of thorns, then palace and whatever in front of them. Yeah, it's it's a very fun strategy. Let's keep Dusk alive. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> It's fine, she wasn't too important. Pazemka is our main form of AA. Well, <laughs> Pazemka and Thorns and Palace and Texas should be more than enough. <laughs> Thorns, kill him before he kills Silence. You failed me, Thorns. <laughs> okay, let's pop this guy. We should be able to pop him because Texas will get a reset. Or at least he'll be low enough. Oh, really? Thorns is going to die there? That's alright, we can deploy Swire instead. Fuzzy, you use your skill, and because they're on the move, swing the miss. <laughs> Damn, I forget how tanky these guys are. I might need a rejig. I understand now why you were having trouble. Let me swap to Yato. <laughs> I had no trouble on this stage with my team, but I understand why you will with yours. <laughs> and yeah, the stack of thorns and palace is very fun. Is 73 grindstone enough, or should you keep grinding? It depends how many sugars you need, really. I personally farmed to 100 grindstones, uh, then 50 sugars, then just the rest on grindstones. But either's fine. <laughs> Why X8? Uh, do you mean X5? Uh, he hasn't cleared X8 yet. <laughs> either. So keep grinding? Yeah, I would say keep grinding grindstones. You will always eventually run out of grindstones. They're used in a lot of things. Okay, now I do need more ranged units <laughs> who have decent range. So unfortunately, not, not Dusk. I hit X8. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> there was a reason I didn't understand, and that's because I didn't assume I was being an idiot, but I am. You know what? Maxed out Quora should be very tanky. Let's go. <laughs> See, I'm not normal. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> you know what? You know what? At least this is only one sanity lost. <laughs> Oh, full refund! He didn't lose the first time. Let's go. Happy Halloween to you as well, Nuknoot. Happy Halloween! Uh, different time zone for me, so it is Christmas instead of Halloween, but hey. <laughs> okay. Let's deploy Kirito. We're good to go. Now, we do need more ranged units, don't we? No, we're fine with this. Sweet. <laughs> Stale baguette type of durability. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, let's see. Right off the bat, let's uh, wait for the vents to do their thing. <laughs> where can I deploy Myrtle where she won't immediately die? Because all I need her for is DP gen. <laughs> okay, she's safe there. Perfect. <laughs> let's kill these two. Because <laughs> these guys are rat bastards. So as long as we gradually kill them, <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> uh, we'll start with Inez. We'll swap her out for... What's her name? Later. Because <laughs> I believe I can just turn Inez invisible and she'll dodge the vent. Yep. Palace, that's the word. Yes, into the weapon will violate. <laughs> the weapon violates the Vienna Convention. <laughs> you have the right idea. <laughs> You're participating in spirit. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for the vent to activate so this guy is decreased defense and then just shred him with Yato. <laughs> there we go. Yato, do your thing. Swing, 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 swing. Almost dead. Good enough. Inez, quickly kill that guy. No. <laughs> ah, skill issue on my end again. Okay, note to self, Inez cannot hold there. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Let me have a quick hydration break. Okay. I think Yato is still the way to go. But just because I love Spectre... If this is S3, yep, perfect. I will use Spectre instead. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> That'll uh, make this a little bit easier, shall we say. Because <laughs> you see, wouldn't it be wonderful if there was only one lane you had to worry about and the other lane just didn't exist? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm just going to make it so that there's only one lane. <laughs> Ta-da! There is now only one lane. <laughs> okay, Inez, let's activate your invis. Thank you, Inez. Very cool. Myrtle should be fine to live long enough to tank that guy. Perfect. There we go, there we go. 
So if we just double up, we won't have to worry about risking a leak. <laughs> and we have the tankiest unit in the game who isn't a defender to tank it out for me. So that works out very, very well, and Thorns will get to activate all of his skills. And this time I will set it up so that we can hopefully kill that guy earlier. Inez, do your thing. <laughs> Let Perfumer take the fall. <laughs> Okay, and just in case, just in case, we'll set up Silence and Pazimka. There we go. Scotty S3 is pretty tanky. That is true and real and based. But, Skulter is slightly tankier. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very, very cool there. Why are these guys so ridiculously tanky? You know what, let's, uh, let's use Nell. <laughs> true damage will solve the problem. <laughs> Brute force solution. <laughs> Damn, even then he lived on a little bit of HP. He'll still die, so it's fine. Job done. But damn, that's surprising. I underestimate how tanky these guys are. <laughs> Tankiest <laughs> that isn't a defender, you mean Scardi. <laughs> Scardi is certainly close. <laughs> but Skelter is just slightly, slightly tankier. Not by much. <laughs> I am a massive Guardi enjoyer, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, now Perfumo, you activate your skill. Dusk is gonna die, that's fine. Thorns, please kill the drone. <laughs> thorns. Thorns. <laughs> kill the drone, Thorns. <laughs> please don't let it leak, Thorns. <laughs> you know what, I've got faith, I've got faith. <laughs> These guys should be fine. <laughs> okay, yep, they do another loop-de-loop. -loop. That makes sense why Thorns isn't targeting them yet. <laughs> I was concerned. <laughs> These guys are so insanely tanky. What is this? <laughs> oh no, Scardi's in a different phase. That is a problem. <laughs> Why are they so insanely tanky? Okay, let's go back to Texas. Ponserus is more tanky. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> Thorns isn't about killing drones. <laughs> Okay, wait. We could use, like, someone's Cholter or something. Oh, that's the CMCM. CM. Let's see what our other options are of your friends. Because really, we just need someone who will ignore their defense and just kill them. Honestly, Typhon might be a better choice. This is S2 Typhon, though. Yeah, let's, let's test it out with Chen. <laughs> Only Godsinger can save us now. I would rather gnaw my own arm off than use Passenger right now. <laughs> okay, and since we're using Thorns, there's no real spot for... Palace as well, so I'll swap her out. Let's go Chen, just to have that extra burst option. <laughs> and yeah, nothing against Piss Ginger Enjoyers, I'm just not one of them. <laughs> I'm Lazy Gang all the way. <laughs> she is the only chain caster for me. <laughs> and I don't even use her that often. <laughs> Scardi has a lot. Uh, Spelter has like 7k unbuffed HP, is why I say she's the tankiest, by the way. <laughs> Scardi is very, very tanky, though. It could be close. Uh, but also keep in mind, once uh, Spectre Alter dies, she doesn't die. <laughs> because dying is cringe, so she doesn't. <laughs> it's that simple. Dying is cringe, I'm out. Spectre from Arknights. <laughs> Mizuki S1. Dodge is technically infinitely tanky. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> technically speaking, any unit with dodge, especially Bee Hunter, is unkillable. <laughs> Uh, and Maya can make your entire team unkillable. Because Maya, S1, once mastered, can indeed give every single person in the game dodge. <laughs> okay, now... <laughs> Chalter will die if I don't deploy silence there, so... <laughs> okay, let's start setting up the other units we have. Excluding Dullform, Scardi is... Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that Scardi would slightly edge it out excluding Dullform. But even then, I reckon it's pretty close. Scardi also doesn't die, so when she dies, she gets more frisky. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, um, that's a bit of a special situation. <laughs> no. Stop attacking my DPS. <laughs> Attack Swire, she's unkillable. <laughs> Damn, even with Chalter's Shred, this guy is taking no damage. That's so insane. They're so tanky. <laughs> Maya broken, she needs nerfs. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Maya's just way too strong, what were the devs thinking? Uh, let's leave Chalter. Let's see if we can kill one of these guys quickly. And yes, yeah, Scardi may not die, but Spectre Alter doesn't die even harder. <laughs> Checkmate, atheists. 
Okay, at the very least, we have made a difference of killing the tanky guys. Now we just need to kill the other tanky guy. This guy I can know. <laughs> I'll use silence to keep them alive, once he's a little bit further. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh hey, the drone even died. 75 damage, I can't. Yeah, I know, right? Why are they so damn tanky? <laughs> it's actually shocking to me how ridiculously strong these guys are. <laughs> Why are they not taking any damage from anyone? <laughs> okay, a second of them is on the move. A second plane has hit the towers. Uh, sorry, that joke was in poor taste. Okay, <laughs> Cholta is still alive. That's what matters. Quick, nuke everything under the sun. <laughs> she will eventually die here, I believe. It's relatively fine, relatively fine. She might survive this vent. Nope. <laughs> okay, Pazemka, it's up to you. It's all on you now. Nope. <laughs> Scotty has 4k defense with 300 defense, while Spectre has 3k HP with 400 defense. Scotty can revive, yes, but she revives once. Okay, so uh, let me check these guys' stats. Cholto was not the way to go. Are they raw HP, or are they, um... Are they just insanely <laughs> high defense? No, low defense. Okay, that explains it. So it's all about raw DPS, but it's not about defense specifically. So who would be the best choice for this? Anyone can, who can nuke. It's the overload, yeah. But even without the overload, they were taking just no damage. Okay, do you have Warfarin? <laughs> this is a very scuffed idea, but I think it would work. <laughs> no, you do not have Warfarin, that's a shame. <laughs> you camped red boxes with Spectre Altar. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Each stack, oh, each stack until overcharge gives them that. That's good to know. But even then, that's like so ridiculously tanky. <laughs> Let me actually start on X7. I think that'll be easier. <laughs> because it's only two lanes. <laughs> I don't need to worry about all of the stupid drones. Uh, just to refresh my mind, I reckon this one will be easier to clear, so I'll give it a try. I'll go for a Typhon S3 assist. Well, actually, no. Typhon S2 would be fine too. So when I get that guy, whichever Typhon pops up, this one will do fine. And yes, Ponceris does physical DPS, but not enough to deal with them. <laughs> it's mainly just a case of, um, Shadow has slightly lower leveled healers. They only have one E2 healer, and it's Perfumer. Don't have an S3 friend. That's fine, that's fine. Damn it, why am I so sneezy today? Okay, now, last time I didn't deploy Texas once. <laughs> so, I will remember to do that this time. <laughs> that lane is entirely fine. Thank you, Texas. Very cool. Sounds like I don't believe enough. Yeah, you're right. I'm not enough of a Ponceros cultist. <laughs> I need to believe in Ponceros even more than I already do. Now, where can I deploy Typhon to hit both lanes? Can she even hit both lanes? Maybe not. If so, that's relatively fine. I'll just deploy her up here then. <laughs> Thorns will be mostly fine as long as he's a healer. Do I have hay fever? Yes, I get it year round because the city I live in is the hay fever capital of the world. Which is just... <laughs> It sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> Outside of that, this is a great city and I like it. Cringe? Yes, sir. <laughs> and yeah, unironically, your Lin might be very, very useful. Okay, Chen should be fine. She'll get, yep, healer up in time. Perfect. Inners, I'll retreat you. <laughs> now, I'll stun this guy. Oh no, Thorns will kill this first one. No worries. Not even close. <laughs> and then we'll deploy Dusk over here to kill this lane. Easy. They should have roughly 30k HP. Yeah, that's that's why I find them incredibly cringe and hard to deal with. <laughs> the no-block enemies said your damage was cringe and ran through your defenses. Yeah, they do that. Uh, Thorns, please attack the guy who's about to leak instead of the drone 10 yards away. <laughs> okay, now, thank you very much, No. <laughs> Thorns is being cringe, so until Typhon's second skill is up, which it's about to be, I'm relying on you. There we are. <laughs> Now, will they even reach my metal? Yes, and if so, that's fine. I'll just deploy Quora. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dusk will die here, but that's fine. That's fine. Our retreater. These guys will once again be the cringiest enemies in the game. But we should be fine because Typhon. You don't know whose account this is? Ah, uh, this is Shadows. They might have you added, and if not, worst case, I can accept. Thank you, Inez, for stunning, because Thorns is being cringe and targeting the wrong enemy again. 
I love when he targets an enemy who's not the enemy who's literally two seconds away from leaking. <laughs> okay, quick. Nuke everything. Thank you, Chen. Your job here is done. <laughs> Man, Quora is very tanky. I always forget. I know yours is maxed out, but still. <laughs> Quora is absurdly tanky. <laughs> oh, surely you don't leak here. Thorns, I'm going to need to rely on you to kill these enemies. Quick, Inez. Attack speed up. <laughs> Thank you, Inez. Very cool. I'll just leave Swire there for the extra hits. <laughs> you have an, a level 80 SM S3 M2 limb? Yeah, that could absolutely be enough. And yeah, thank you for the borrowed Lin if I need that. It'll be very useful. <laughs> she is the protector. All Korra does is tank, yeah. Tank and hit people with a baseball bat, which is just based as hell. <laughs> what could be more based than smacking someone in the face with a baseball bat? Think about it. <laughs> they called your damage cringe. Yeah, I can... I can now understand uh, a lot why you had trouble with these stages. At first I was thinking, you cleared X8, why are you having trouble? <laughs> and then I saw how tanky they are. <laughs> with the CM buff, it's just enough that you can't really deal with them. <laughs> okay, like I thought, uh, CM7 would be way, way easier. So there you go, that's one of them done. You wish Kawara would hit you in the face with a baseball bat? Don't we all, man? Don't we all? <laughs> Okay, wait. Maybe Typhon's the way to go for this one as well. I'll see if the Lin is up. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Lin's up. Never mind. Let's use Lin. <laughs> I'll replace Dusk with someone else. Someone tanky. Cement. Let's go. And then, um... Texas is useful. Chen isn't useful. I'll, I'll make another healer. Just because raw healing. <laughs> It's mainly a healing check outside of damage. You got jebated? How so? Also, welcome, Looters Justice. <laughs> Did you get jebated by my voice and my model? If so, apologies about that. But it's a fantastic model, and as apology, here. Here are my thighs. <laughs> Ta-da, they sway very nicely. <laughs> also, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> Hope your day's going well. And your name is very, very funny. Okay, now hopefully I've refreshed my knowledge of the game well enough to clear CV8. <laughs> I am now female, yes sir. You can call me whichever pronouns you feel more comfortable with. I don't mind. <laughs> you can make assumptions about me either way, and either set of assumptions will be correct. <laughs> Yo, that's a cute emote. <laughs> Raw healing, he says, proceeds to bring an elemental medic. Hey, don't be too mean to me, I'm very stupid. <laughs> Don't call me out like that, I'm a bit dumb. <laughs> okay, now that's all we need. You sexually identify an, as an Essex class carrier. Yeah, that's why you named yourself Shangri-La. <laughs> Though the Shangri class are pretty based. Uh, the Essex class, rather. I know they're not officially the Shangri-La class. Okay, now, as soon as we get enough, I'm just gonna deploy Lin here. And then give her Perfumer. <laughs> she can have a dedicated healer. <laughs> I reckon this is the strat. <laughs> you identify as a penguin, maybe a trash can. <laughs> penguins are cute. I like penguins. Okay, you know what? I see now what you mean about Lin just completely trivializing them. She cannot take damage with her shield. <laughs> I forget just how ridiculously tanky Lin is, because she's another one of those amazing meta units who I just always forget exists and never use. <laughs> and I love that inexplicably you can manually cancel her S3. It's so broken. <laughs> Okay, now this guy did live a little bit. That's kind of cringe. How about Mistima in the Star... So, yeah, Mistima in the Star Rail universe. Oh, wait, Mistima is not a penguin. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, that's three... Th oh, wait, no, Korra's block three. I'm a dumbass. She's kind of OD. Yeah, she's definitely OD. She's also a bit OP. <laughs> Swire... Uh, sorry, Lin, like Mis um, Mlynar, is just a unit I really slept on. Where I logically know they're OP as hell, I just always forget about them and don't bring them in my teams. <laughs> Penguin Logistics. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. IS4 BP65 is going to be easy to reach. Oh, right. I haven't done this month's IS. Uh, it hasn't reset yet, has it? It resets tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to that. There are parts of IS4 I really don't like, but plenty of parts I do. So, it'll be very fun. <laughs> okay, let me retreat Inez. She was a bad deployment there. <laughs> And just in case, I'll set up Posse here in case I run into skill issues of the drone variety. <laughs> you know what? I don't even think Lin needed a healer. You really hate the second boss? Yes. Oh man, the second boss is such an awful boss. Who designed that? It's so cringe. <laughs> Bypass your defender wall? Yeah, you have effectively like 
five tiles to kill the guy. <laughs> because he guaranteed traverses like 12 tiles at a sprint. <laughs> and he moves like 20 tiles instantly. Okay, nope. <laughs> nope, stun. <laughs> you got knurled, idiots. <laughs> Lin is not going to die because I don't have to restart the stage. <laughs> so it's simple. Lin won't die. Perfume is doing her best. Hey, she actually did come in clutch. Maybe one day someone will ask me to do an IS-4 handhold. They have in the past, just only during days I've been kind of busy and haven't really had the time. <laughs> waiting for limited banner. Oh, which one are you waiting for? Which one's coming up next? I always forget who the next banner units are. <laughs> okay, Cement, you're up. <laughs> that's concrete, baby. Becomes unkillable. You don't use four stars except for Myrtle? Uh, that's pretty fair. Myrtle is generally the only four star once you're a boomer who's worth using. Though until then, units like Cutter are definitely also worth raising. Oh, Viviana's up next. Hey, that's right. <laughs> the one everyone says to skip, but then also says they're going to pull on anyway because Viviana. <laughs> Which is very funny in base. You don't actually want to do IS-4 unironically. I do completely get that. I understand. <laughs> okay, now this will take 10 years, so let me just um, speed this up a bit. <laughs> Perfumer is actually helping out there. Oh wait, no, no. Null's up. Null's up. Okay, there we go. Easy. Four stars are better to raise when you don't have infinite chip catalysts. <laughs> You're bad at IS-4 in general, not just IS... Uh, IS in general, not just IS-4. Yeah, look, it's like that. It takes some time and it's definitely not for everyone. I really enjoy IS-2, not so much IS-3 and 4, but I'm glad they exist because it means I can play more content. <laughs> Next up is Arturia, War Criminal Extraordinaire. She's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> Texas Alter, Null, Alter, Spect, Alter. Uh, isn't it, um, Shu after Artoria? I don't think the others are getting reruns, unless they changed something. Okay, Snafu, you're up next, <laughs> if you're around. <laughs> let me check, let me check. Yo, yo, yo. You're up now, if you're here. Smiley face. <laughs> you're getting Shu based. All of the Nyan siblings, baby. <laughs> Limited after the 4.5 is Sui. Oh yeah, yeah, sweet. So Shu after. <laughs> and hey, quick, let me distract you with my thighs. Let me sway my hair. Let me put on a gas mask to assert dominance. <laughs> You're missing Nyan and Dusk, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I like all of them, don't get me wrong. I like Nyan and Dusk. They're two of my, they're probably my two favorites. <laughs> but they are kind of niche. You're not missing too much. <laughs> Be right back, releasing mustard gas. <laughs> don't worry, I was prepared for that eventuality. You might skip Shu for Ella and Ash. Very, very fair. Ella looks really, really fun, and Ash is pretty strong. Dusk, Chongus, and Ling are raid ups on Shu. Yeah, yeah, but it's um, it's the small raid up the Dark Knights always does. So effectively, you need to spark them unless you get really, really lucky. They have five times the raid up of other characters in the sense of Chong Yui has five times the chance of being pulled compared to Siege. <laughs> You need help, a handhold still going? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the other person who's next in the queue seems to be away, so if you want to jump in, I'm very happy to handhold you right now. <laughs> you timed it perfectly, just casually, Tife. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, just join the Discord so you can DM me and find me. <laughs> All you have are the L2D skins, but not the op. <laughs> can you get an account roast? Sure thing, sure thing. Shangri-La, uh, DM me. I will say hi in general real quick so that anyone you can find me. <laughs> I am South, I am South. <laughs> Hello in all caps, that is me. I am Red, I am South Heart. <laughs> hey user, other people are spamming exclamation point Discord. Are you going to let that stand? <laughs> Will Rosmontis have a rerun? No. The link doesn't work? Is it broken? It should work. It, it works when I click on it. Uh, one sec, one sec, let me... What? That's strange, actually. When I clicked on it, it asked me to join. <laughs> yeah, it is sad. Most uh, new players will miss W and Rosmontis perpetually. Maybe that one works? That's a different link, but they should both work. <laughs> Hopefully. The, the first one works for me. Is my exclamation point Discord broken? If so, that's incredibly cringe. <laughs> okay, Ludus Justice, Shangri-La. I'll wait for just casually teeth. Or are you Ludus Justice? <laughs> you did say that's me. <laughs> You got nothing while rolling for Kibai yesterday. Massive war, Batman. That's unfortunate. I like to cook with the new April Fool's units. Yeah, I'm really excited for you, official. W and Rosa listed on the banners, just not sparkable. Yeah, so effectively they're unobtainable. 
Okay, uh, let me know if that still isn't working, just casually, Teeth. I can just, um, send my <laughs> Discord ID. <laughs> can you DM on Twitch? Maybe it's something wrong with your Discord. Yeah, yeah, just DM me. I just need your email, and then you'll approve the login, and just DM me the code as well. So DM me the email, then DM, DM me the code. <laughs> That's absolutely fine, sorry. It looks like it might just be you, <laughs> uh, because everyone else says it works. Apologies, I'm very tech incompetent, so... I don't like to assume it isn't me fucking something up. <laughs> the link works. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. But yeah, just, um, just DM them to me. I don't know how Twitch DMs work, actually. Hopefully they'll pop up. <laughs> you can see them while looking at banner details once the banner comes around. Getting them is a different problem. <laughs> you can buy Rosmontas for 300 certs. No, you can't. <laughs> Yeah, just DM me your social security number, firstborn, favorite color, the universal answer, and what kind of ice cream you want. Uh, I don't have a social security number. Checkmate, atheists. I'm not American. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Let me, um, sent on Discord, got it working. A sweet, sweet tweet. Uh, did you send it to South instead of Tarkus? Uh, wait, let me, let me see. Let me see if I can get, <laughs> I'll check on Tarkus. <laughs> Yes, okay, okay. It hasn't popped up for me then. I have DMs from Lude, Is Justice, and Shangri-La. Let me see, let me see. Okay, yep, you didn't see send it to the right person. Probably. It just hasn't come to me. <laughs> okay, uh, one sec. Uh, let me see. What can I do to fix this? Uh, Twitch DMs should be fine. I don't know how to check them, but I think if you whisper, it just pops up. I'm very new to Twitch. The messages are red. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening there. Okay, wait, let me see. I'll whisper to you. Uh, wait. How does that work? <laughs> Damn it, Twitch. I don't understand, Twitch. South or Tarkus? South. South Heart. I've said hi in the Discord if you've managed to join. <laughs> so, South Heart. Either is fine, but South is the one I can access while streaming. I could uh, temporarily pause my model. Oh, never mind. Looters Judges Justice just said Gage. <laughs> yes, hello, hello. You'll fit in well here. <laughs> uh, alternatively, um... Wait, now how can we do this? I don't want you to accidentally dox yourself. <laughs> uh, or let anyone else yoink your account, so... I'm just trying to think of a way to do it. If DMs aren't working for some reason. Let me just... Are you in the Discord? Oh, there we go, there we go. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> hello, hello! Yes, yes, yes. Correct, correct. Hi, exclamation point, happy face. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Sorry about that. I will just assume it was my fault because I'm very tech non-savvy. <laughs> okay. Let me switch accounts. You should now have a verification code in that email. Let me know what it is. And then let me know which stages you want me to clear. I'll be back in just one sec. I'm going to refill my water bottle. Alrighty, there we go, there we go. Sweet, there's the code. Perfect, perfect. Now just let me know which stage. Okay, X8, that makes sense. <laughs> do you also want the metal trim, or do you just want the stage cleared? Just to check, because if you don't want the metal trim, that'll be very easy. <laughs> Happy to do both, though. You already have the trim? Oh, oh, CM, CM, never mind, I'm a dumbass. Oh, I acted, <laughs> speaking of, I accidentally hit B right back a second time. Just the challenge mode. Gotcha, gotcha. Should be very doable. So let's see what we have to work with. Is there a specific team you want me to change? Or are you fine with me changing any team? Oh yeah, very, very doable. <laughs> Hello, you finally got here. Welcome, user! You're behind on the Genshin event grind. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It was the uh, alchemy one, right? That one takes a bit of time. <laughs> Adapt? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Perfect. 
Yeah, no, should be absolutely no issues with this team. You're just bad at the game. Hey, look, I don't mean that as an insult at all. I've been playing basically since launch. <laughs> and I still also very frequently suffer from skill issues. You have some very based units. I just mean, um... This is not an offense to Eltic because he's very, very new, and I like the guy. Uh, when I'm clearing with Eltic's account, it's very, very difficult because <laughs> he has like five E2 units. <laughs> and he's very good at the game, so he gets to very difficult stages and then gets stuck. <laughs> okay, so honestly, I won't need to change this team much. The main thing is Typhon. You have Typhon S3. Let's see. Hoshi is not tanking. Bonus points if I can clear with Kazu. Oh yeah, I'll keep Kazumaru. I love Kazumaru. I, I did just bench her, but I can add her back. Uh, I'll replace... Oh, wait, no, no, she's already there. Sweet, yeah. Ka I love Kazumaru so much. <laughs> I don't use her often because Spectre Ultra is so ridiculously strong. <laughs> but she's so, so cute. Now, do you have a friend with Kirito S2? That is S3. This is just to instantly activate the vents, which is very, very handy. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> now you have to grind the other Genshin event tomorrow. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's like that. Texas S2. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I personally prefer S3, so I'll swap it over. Now, is there anything else I want to change about this? I think for my personal playstyle, I will swap Shining for an... Let's swap her for Bagpipe. Yeah, I'm happy with this team. <laughs> you have all limiteds except for Frost, Blitz, Nyan, and Dusk. Hey, you've got a very, very solid account. <laughs> Congrats, Lude. I do have every unit in the game. I'm lucky enough to have been playing during every banner. <laughs> uh, uh, except for Ws. So I, I managed to get <laughs> some high <laughs> pot limited units while pulling for W. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm a W enjoyer. I have a thing for silver hair and red and black and dark color schemes, as you can probably tell by my VTuber model. <laughs> Text S2 is so unfun to use, it's crazy. Hey, look, to each their own, okay? <laughs> I agree with you. I don't understand. I would rather use red. <laughs> you got an off banner W and Rosmontus. I'm very, very jealous. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, now Inez, generate some DP, please. She is such an amazing unit. And then we'll deploy Mudrock. She should be fine to hold the left side by herself. I don't know which skill she is, but I don't think it matters. Let's be real, it's Mudrock. <laughs> And just in case, she will have... Oh, I should have deployed her one further forward. Nah, I wouldn't have worked with Scardy, never mind. Okay, now, Inez, do your thing. She should be fine here, I think. Let's see. If I need to deploy Texas, I will, though. Oh, yep, nope, absolutely fine. Perfect. <laughs> absolutely perfect. Now, let's get Typhon set up for Cliff. <laughs> Red, black, and dark color scheme, aka Chong Yui. No, 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 Chong Yui doesn't have the same type I like. <laughs> it's very hard to describe. <laughs> My favorite units are Lapland, Project Red, and W, so it's definitely partially the hair. <laughs> You've mainly gotten the secondary units on limited banners. Yeah, that's about standard. <laughs> that's how it goes for a lot of people. Okay, now let's do this. As long as Hoshiguma doesn't die, which I don't think she will, this will be helpful. And let's set up a Golden Glow over here. <laughs> These are effectively the only units we'll need, and everyone else is an emergency button. <laughs> okay, now he should use the shoot on Hashiguma, but he's in range of the vent, so that's fine. Yep, <laughs> she took no damage. <laughs> Based Hashiguma. <laughs> Literally untouched. Okay, let's uh, quickly pop this. That's good enough. <laughs> Now, as long as his phase 1 dies there, which I can make happen by using Texas. Damn, even Texas survives. His phase 1 is nothing to high level units. Let's tank it out. I am used to using Typhon with her module, though, so she is doing less damage, but... Worst case, this will take me a second try, maybe. Yeah, that cooldown buff is pretty crazy. Oh, wrong Golden Glow skill. Uh, wrong in the sense of not the one I'm used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me switch a few things up. I can absolutely do this, though. I know what I need to change. <laughs> and yeah, I definitely feel that on the getting the off rates instead of the limited you want. <laughs> okay, let's go for Kirito again. She was handy. Instead of Telopsis, because... Oh, no, no, let's keep Telopsis. Let's swap out Mudrock for someone slightly tankier. 
Honestly, your mountain's maxed out or higher level than Eltix. He should be fine. <laughs> that gives us room to do Golden Glow. We can deploy Aya S1, Golden Glow S3. Just to make sure it's the... <laughs> I always assume it'll be just like my account <laughs> because I use <laughs> that. <laughs> You got a triple. Can you buy him two calcits? Hey, congratulations! You're trying to follow a Blemichi guy that uses Golden Glow S2. Yeah, Blemichi is very, very based, by the way. <laughs> They're a massive defender only enjoyer. Massive props to Blemichi. Okay, Bagpipe isn't really useful there, so I'll swap it out for Schwartz. Yours should be high enough level. Yes. And you've got about the same masteries. This should be all I need to switch. Hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, massive congrats, Yeshua. It's been a long time. I think I've only ever gotten one triple three star. Uh, tri triple six star. <laughs> Conviction can beat Cliff in one punch. No, she can't. She is not Saitama the one punch man. <laughs> you were new at the time, but got Dusk on the last Sui, NTR on Lone Trail, along with Mule Sister, and are hoping for Tex Alter. <laughs> yeah. I understand hoping for Tex Alter a lot. You've gotten like four so far. A massive congrats then. RNGs is smiles on you. I'm happy for you. Uh, that is genuine, by the way. Sometimes I come across as sarcastic when I'm not intending to. That is a very genuine <laughs> statement. I am happy for you. <laughs> okay, now let's deploy AAR there. We all know Kevin would solo the entirety of Rhodes Island. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. A uh, double... Yeah, I've gotten a few double six stars. I even got one in Honkai Star Rail once, which made me very happy. Literally back-to-back -back Jingliu. <laughs> you ain't Kukaze with God Hands, no. The only God Hand moment I've had is that... <laughs> in my first 10 pull on Jing Liu banner, I got two copies of Jing Liu. That's it. <laughs> That's the only one I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, Kuki Kaze does get lucky. But also keep in mind, he does lots of uh, viewer pulls. So, <laughs> by law of averages, it happens more to him. Kevin flies so high, snipers can't target him. Yeah, Ros Montes can't ta target uh, Kevin. That's how evasive he is. <laughs> Norwell would solo you. <laughs> okay, now he should be fine here. Should be fine. Now, Innes should kill these two, and I'll deploy Hoshigumi there, which will be perfect. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you, very cool. Ros can't hit A. Yeah, 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 that was the joke. <laughs> Kevin can't even target Ros Montes. She's built different. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, Cliff. Now, does Schwartz get the extra tile of range? Yes, I'll activate her skill early then. Might as well activate Golden Glow. As soon as he's in range of the vent, <laughs> just like in Among Us, <laughs> it's a little bit sus, but it is what it is. Okay, now Yato, or Kirito rather. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> Ideally, I'll activate the vent just to save on ammo. You know what? I'll take that. Worst case, I'll just retreat um, Typhon. I think Hoshiguma can still tank his phase two, which is amazing. <laughs> Okay, now the bad news is, he is going to use his stun here, but I think it's fine. I'll wait for him to start moving again so I don't waste the extra time. Typhon will gradually kill him anyway. <laughs> and thank you, by the way, Inners, for having instant stuns forever. <laughs> and thank you, Kirito, for being immune to stun. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even activate his skill. That's very interesting. When will I stream Sekiro again? I'm not sure. Uh, not next week, because I've already booked all my stream schedules ahead of time, or rather this week. <laughs> I know, right? Me actually planning out ahead of time, it's crazy. But I think the week after. Can confirm Hoshi can face tank phase 2. <laughs> that is excellent news. Excellent, excellent news. Okay, now I really need these two to die before he phase transitions. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's speed this up, uh, before he walks in there. Oh wait, wait, what am I doing? I should just use the strat I used. Okay, if I fail this time, I guaranteed win next time. I remembered what my original strat was. <laughs> Like you said, yours hasn't, yours hasn't been able to face tank so far. Uh, yeah, it definitely depends on a little bit of luck, because it's about Hoshigumi's dodge. Now, ideally, I need Tolopsis to not get targeted. <laughs> Unless because yours also had Nyan in the squad, yeah. But it also is like, you see there, wasn't even close. This is just phase one, though. Um, but it's it's dodge-based, so it's, it's literal RNG. <laughs> that being said, if she can dodge, we're in a good spot. <laughs> he hasn't even phase transitioned yet. And the phase two enemies are spawning. <laughs> I'll take that. That's perfect. Uh, Telopsis died there. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Muhammad. I am intending to finish Sekiro. I'm pretty close to the end. <laughs> and I do enjoy it a lot. I, I also already defeated the hardest boss in the game. So, like, why not continue, you know? <laughs> okay, now. Moment of truth. Can Yen survive this? If not, I'm not even worried. Because... Okay, sweet. 
Easy fix, easy fix. This looks cursed. Yeah, it is a bit cursed. <laughs> but I remembered what my strat is halfway through, so now I'm no longer worried. Uh, so let me show you the strat I used to clear X. <laughs> it's uh, very, very balanced. Okay, so let me first off start off by grabbing Yato. Uh, and yeah, I think the reason this Hoshiguma can't... Oh wait, no, never mind. And then we replace Telopsis, who we don't need, with the Game Changer. There we go. <laughs> Two defenders and whisper rain. Yeah, but even then. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. And we can't we can't really use Kibai for anything. So I might swap her out for Shining just in case this first part of the strat doesn't work. Because Hoshiguma can definitely tank him with Shining S3. Dorothy S2, by the way. Yes, sir. Dorothy S2. <laughs> Yo, Yato is M6 level 90. A nice. Yato is very, very fun. Did I get say Gyato instead of Yato? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> That right then was the first time I've ever said Gyato. <laughs> I'm not taking a picture of her. You have so much to level. Yeah, that's the unending grind of Ark Knight's players. <laughs> so many units to level, so little time. Now, let's see. Ideally, I would deploy Skelter like here so that everyone gets buffed. Typhon getting buff will be a massive buff. <laughs> Wear feet. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing shoes in my VTuber model, and I'm not doxing myself to show off my IRL feet. <laughs> so, take it or leave it. <laughs> so many units, so little LMD, yes sir. <laughs> Trying to level all the 4 stars? A 4 stars are very fun to use. I like most of the 4 stars in this game. So many guard chips to farm. I'm actually at the level of Boomer where I don't even have any chips to farm anymore because I'm basically done. <laughs> like, there are some classes where I have no more units left to E1. And I have less than 10 E2s to do in every class, so. <laughs> okay, now let's set up Typhon, and then let's set up Golden Glow, then let's set up Dorothy. 1.3 million LMD for E2 level 90. Yep. <laughs> for real. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, gotta activate Mountain Skill. Let's get Golden Glow there. And then we still have room for Dorothy. Because of course we do. <laughs> you don't even go to 90, you go to 66. Oh, that is interesting. I don't know many 66 players. Okay, now instead of, uh, no, let's deploy Hoshi. Yeah, that's fine. You only E290 units you really use. That's very, very fair. I do not have many E290s. I would rather have every unit relatively built and a couple of favorites maxed out. And other than that, not really. The one downside is getting Hodera is you need more chips for him. Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real, man. <laughs> now, Typhon, let's activate your skill nice and early while the vent is still active. And this time I can immediately reactivate the event, because I won't make a skill issue. <laughs> hey, see? There we go. <laughs> close enough, close enough. And as soon as Schwartz's skill is over, I will start my actual strategy. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Schwartz. <laughs> Dorothy, you're up. <laughs> Take a picture, don't forget her, let it linger in your view. I have enough pictures of Siege. <laughs> Average Siege enjoyer. <laughs> Sorry, least dedicated Siege Enjoyer, I should say. Okay, there we go. And now Cliff gets the uh, privilege of taking a little while. <laughs> you E290'd Silver Ash because he helped you during your noob days. Schwing, schwing, yeah. And now you have Mlynar as well for the schwing, schwing. <laughs> we replaced one schwing, schwing with another. <laughs> uh, LMD is temporary, but schwing, schwing is eternal. You want everything, never know when it'll be useful for IS. <laughs> Very understandable. Game changer for real, for real. Yeah. Schwing Schwing has always been a game changer. And always will be. Okay, looks like he's going to ignore one of them. But his iframes are about to run out. So, Especially there. <laughs> oh no, Yato died. <laughs> this will just buy us a little bit of extra time to kill everyone else. Which is really all we need. Especially because we can do this. <laughs> which will take some of his HP. Now we retreat Typhon. So we can use her again later. Golden Glow, activate your skill, please. Inez, activate yours. And Kirito, let's see if we can kill these two. It's fine-ish for Hoshiguma to die there. I just need these guys to actually die, but should be fine. Yep. There we go. I do massively appreciate that the uh, non-boss enemies spawn well before the boss. <laughs> okay, now Kazumaru, it's time for you to come and clutch. Thank you, Kazumaru. Very cool. I should have taken Serta. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's set up. Uh, boss should be still there before I move. 
Okay, thank you, Kazumaru. Your job is done. <laughs> and unfortunately, Hoshigima is down, but should be fine. Okay, Texas, let's retreat. You, if I need to restart again, I'll replace Texas with, um... What's the word? Serta. Who is Serta's equivalent low-tier op? Uh, Spectre. Default Spectre. Guard Spectre. The main thing about Serta isn't even the damage, it's the ridiculous level of, um... <laughs> hey, you're immortal now. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely default Guard Spectre. Now this should be enough to kill Cliff. Especially if we activate these bad boys. Which hopefully we can get poppin'. From memory. And if not, hey, we can fix that. The good news is he will get stunned here by Inners in just a second, maybe. Nope. That's fine, that's fine. We'll set up to tank here with Hoshiguma in case we need it. And we can kill all of these guys with the fast redeploy. Serta's just that broken. Serta is kind of ridiculous here. You need more LMD because <laughs> Ebenholtz. <laughs> Average Ebenholtz enjoyer. But yeah, uh, Serta's main ridiculousness is that she is effectively entirely unkillable. <laughs> just by default. <laughs> Like, you, you can't really kill Serta, so. <laughs> I think that guy will die to the vent. Let's hope, let's hope. He should be, yeah. No, actually. Oh, he's tankier than I thought. Okay, now let's uh, stall out the rest of them. <laughs> Thank you, Golden Glow. Very cool. Take care of the last two. And now we have Hoshiguma to tank. And then we just need to very quickly burst him down. Which should be doable. Now activate defense up. Activate Hoshiguma. <laughs> There we go. Now, assuming Hoshi lives this. Damn, really? Okay, that's fine. Now, if we retreated her in time, he should avoid doing the dash. Nope. <laughs> okay, I just need to switch to Serta. <laughs> that's fine. Replace Texas Alter with Serta. And absolutely easy win. Huge Schwartz, Schwartz activation. <laughs> oh, hey, don't judge me. <laughs> Okay, Yato is useful there, uh, Texas less so. So let's grab your Serta, and that'll literally be all we need. <laughs> Wrong module, possibly, possibly. That's fine. Oshigum is still useful there. It just means we can replace Shining with someone else. So who should we replace it with? Who's another good ranged DPS unit you have? You have a lot of units, which makes it hard to choose in a way. <laughs> Honestly, maybe we should just go with Null. Null S2, nuke it out. Because Serto will stop him from using his skill once, and that's all we need. <laughs> and honestly, Null can as well. <laughs> you guess your Hoshi only made it because of Null talent. It will have been a combination of Null talent and dodge luck. I think even with Null talent, unless you get at least two dodges, uh, she dies. But yeah, I think Null can tank out the boss. If not, we'll find out. <laughs> And yeah, look, I have definitely had better Schwartz activations <laughs> in my life from time to time. Is Tequila E2? Yes, I should check that. You're right. Probably. Just use Mlynar. Mlynar is a very handy unit to have. Mlynar's a slight convenience, shall we say. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Now we'll set up uh, Schwartz as always. And then Typhon. No, this should be the one. I'm pretty sure I've gotten used to it. I was having massive skill issues on Eltix <laughs> on this stage. Your Hoshi has no masteries and only level 1 module. Ah, lack of masteries would explain it. She gets another couple hundred extra defense, so that could very easily be the difference. Aya Ulta is just so damn good. Yeah, if you only have um one leveled medic and that leveled medic is Aya Ulta, you're in a very good spot. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Aya Alter is a, a very solid healer, shall we say. <laughs> now, Golden Glow, do your thing. Schwartz, do your thing. As soon as he's in range, Typhon will do hers. There we go. You got a pot six somehow? Hey, congratulations. <laughs> and now that he's used that skill, let's double burst him down. <laughs> we have a null, we might as well use it. <laughs> this will just give us more wiggle room. Because uh, it's really the other enemies that are the problem. I'll retreat Hoshiguma so he doesn't kill her and dash through his pause points. <laughs> Aya Alter is your favorite lung lumen side grade. <laughs> Average lumen fan. The least dedicated lumen fan in the world. Yeah, your Null is beefy too. Yeah, I definitely agree on that. 
your pride and joy. <laughs> Nell's a really fun unit. I understand why you love her so much. Okay, now uh, now that he's out of range, Kazamaru, as requested, we're using Kazamaru, and she is actually clutching it out. <laughs> because she just saved Inez from dying. <laughs> she stalled the enemy just long enough. And now we can stall the boss for 10 years until every other enemy is dead. <laughs> Thank you once again, Kazamaru. Incredibly cool. We stalled just long enough for Hoshigimi to be back. Ah, oh, it's fine. Inez will die there. It is what it is. Ten years later, the boss might actually make it. <laughs> now, Typhon, can you kill that guy? Hopefully, yes. Oh, wait, absolutely yes, you lock on. What am I kidding? <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, wait. Oh, no, not quite fast enough. If I deployed that behind, I could have gotten it as well. There we are, there we are. Now, I will need to retreat Hashigumit in a sec so that the boss doesn't insta-kill him. But, this time I'll remember to set up my Schwartz. <laughs> actually, wait, no. I don't think I can. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, I'll let these guys through now. And then just Kirito them. <laughs> swing, 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 swing. They lost their defense buff, and they're dead. <laughs> now, as long as Mountain doesn't die, which I don't think he will, we should be fine. Should be very free here. Okay, good job, Mountain. Very good job. Now, no point setting up Schwartz yet. Or Serta yet. So I'll use Serta to tank it and then DPS it with a few other units as best I can. I'll activate this here just to <laughs> just to stun him a few extra seconds. Buy me a little bit extra time. And then Serta time. And just in case, this might be enough. Oh wait, no, there's no point. As soon as he targets, there we go. Now, because Serta is literally incapable of dying in this game, and that's not even a joke, she cannot actually die. She can't be affected by Silence's skill. <laughs> You need to level Rosa, she's too good. <laughs> but right now you're focusing on Cal. Very understandable, sir. Okay, now hopefully... Oh wait, that was a waste. Still in range of Glyph. Oh wait, no, no, he doesn't have his skill, right. <laughs> it's fine for you to target that. Sweet, and he should dash out of range of Kazamara, which is exactly what I need. Now as long as this left side wins, which it should, we should be fine. Typhon, do your thing, and just in case, let's pop this bad boy. Worst case, I can use Hashiguma on that left side. Oh wait, no, let's uh, let's keep Golden Glow alive. It is more useful to have Golden Glow permanently than it is to have Null there. <laughs> you need to level Cal, but you have 35 guys to level. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, there are so many amazing units in this game. Okay, now, these guys will be slightly annoying because I'm a low on DP. If I do need to change this up, I'll probably swap someone out for Texas or Myrtle. But I think we're fine. I'll retreat Typhon from there, because no point having her around anymore. Yato should kill that guy. Yep. <laughs> then Serta's up. <laughs> now, I think Serta can just kill the boss here. I think. If not, she's bought us enough time that we can definitely do some something with her. Nope, not quite. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> very, very unfortunate. Okay, we were close, we were close. Dorothy, do your thing. <laughs> we need to get a clutch with Hoshiguma, or just enough damage from- Oh no no, we're fine, we're fine. Sweet. I was thinking it'd be close, worst case we had Hoshiguma and we could hope, but there you go, see I'm done. <laughs> they aren't even amazing, just hot parentheses Winflit. <laughs> yep, male knights and joyers are feral. Alrighty, there you go. <laughs> no worries, just casually Tifa. Very happy to help out. <laughs> and sorry that I probably butchered your name then. <laughs> Okay, let me get out so you can have your account back. Next up is Shangri-La. Aw, thanks, Tifei. You didn't need to do that, but that's very kind. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, please don't ever feel stressed about that stuff, but that's very, very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, user, you got Winflit as a temp recruit in IS2 the other day. <laughs> Shan is dead. Oh, no, no, Shan's back, Shan's back. <laughs> At least in Discord. Shan might just be lurking. Okay, added. You are south, but who is north? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't ask me these questions. You won't like the answers. <laughs> north will be what I call myself if I ever get a male model, probably. <laughs> there is actually lore behind my character and name. It's just kind of cringe and I made it when I was 15. It was my original character, Do Not Steal. <laughs> Who I made before I was decent at character design. <laughs> and I don't want to embarrass myself by detailing all of it. 
<laughs> Congrats, you won the game with the free win flip. Yeah, for real. Null S2, you did not expect. Yeah, no, Null S2 is really, really fun, man. True damage. Null S2 is just a six-star robot. She's crazy good. <laughs> Make boobs bigger. <laughs> the only thing... Uh, well, okay, actually, no. I specified a lot of things with the artist because it was sort of a dual design rather than just a single design. <laughs> but one of the only things I specified was, hey, no explicit cleavage window, please. And look at the boob jiggle physics I got and look at <laughs> the entire inner boob under boob window. <laughs> but technically no cleavage. <laughs> so everyone, <laughs> everyone in the VTuber space is just really horny. 2K sub-inspective. OC, do not steal law. No, no, no. Uh, hopefully you mean 2k YouTube subs, because that is massive overkill for 2k Twitch subs. I would have like a heart attack if I ever got 2k Twitch subs. Are you kidding me? That's more money than I make at my job. <laughs> but no, uh, I, I don't, I'm still working on my 1k subs video, so it's, it's not a rush. <laughs> And maybe I'll find a way to make her lore not cringe. <laughs> no, less 2 is not true damage, just big damage that looks like true damage. It is true damage. Okay, so Shangri-La, just to check, you wanted an account roast and not assistance, right? Just want to make sure. <laughs> if you want assistance with anything, happy to provide it. YouTube subs, of course. Yeah, good. <laughs> we'll definitely get 500 subs from 31 views. Yo, 31 views is very high. What are you talking about? <laughs> South law man turned into female during a failed isekai attempt. No, it's way cringier than that. It was uh, from before I um, made light uh, realizations about my self-identity. Can you get account roasted? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Roast if you want to mess around with something, go for it. <laughs> sure. I'll look through your account. I'll look through your account. Uh, after you, I have Loot is Justice. Wait, no, I have Snafu if they're back. Then Loot is Justice. Then just casually. Oh, just casually already done. Sweet. <laughs> so Loot is Justice, you should be next. I think Snafu is still gone. Okay, so let, let's take a look. Let's see what you've got. One seven showcase. Show us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, to start off with, I can see you're the average Siege fan. You have her maxed out. You have her M6. <laughs> Not M9. You made a mistake figuring out which skills you were supposed to level because you can't read. And then you also didn't realize modules exist. <laughs> Average Siege Enjoyer right here. So right off the bat, right off the bat, yep. That is to be expected. That's not an insult. That's not a roast. That is exactly what you expect when you see someone who really likes Siege and you go into their account. Uh, let's take a look at your actual units though. Bagpipe, not bad, not bad. Um, do you have a pot six? Yes. With pot six bagpipe, you should get the other levels. I won't get them, just show them. Because it gives Bagpipe an extra 4 extra SP on deployment, which means this is Heli Drop, and her S3 is very, very strong. But very solid unit. I can tell you have a very experienced account, so you probably don't have too many issues with content. Just like me for real, for real. But higher leveled than me. <laughs> Modulist yet. <laughs> Sup? Hello, feeling doko. One Annihilation Handhold, please? Yes, there's a little bit of a queue, but just DM me your email so that I remember you to <laughs> add. I remember you're in the queue. That's how I keep track of the queue. <laughs> That's the point. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so Sailage. Now, right off the bat, a couple problems. To start us off with, why do you have a level 90 flag bearer? Do you enjoy burning resources? Name one time you have made use of Sailage's stats. This Sailage is usually worse than an E2 level 1 Myrtle. <laughs> But some people really enjoy the French lady. So, hey, look, it is what it is. <laughs> I can tell you have a propensity <laughs> towards certain characters. <laughs> I don't know, she's a boss killer. Yes, sir, she's a boss killer. <laughs> Stats for moral support, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you wanted to buff up her defense. Yeah, you wanted to buff up her defense. Am I understanding correctly? <laughs> uh, relatively standard on everyone else, I assume. You don't even have Blaze SMM6. What the hell is this? Who needs Sailage when Elysium buffs Typhoon? <laughs> uh, Chen, pretty standard. Oh, it's a surprise to see a Chen S3 user. I take it you're a day one player then. S3 was Chen's best skill for a while, and then later on S2 became her best skill. 
So that's very interesting, but that's like completely fair. I would say her S2 is worth doing because it's instant, but if you have Texas, which you probably do, not necessary. Sorry about that, just had to turn on the light. My model was getting bad tracking. <laughs> Your Shen, Chen is M12 <laughs> based. S3 is cool as fuck. Yeah, Chen's S3 is very cool. Like, nothing roastable about that, nothing roastable about that. Irene, very based. Mine is M6. Uh, all skills have masteries, as you'd expect of an M6. Let me take a quick gander. Yep, okay. S, S2, good to see. Oh, Scardy Enjoyer, you love to see it. Blemishine Enjoyer, Hoshi Enjoyer, yep, good units so far. But we're not here to praise you. We're here for a roast. So let's scroll a little bit. <laughs> let's start from the back. You really do like to light resources on fire. I see, I see. <laughs> so to start us off with, why is your Durin not level 30 for her base skill? <laughs> Check the Serta. Don't worry, I'll get to Serta. I assume you have some Cursed Masteries. No J levels? No, no. No J levels is fine because it nerfs your base. e one J does permanently nerf your, nerf your base. <laughs> I do understand that. Mine's the same. Or Chestnut. <laughs> Hate. <laughs> once, you, once you have a high account, Chestnut is fine to ignore. No Matoimaro. That's unfortunate. She's cute. Come on, at least give her like five levels. <laughs> out of pity. No Robin levels. But you're an old enough player that I assume you had Robin before you got Dorothy, so that is unexpected. But that's understandable. Not everyone likes her. No Kazumaru levels. Very cringe. Where is your built Kazumaru? <laughs> She's so cute. I know by the time she came out for Ian, it had already been leaked that Spectre alter power crypto, but still. <laughs> Give her pity levels. <laughs> to be expected, nothing too notable in the five stars. Surprised you don't have Cruz King Glint leveled, though. If you play IS, you should absolutely level her. She is the best five star sniper in the game for IS, and it's not even close. <laughs> She's one of the best five stars for IS. <laughs> Just as a whole. And yeah, Fian, Fian, just uh, make sure to DM South. I haven't seen yours pop up, so just in case you forgot, South, not Tarkas. <laughs> this account is going to get you admitted to a mental hospital. <laughs> just because your waifu has Bandu characters haven't been leveled, doesn't mean it's a bad account. No Swire, yeah, that's fine. No Franga, that's fine. Highmore, <laughs> look, let's be real here. La Pluma's better than Highmore in almost every circumstance, even in IS. Why would you level her? <laughs> Okay, now we've started to... Now we've started to hit some problems. Had to pause for a second there. The meme is why haven't you leveled your Ponceros? We're a cult of Ponceros, after all. The actual <laughs> is why haven't you leveled your Suzeran, Dorothy, or Swire? <laughs> I understand not liking Phantom. Fair enough, I've always liked him. But why have you not leveled your Dorothy? Her S2 is insane. <laughs> Even just for her base skill, she's kind of worth leveling. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> why have you not leveled your KB? How could you not like this face? What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're too busy. Ma Do you max out units one at a time? I understand Jessica. She's new. I'm still leveling her. Typhon, that's to be expected. But like, why did you pull two of her if you weren't planning on leveling her? <laughs> Ponser is not leveled. I know. No secondary free pipe on. <laughs> she didn't share the shrews. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm a massive Fiametta enjoyer, so this is cringe. Fiametta's so goofy and so fun. Serta, I understand why you asked me to check out your Serta, but not leveling your Serta is not as cringe or unusual as you expect. I know plenty of people who refuse to use Serta. The real cringe is not leveling your penance. <laughs> What's the reason here? She's so pretty. <laughs> She's incredibly pretty, and she's very fun, because she kills people by doing nothing. <laughs> Le not leveled Malina, not leveled Executor. You just hate the hot men in this game. Really. <laughs> you just hate Liberators, that's why Tequila and Lina are both it. <laughs> yeah. I understand not leveling Mountain, I've only recently leveled mine. But like, man, he's so hot. <laughs> His skill talent is called Empathy by Shotgun, he's so funny. <laughs> he rolls the gacha to satisfy his gambling addiction, very understandable. Level 8, I can't raise too many questions, I've done some goofy leveling myself. <laughs> The rest of these six stars I understand. Uh, the real kickers are Penance Mliner. <laughs> Silver Ash is a surprise because you seem like a day one player and everyone used Schwing Schwing. Okay, let's let's see, let's see. Nothing, all in all though, the main cringe here is unleveled KD. <laughs> That's the main one. <laughs> Everything else is perfectly understandable. Cal, yeah, some people just don't like Cal. 
Thanks, Fian. I've added you to the list. That level 8 has been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I figured was the case. These are two units you have at the start. You level them a little bit because you're new to the game, then you forget about them and replace them. <laughs> uh, maxed out units who aren't E1. You'll love to see it. Let me guess, you're out of chips? Yep. How did I know? <laughs> maxed out Bibik. Let me guess, you decided you didn't like Bibik when you got Irene. I understand. <laughs> Give you that exploit. <laughs> Ooh! Streamlabs just let me know someone subscribed, but Twitch didn't. So did they subscribe on YouTube or something? Either way, thank you so much, Kotcha Pat. That might just be very, very delayed. <laughs> thank you for the subscribe. I assume that's on YouTube. If that's on Twitch, thank you again even more. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. All your three stars are maxed. That's good, that's good. <laughs> no steward skin. Look, it's understandable you want to spend it on gambling instead. Now, the real cringe here... Wait, let me see, let me see for sure... Am I just missing her, or are you based? Where's your catapult? Your catapult doesn't seem to be maxed out. That is incredibly based. Is she all the way back here untouched? Okay, you know, you asked me for an account roast, but outside of KB and a few other characters, you're sitting on a pile of gold. This is a perfect account. You have not wasted any resources at all. There are so many resources you could have wasted that you didn't. <laughs> His skin is free. <laughs> like, look, look, like, at, at least that, I'm on your side. I'm on your side with this. I unfortunately E1'd my catapult when I was new because I'm cringe. But this makes up for all... This gives you a lot of slack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, the one thing I will say, unironically, you should absolutely E2 your pure stream for her base skill. <laughs> she is the best gold generator in the game. <laughs> Why build catapult when you have meteorite and W? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, no scene. That's absolutely fine. Yep, we've already gone through the five stars. Nothing too notable there. Main one is KB. Fita. <laughs> Very funny. Your catapult is N3, M3. <laughs> no, she's not. She can't get masteries. But yeah, you love to see that. That has put a massive smile on my face. <laughs> a gotcha summon PTSD. Yeah, for real. Ooh, Gaviel Enjoyer. Default Gaviel too. That's very based. Pazemka, no masteries. Ouch. That is physically painful to look at. You need to give at least one mastery to her S3. Come on. <laughs> How's your cutter doing? In honor of light, cutter. <laughs> Ethan M6. Yeah, I can check Ethan. M1. No, that's respectable. You probably um, are like me. You got Ethan. You used him a little bit early on. Then you got better units. <laughs> your project red. I, I was like this as well. Uh, if you use red regularly, which why would you? You have Texas. Use her, e <laughs> her S1. <laughs> Trust me, it's really, really good. Eventually, you'll think you were crazy for using S2. <laughs> but Red, you'll love to see it. I see you also like Red. You also like Mulberry, based choice, incredibly fantastic. Meteorite Enjoyer, you'll love to see it. There's really not too much cursed in this account. Unless you're missing critical masteries, which you don't seem to be. Like, not leveling Sert is very, very fine. And you haven't leveled Catapult, which is a major boon. You use the correct Texas. That's good. Can I look at his auto deploy CVX8? <laughs> sure. I'll, I won't run it full. Oh, wait. No, no. That would waste sanity. You used to be able to use practice plans for auto deploy, but they patched it out, unfortunately. Yo, Spectre Enjoyer. Okay. You asked me for a roast, but like this isn't a roast. This is a barbecue, my good sir. And you are cooking. <laughs> there are some things where I don't know why you added that ingredient, but you are making a fine dish. <laughs> You love to see this. <laughs> Gladia Enjoyer. I take it you're a Seaborn Chad. <laughs> I've never used Abyssal Hunter only. Let me guess, you also enjoy Bloodborne. In which case, very, very based indeed. Ling. It is a surprise to see the blue woman this high, given your other units. But hey, look, she's pretty useful. She's pretty useful. <laughs> Kirito. Ooh, you've got her set to the wrong skill. But you do have the correct skill mastered. This is the only skill. Uh, Kirito doesn't actually have other ones. I don't know why you just drained resources like that when you could instead use her S2. Angelina based. <laughs> you love to see it. I am also an Angelina S1 enjoyer. <laughs> it is actually a really fun skill. And you also have a module. Let's go. You've got both. Hey, he's just like me for real. <laughs> uh, Reed, good. You have both, but you default to S3. You love to see it. Mistima, do you have a module? Of course. <laughs> Mistima Enjoyer. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, let's just take a quick look. We're almost back to the start. 
Uh, do you use S3 or M S1? S3 is fine. S3 is fine. Golden Glow, you're not an S okay. You're not an S2, Chad. That's good. <laughs> Golden Glow S2 is weird, and I don't understand it. Ooh, where's the Dusk S1, sir? Why are you running the wrong skill? <laughs> That's two strikes. <laughs> But yeah, it definitely seems like you're the kind of player to level a couple of units you really like and max them out, which is very understandable. <laughs> that being said, I take it you are probably a waifu-only enjoyer uh, because you only have female characters leveled, which I do understand. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, you do have one man leveled. My mistake. <laughs> one very handsome man. S3 is good, come on. Yeah, but it's the wrong skill. <laughs> Dusk belongs with her S1 because it's goofy and funny. <laughs> But yeah, no, very, very solid account. You even have Cantabile leveled and Black Knight, which I love. I love both of them, especially Cantabile. I love her from about here up in this art. Below that, it looks a bit weird. <laughs> the rest of her dress sits a bit weird on her, but I love her hairdo. I love her hair shade. <laughs> very, very based choices. So I, apologies, I can't roast you too hard. This is a very based account, mainly because the lack of Catapult level. <laughs> Not having a leveled Catapult is so important. <laughs> okay, next up, Lewd is Justice, unless unless Snafu is around, which he is not. Okay. Now, Lewd, which stage or stages do you want me to clear? <laughs> Just while I'm logging out and logging back in. But yeah, for what it's worth, Shangri-La, I like your account quite a lot. We have similar taste. <laughs> there are some things where we don't perfectly overlap, but hey. You've got mostly very, very good taste. <laughs> XCM and showcase account? Sure. I won't spend too long showcasing account because I can only stream for about another hour and someone wants an annihilation handhold. <laughs> but I'll give a quick look. Okay, so uh, send me your verification code. Oh, yes, I should have checked base. You're right. Sorry about that. <laughs> if I get time, I'll loop back around to you to see your base. Are you one of the chads who runs nothing but power points? Uh, power plants? If so, very, very based. Sorry about that. I am very, very sneezy. <laughs> I really hate my hay fever. I hope one day people... Wait, actually, I haven't fully logged out. Let me see if I can... Um... Now that I've got the code... Yeah, I... sweet. I'll quickly check your base <laughs> while I'm still logged in. That is a good point. I do need to check that. I need to check your history as well. And I've got everything I need to log into Lude. And it's just XCM. Sweet. So let's see. What nightmare is waiting for me? <laughs> okay, this is relatively standard. 2, 4, 3. You love to see it. Your dorms are maxed. You love to see that. You want to see. <laughs> you have a runny nose, pisses you off. Yep, <laughs> same. The, the control center confuses me, but you know what? Not everyone has the Rainbow Six Party. You said you didn't have Frost, or was that uh, uh, Blitz, or was that someone else? If you don't have the Rainbow Six Party, I completely get it. <laughs> Absinthe Quirkus based. You use Catapult. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's not nice. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> let's make sure. Let's check everything else is good. Pina, Sylvestris, Enjoyer. Liskam, Enjoyer. Mm, nothing too weird about the operators working. Noir Corn, Enjoyer. That's not efficient, but I respect the hustle. <laughs> you don't have Frost and Blitz? Yeah, very, very fair then. I'm just so accustomed to seeing nothing but <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege operators and then just Amir or Swire. <laughs> Now, let's check build mode. Wait, no. Uh, let's check what they have. Oh, sorry. Didn't want to claim that. Uh, yep. Both making <laughs> the correct thing. That's good to know. <laughs> now, let's check your factories. How many of these are producing gold? It should be 2-2, two, two, right? Oh, no. You don't need gold. You do not enjoy gold. <laughs> dorm? Yeah, yeah. I'll check your dorms. Dorms are maxed. <laughs> let's take a look through and see your dorms. Ooh. This is really, really nice. Was this one of the pre-mades or was this custom? If this is custom, you did an incredible job. <laughs> this is very, very nice. I don't think I've ever seen this one before, so this must be custom. That's incredible, man. <laughs> I just default because I have no aesthetic test and I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, aesthetic taste with backgrounds and I'm terrible at designing and making them. I can't draw backgrounds for the life of me. <laughs> so I only draw characters. <laughs> That's a really nice start. Very lovely Halloween theme. And it is Halloween today. So it's great to see you're in the festive spirit. This is a default Halloween one, then I've just never seen anyone use it. Uh, if these... 
are custom made or default, <laughs> either way you have good taste. If these are custom made, they're incredible. <laughs> they're probably default, you're probably right. Oh man, look at Kazumaru's smug face, it's so cute. <laughs> Uh, this one I'm not as big of a fan of just because the aesthetic, but it's still very, very well put together. Love the fireplace, love the cozy design, love the weapon. <laughs> Giant trident. Let me guess, execute that, brought that in <laughs> in with him. Oh, you have and it's the same? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> this is funny to look at. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to worry about Tallulah and Frost Nova. <laughs> This also looks probably pre-made, if not, once again. I'll assume all of these are pre-made, they're just the ones I'm not used to seeing. They're all really fantastic. And then we have Rhodes Hotel. Oh, the giant Amia plushie, that's very cute. <laughs> all of these plushies are so cute. Oh, this is, this is the collab furniture, isn't it? I haven't seen that in game before, I haven't um, tested it out in mine. That's very, very cute. <laughs> You've got very nice dorms. <laughs> Alright, now, now so that I have time to get to everyone, let me swap over, let me swap over. <laughs> ah, you <laughs> you don't have the you have the uh, leave based confirmation still set up. <laughs> okay, okay. Now let's log into Lude's account. <laughs> plap, 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 plap. <laughs> yeah, I do like plap memes. Uh, some of them. Most of them are cringe, but that's how every meme goes. The majority are cringe, and then just some of them are really based. <laughs> okay, now let's see what we have to work with. Hopefully we can use the exact same strategy as last time, and just cheese uh, XCM. <laughs> oh, whoop. oh, sorry, I sent you a new verification code like a dumbass. <laughs> sorry, I am dumb. <laughs> what is the new verification code? <laughs> I'm a consummate professional. Quick, look at my thighs. You saw nothing. Look, I've got a pair of shorts underneath my skirt. Doesn't it arouse your gaze? <laughs> Hello, Fian. Welcome back. <laughs> or you're just saying hello. General. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, 474192. <laughs> it would be funny if that was someone else just messing with me. <laughs> Quick, this is the verification code. It'd be nice if the voice attached was not so manly. Uh, do you mean my voice, or...? If so, there's not much I can do about my voice. It's actually usually deeper. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is me speaking higher pitched because I get very excited when I'm streaming. <laughs> or do you just mean you can't enjoy the dichotomy? You can't enjoy the walking flashbang? If so, that's absolutely fine. I just, um... I find female design way more interesting. Uh, that's a simple enough way to sum it up. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, look, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I'm aware I'm, I'll never be everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> but hey, hopefully you can enjoy the content despite that. And if not, that's also fine. Okay, so you just wanted CMX, uh, CM8. You didn't want any others. Fair enough, fair enough. Let me take a look at what I'm working with. I immediately went to friend supports like a dumbass. <laughs> okay, yeah, this should be very doable. Uh, just to check... Are you fine with me changing any team, or is there a specific team you want me to change? Uh, because, obviously, some people like Trust Farm, for example. <laughs> you probably don't want me changing that. Why be a cup of tea when I can be hot cocoa? Oh, you want me to be there, but damn it. <laughs> Wait, let me sip water. You want me to be subduc sed seductive. Ah, stutter. <laughs> this is my normal talking voice, by the way. I'm not kidding when I say I get excited when I'm streaming. <laughs> Okay, change main. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, I know that um, my standard, <laughs> my voice and model is not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I can't do a good Batman impression. I don't know why I tried. <laughs> Lamau. Wait, Ella Zaboskula? I don't know. My model's nice. Hey, thank you. I'm very, very happy with how the artist did it. That's not what you meant. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm not meaning to linger on it or be mean to you about it or anything like that. Please don't take it that way. I'm just, um... My thoughts are very circular and loop all over the place, so while I'm focusing on this, I'm ranting about the last topic my brain thought of, which in this case was that. <laughs> so that's why I'm still talking about it. It's nothing against you. <laughs> so please don't feel stressed. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I wasn't meaning to just hyper-focus on that. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, we should be able to, yeah, you've got a very built account. I should be able to use the exact same strategy. Let's grab your Robin. Where is she? 
Oh, Dorothy, rather. Ooh, you don't have a level Dorothy. That's fine, that's fine. Because you have a level Typhon, I might be able to grab someone else's Dorothy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't ever worry. Um, To put it in perspective, the last time someone made me actually angry was 2014. I don't take things personally. <laughs> Even if people are directly insulting me. Uh, for perspective, like they were directly insulting me, that person, and that was the last time I got angry. So don't don't ever worry about an idle comment. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. I was only rambling about it because I'm focused. I ramble about the last topic I was thinking about while I focus on other things. It's a very bad habit of mine. Uh, so <laughs> what's another topic so that I can ramble about that instead, instead of maybe making you feel bad, which is not the goal. <laughs> Spectre's thighs. Spectre has amazing thighs. I love her E2 art, and I love Spectre Ultim. <laughs> no Dorothy friend support? Yeah, I can tell. I'll reroll a little bit to see if we can get a Dorothy pop up, but I won't reroll too much. Why did I choose a female model? There are a couple reasons. Uh, the main one that's probably easiest to understand. Male clothing design is really boring for me. <laughs> and female clothing design is not. Uh, that's probably the easiest one to explain, but there are a few other reasons. Lore and plot also does play into it. This is based off of an OC I made when I was 14. <laughs> Back in the ancient days before computers existed. <laughs> I love Spectre so much that I'm cosplaying her. Why are you letting all of the new people know about that? <laughs> Why are you doing that to me? But yes. <laughs> Damn it, everyone's using Dor Dorothy S3. Femboy looks, let's go. <laughs> no, okay, so um, I should clarify, I'm six foot two <laughs> and a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like a professional boxer, but I box. <laughs> uh, and combined with my normal talking voice, I have had a lot of people think I'm a fuckboy or a giga chad, and I don't really understand either, that is just what I've been told. <laughs> with enough bear, anything is possible. <laughs> Plot, you know what I mean? No. Oh yeah, yeah, I should clarify, y you guys are all new. I'm also asexual. <laughs> uh, so I am very much in a lot of different minorities. <laughs> I'm an absolute freak, I'm built incorrectly, as in my brain doesn't work. <laughs> okay, you know what, that's enough re-rolling for that. Let's um, let's just grab a Spectre Ulta, she can tank it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> all these other streamers think they're built different. <laughs> Not me, I'm out here being built incorrectly. <laughs> Asexual, what a waste of a 6-2 boxer, yeah. I've had quite a few people in stream flirt with me, which I'm very fine with, by the way. It's just I always should clarify, like, the chances of me reciprocating your feelings are very low, shall we say. Let's see if we can grab a golden glow from friend support. <laughs> Winky face? Eh. My model can't register winks very well because I have very bad lighting. <laughs> I'm winking right now. <laughs> Next thing I'll say I'm left-handed? No, I'm not cringe. <laughs> I am indeed right-handed. I'm actually slightly ambidextrous when it comes to art because I have very shaky hands. But that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm like a mid-tier artist. <laughs> I've made like three vaguely decent drawings total. Uh, I did kind of peak. One of the fan arts I made was used in the Niji Sanji thumbnail. And then like a month later, the Niji Sanji drama happened. <laughs> uh, so hey, it is what it is. <laughs> is my OC asexual though? Uh, sort of, but not really. My OC is fight sexual. <laughs> <laughs> so I think of Nimona from Pokemon. <laughs> Lamau, yes sir, yes sir. Uh, but yes, I will be cosplaying Spectre in the future. <laughs> Spectre Alta. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> look, she she enjoys... Okay, look, most of the traits about my OC were based off of what I was learning. Oh, by the way, is, is this boss is Fizz, right? Not Arts? Let me check, let me check. I actually should know that. Uh... Reduce the targets. Yeah, okay, he's Fizz. Good to know. Yeah, ranged physical. <laughs> I was thinking, is Nightingale good here? So a lot of the character traits of this of my OC were based on things about myself that I was discovering that I didn't realize yet. Like me being a sadist. <laughs> You're going to be cosplaying Skull Shatterer based. <laughs> Skull Shatterer is at least uh, not wearing a dress and high heels, but this won't be the first time I've worn high heels. Okay, so let me think. Is there anything I need to change? Hulkiak, yes. <laughs> Kirito, S2, naturally. Uh, but yeah, I used to... I should clarify on that. Not cross-dressing, I used to be... A, oh wait, technically yes, cross-dressing. I used to be a drama student, so... <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Swire will also be very, very good because she's unkillable. There's no point using her S1. And we only need her to be temporarily unkillable. 
Honestly, this team should be mostly fine. Let me just swap out. I don't need Nightingale, and I don't really need Rosa, but I should use Rosa because she will probably be really good against this boss. Let me grab Blaze. There we go. Let's do this. <laughs> you have a blocked nostril. It's been giving you headaches. Ah, that sucks. I can relate. Like that one time I um, lost hearing in one ear <laughs> for a week. <laughs> it always sucks, and it massively throws off your balance. It's really unfortunate. So hopefully you feel better soon, Fion. Sorry to hear that. If you haven't cross-dressed at least once, what are you doing? True! <laughs> very, very true and real and based. <laughs> uh, but no, I understand not everyone is comfortable cross-dressing. It's very understandable. <laughs> but no, I have functionally no sense of shame. You've cross-dressed a few times? Hey. There is nothing at all wrong with cross-dressing. <laughs> uh, even more so if you're Scottish, because then wearing a skirt isn't even cross-dressing. It's just a cultural thing. <laughs> Okay, now we won't have Dorothy to stall, but we will have Rosa to hopefully insta-kill the boss. <laughs> because from memory, she actually out-DPSs out Typhoon S3. I just don't use her very often, so I'm not positive. <laughs> it's fun? Yeah, it's fun to dress up in new things. <laughs> it's always fun to try out something new, whether that's uh, cross-dressing or anything, really. All gacha CEOs have cross-dressed at one point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my favorite thing about Twitter is... um. <laughs> They finally discovered Azulane's Kashino, if you know who I'm talking about. And then they got really mad with the company. And none of them had played the game, so none of them realized that actually <laughs> the CEO of that company is female. <laughs> uh, but that being said, yeah, Azulane is uh, not the gold standard and not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> Shall we say. <laughs> to put it lightly. Okay, that was a really dumb decision, but it kind of works out anyway. Let's just quickly reactivate this. Honestly, I think that'll still be fine. Yeah, boss, boss phase 1 should still die there, which is what we need. Has good DJ. <laughs> Has anyone playing AFK Journey? No, the only thing I know about AFK Journey is every time I open Arknights, it advertises it to me. But if it's good, please do let me know. I'd love to give it a try. Okay, so now, uh, let's hit him with the yoinky sploinky called <laughs> Serta is literally immortal. <laughs> so we might as well DPS the other guy. You're really enjoying it? Ooh. Uh, could someone, if anyone has the Discord open, could you pop that in the Discord? I'd love to check it out off stream. Uh, I know I have a massive list currently of games to check out off stream, but hey. <laughs> I really need to expand my horizons. There are lots of amazing games that I've never heard of before. <laughs> he used it twice on Serta and it didn't matter. <laughs> he used his skill twice on one unit. <laughs> and no one noticed. Oh, your Nurl is not S2. That is my mistake. Apologies for that. Okay, now that should be good enough. That should be good enough. Plenty of damage on him. Golden Glow, activate your skill. <laughs> the guard's just really generous. That's one of the main things I like about Arknight, so that's good to hear. Oh, get no ads on guard. <laughs> the moment you download it, gets spammed with ads. Oh, no, no. To be fair, this isn't Arknight itself uh, spamming me with those ads. <laughs> it's um, just when I'm doing streaming, because I need to use blue stacks from my mobile phone. <laughs> now, ideally, I can stall out the boss with Nurl long enough. Maybe. I mean, I don't really miss risk much. Oh, come on. Nah, okay. I was hoping to activate Typhon's skill on him. That's fine. I'll just quickly kill this guy. Where do you post it in the Discord? Ah, uh, just recommendations. Just the name of the game. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it's very appreciated. Yeah, so just type AFK, in AFK Journey in suggestions. I'll remember. I just won't remember immediately. <laughs> I have a really good long-term memory and one of the worst short-term memories you will ever see. <laughs> I really wish that was a joke, but it is not. <laughs> That's why our altar would have been better there? Probably, yeah. But it's fine. We don't really need it because both of them will be up in plenty of time. It's the other units who are a danger. Oh, wait. No. No. I wanted to use Yato. <laughs> At least damage them. As long as these guys die, these guys are more the danger. Um, Spalter will tank him here and then Blaze will also tank him once. So I'm not actually too worried. Spalter gets invincible when she face transitions. So, actually, yeah, let's uh, let's catch him here so we kill all of those enemies. As you can see, temporarily invincible. <laughs> She's incredibly based. <laughs> Did I end up doing my IS4 before it resets in two hours? I have maxed out IS4 for the month. <laughs> I appreciate you reminding me though. Okay, now he's about to use his skill. So, <laughs> okay, now Blaze activated her skill. 
Hopefully he didn't get the dash. No, he didn't. <laughs> he targeted Swire while she was mid-transition. Let's go. <laughs> but no, thank you for reminding me. And a reminder to anyone else who hasn't done it yet. Please do make sure you do your eyes for monthly if you care and want to. <laughs> if not, that's also fine. Thank you, Swire, for being one of the chattest units in the game. <laughs> okay, now this is stage done. Because he will use it on Nell. I'll retreat you two so he doesn't use it on you. And now he's defense reduced <laughs> just in time to die to Titan. <laughs> so, Lou, do you want me to do the other X stages or just this? Can't you do it later? Yeah, it. you can do it later. It unlocks later on. It'll take a few months before it unlocks, but it will eventually... Um, <laughs> it will eventually come back. Hentai games. <laughs> I won't spend money on hentai games because I'm not really the target audience, but I don't mind you recommending hentai games. And by the way, I will eventually delete anything in recommendations. Uh, suggestions, rather, when I've done them or checked them out one way or the other. That's nothing against the suggestion. <laughs> Just this. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You need to plap your OC tomorrow in War Thunder. <laughs> What, are you going to remake my OC in War Thunder so you can plap them? If you want, I can show off the full model real quickly. <laughs> so bad at IS, don't worry about it. It's a it's a different game, different skill set. Watching an asexual person play a hentai game could be quite funny. If there's a way to censor it, <laughs> maybe as a YouTube video or something. Uh, but obviously I can't literally just play a hentai game on stream, I'd get banned. Hey Brain, any chance you'll remember anything about work or chores that need doing? Nope, busy cataloging game systems and mechanics. <laughs> Damn, why are you calling me out like that? <laughs> Except it doesn't remember those either. <laughs> Watching South play War Thunder? I mean, if you want me to- I don't know anything about War Thunder. By all means, put it in uh, suggestions, I'll check it out. <laughs> I live under a culture rock. The first time I saw Aladdin was when I was 23, I think. <laughs> I just really don't know much about pop culture. The two main reasons I started streaming was... It'll let me... It'll, three main reasons. It'll let me socialize with people, which I love. I'm an extrovert, just antisocial. <laughs> it will get me playing games again, and I really enjoy games. I just... Forget <laughs> to play games. I do other things. <laughs> and then it'll also let me encounter new things that I don't know about. So by all means, any game you like, it doesn't matter if you don't think I'll like it, or if it's super niche, please do recommend it. I'd love to check it out. Even if I don't necessarily end up buying it, I'll be keen to know it exists. <laughs> My favorite games of all time are probably Ratchet and Clank, uh, Bloodborne, and Age of Mythology. And Dark Knights, obviously. <laughs> But I'm absolutely down to explore outside of my comfort zone. We'll play high tier. All right, War Thunder's the, um, it's like World of Warships, right? I played that very briefly. Okay, thank you, Yushua. And you want an account roast. Sweet. Easy enough. RNC based. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank, the OG as well. I played, uh, my favorites were 1, 3, and Gladiator. 1 had the funniest jokes. 3 had the best uh, combat. Gladiator was the coolest because I'm an edgelord. <laughs> Age of Empires 2, that would be fun. The graphics are kind of bad, though. Age of Empires 2 is cool. I just don't like having to manage stone as well. <laughs> Artery gear died on Twitch. <laughs> Bloodborne is coming to PC later today. I... You briefly made me forget what day today is, and I believed you. And now I am sad. <laughs> Look, I've already- actually, I have no reason to be sad. I've already paid my tithe to the Grand Wizard Sony and purchased a PlayStation 4 for the sake of playing Bloodborne. <laughs> You're the eldest of six Disney classics have burned into your subconscious. Oh, true, true. I could play a hentai game in the Discord for a community night. That might be funny. <laughs> if people are interested, let me know. I'd need to make it like an age-rated thing, though. Any plans to play Wuthering Waves? Probably. I'm definitely going to check it out. If anyone has the Discord open, please say Wuthering Waves again. <laughs> I know it comes out next month. I think I will. Okay. Uh, Annihilation Handhold. Yes. You are up after this guy, Fian. <laughs> so you are next in queue. You play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on your old Android. <laughs> I've never actually played Ocarina of Time. I... Wait, no. I played one of the dungeons right at the start at a friend's house. Wasn't really my kind of thing. It was a little bit too linear for me. But I understand why people really love it. I've also never played any Mario game outside of the original Mario. So it could be fun to play the, um, whatever the N64 one's called, I'm forgetting. <laughs> or the uh, Switch one, if I can figure out how to record those. <laughs> Before anything, check the profile. Okay, okay, let's check this out. 120 completed on 5th of March 24. 
Nice. <laughs> so you're re you're uh, not a new player, but you're not an Omega Boomer, just a standard Boomer. Does Sony hate money or something? Bloodborne and Steam would print money. <laughs> oh, the date hired. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me check, let me check. Wait, where is this? Where is this? Oh. <laughs> okay, so safe to say you either have a massive gambling problem or you really like Arknights. <laughs> Hopefully it's the latter. <laughs> they remade AOE 2 a couple years ago, so it has upgraded graphics. I mean, you're probably joking. There is a remastered version, and they did recently give patches to Age of Empires, Age, Age of Mythology, <laughs> including a new DLC, <laughs> the China DLC, and they, like, upgraded the game for no reason. Can, can I help you clear the entire event in two hours? We have another day, we have another day, but I can help you clear some of the event. I have two more people in the queue, but absolutely, Goody5, welcome. I'm very happy to help you out somewhat. But don't worry too much, we have two days left on the event. I also thought today was the last day. <laughs> I prefer Hentai than Sekiro. What do you mean? No. <laughs> I prefer Bloodborne to Sekiro, if that's what you mean. Just restrict the voice channel with su the suspicious role? Yeah. Uh, ping me in the suggestions about that. That could actually be really, really funny. <laughs> Any of these ideas, chuck them in suggestions, please. I'll forget them, but <laughs> I enjoy them. They sound fun. Can I help you clear the entire event in 26 hours? At least parts of it. <laughs> Super Mario 64 and Odyssey? Yes, those are the names. Okay, so back to Yushua. You are an Omega Whale. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> you really enjoy the game, hopefully. Uh, judging from this higher date and the fact that you're level 120. <laughs> But hey, respect where it's due, Arknights is a fun game, and spending your OP on playing the game is definitely a valid way of spending it. Dead Cells, please, Darkest Dungeon also? Yes, I have Darkest Dungeon. I own it. I am planning to play it on stream eventually. <laughs> I've never tried it before. And Dead Cells, I also have purchased that. It was on sale. So I'm definitely planning on playing both of those. They're remaking Age of Mythology. They should because the graphics would be better, but I don't think they do. So, <laughs> Yushua, you're definitely dedicated, but I'm expecting to see some gaps. Let's start off. How many? Okay, no, no, you're keeping up with recruit tickets. You love to see it. Respect. <laughs> Let's check out your base. Let's start with the easy stuff. Let's make sure you haven't messed up anything along the way. Everything's maxed out except your dorms. Maybe you don't have E2 Arketo. Maybe you just don't care about base much. Oh, no, no, never mind. Your factories also aren't maxed out. Fair enough. So I take it you're still working on this. <laughs> Katana Zero. Yeah, yeah. That is already in suggestions, but by all means. <laughs> Even if something's already in suggestions, you can feel free to add it as well yourself to let me know that you also would enjoy it. <laughs> but I'll be checking them all out anyway, and more people saying it won't really sway me. <laughs> but you, I, I don't mind if you do that. They're running 352. Oh yes, you're right. Sorry, I assumed that was a power plant. Never mind, that makes perfect sense. My eyes had glazed over and thought that was three power plants on the right side. <laughs> It isn't a matter of should, the fact is they are. They're not adding China initially for the remake. <laughs> that would be very, very funny. I inherently don't believe you because of today's date, but if they do, I would be very happy. <laughs> it would be like if they finally, um, Black and White 2, if anyone remembers that game, it is abandonware. You cannot play it anymore. I really hope they release a Steam version eventually. <laughs> And yep, you're right, 352 is objectively optimal. It is objectively peak. It is like 2% better than 342. <laughs> so credit where it's due, like, this is fine. <laughs> 252 is fine. <laughs> the dorms, uh, yes, 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 I need to check out the dorms, you're right. Ew, 252, yeah, I'm not a 252 enjoyer, but it is objectively peak. And from the fact that you're level 120 after three months, you definitely play Arknights enough. <laughs> For that minor difference to matter. 333 three, three equalists rise up. At that stage you just hate yourself or don't have enough good um, <laughs> TP slaves. Age of Mythology Retold was announced a few months ago. Let me quickly Google that then, just to check. Age of Mythology Retold. <laughs> yes, you are correct. They are actually remaking it. That is incredibly hype. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Apologies for doubting you. I was playing Age of Mythology offline, like, yesterday. <laughs> I'm really excited for that now. It'll bring new players back to the franchise. And hopefully more custom games. Enough. 
<laughs> okay, now let's let's take let's focus for a second. Let's focus for a second. But damn, okay, now I have something to look forward to later this year. That's really exciting. <laughs> Pretty standard base. This looks slightly custom, maybe. I think this is custom. If so, pretty good eye. Uh, not as amazing as the, like, default dorms, but that's to be expected, man. I could not do something this nice. <laughs> so, no shade there. No shade there at all. Seize the means of production's comrade. <laughs> I do love all of these billboards. I love the one that says Aurora, because Aurora. Kazamaru's smug face every time gets me laughing. 522 is better. No, 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 look. All chads know you run 009. Everyone runs 009, just power plants. You can do everything you need with power plants. Ooh, I really like the minimalist theme here. Presumably because this is a level one base, this should be maxed out. This is really nice. I think you could add maybe one um, decoration on each side of this fan. But as it stands, this is really, really cozy. AOE 2 is more active than back in the day. I suck at AoE too. <laughs> I, I can't manage the stone. I don't know what it is. Adding a fourth resource just makes me really bad. Favor makes sense to me, stone doesn't. But I do need to replay the AoE 2 campaign at some stage. I own the game, so I'll get better at the game through that. <laughs> Dusty Suzu. Yep, Suzuren skin spotted. Suzuren's very cute. <laughs> and no, I don't mean that in the cute and funny way <laughs> that everyone else does. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is a nice combination. You're still moving in. You've got the uh, production set over here, and then you've got boxes of props. That's very, very cute. What operator do I like most when touched, uh, when tapped? Uh, I forget. There's one who lets out a really cute squeak. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> Look, I'm aware of the um, Arknights community. <laughs> okay, now, as for this one, this is a mental asylum. Based. <laughs> hey guys, what's the time? <laughs> mouse. Yeah, I think it is Mouse. I think Mouse is the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> so pretty solid dorms. It looks like those are mostly custom. In which case, very good job. You did much better than I could. Is this room for torture? Yeah. <laughs> Especially, um, I am really noise sensitive. If I have a singular clock... <laughs> In my room, I had a pocket watch buried under like a mountain of other things in my cupboard in a backpack and the ticking woke me up. <laughs> so I had to get it out of the room. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at your squads. AS required. I don't know what AS stands for, but that's fine. That's fine. And then second, third, four. <laughs> tequila levels on this one. We will check tequila, promising that he's got line art leveled. <laughs> he or she, sorry. I default to he. I use that in a gender neutral way. <laughs> Feel free to correct me if I'm ever wrong. Now let's start with operators. To start us off, I'll start from the bottom. Let's see who you have scuffed. <laughs> he, you're good. Sweet. That is the default. That's like 90% of the fandom. But hey, if I'm ever wrong, let me know. <laughs> now, I understand why you don't have these characters leveled. It's just very sad because I'm a Mistima enjoyer. <laughs> I'm a major Mistima enjoyer. But I understand. Like, they're not super meta. <laughs> Weedy, I would argue maybe you should level her. She's very, very meta. She's pretty strong. If you're looking to up your base more... Oh, wait, no, no. You run 252, never mind. Uh, 253. I was going to say the weedy Unectus combo, but probably not worth doing. No, Ebenholtz or Stainless. <laughs> Look, that's fine. Ebenholtz is definitely in use. He's good. You just got him. Oh, Tequila? Yeah, yeah. As a new player, it does take time to unlock the Welfares. And it looks like you have him leveled. No Ponceros leveled. That's a bit sad. <laughs> but that's just a joke. We're a joking cult of Ponceros. We're not an actual cult. Uh, you probably have La Pluma leveled, so there is no reason to level High more, High Form of Hands and Shambles. And Aurora is very cute, but like, I understand why you have none of these units leveled, because they're all a little bit niche, as much as I personally am biased towards them. God Singer level 1, bad account, Maddie. What do you mean? Passenger level 1 means it's a good account. <laughs> the question is, where's your lazy at? <laughs> let me check, let me check. Do you even have lazy? Surely you must. No, okay, you don't have 5 star Passenger. But that's fine. That means you haven't avoided leveling her. You just don't have her. <laughs> but if you're looking for meta, this guy is very meta. But <laughs> a lot of people like to jokingly hate on Passenger. And I'm one of those people. So <laughs> Indra, love to see it. But I understand why you don't level her. The devs did her so dirty. Nothing too shocking so far. So very, very solid. 
let's keep going. Mulberry, she's very cute, but she's not very good. <laughs> oh, this one's a bit sad, but you're new enough that, like, you have Texas and Yato from Friends. So it does make perfect sense. But this is my favorite unit. <laughs> she's very fun to use. <laughs> but I understand why you don't use her. Ooh, you have a lot of good units. I take it you're in the process of leveling them. That's very, very fair. Pazemka, KB, both amazing. Mizuki, also really, really solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured you'd be in the process of loving them. Scuffed, hung level. Oh, actually, yeah, I might have just um, avoided hung, naturally. I might have avoided him by default. Where is your hung? You don't have him? Yo. <laughs> your account is actually perfect. Ignore all of my, um, ignore everything negative I said about it. <laughs> You've managed to avoid getting hung, and as such, your account is better than mine. <laughs> Cheeto, yet. Yeah. Cheeto is very, very cute. I love Arketo. <laughs> Drunken nun. Absolutely adorable. She's very fun. She's a very good sniper. Uh, even if you already have a leveled sniper, I would say Arketo's worth leveling up because her multi-target three range is pretty good. And you're already using her. He's there? Where? Did I just miss him? Am I that allergic to looking at Hung? <laughs> oh, never mind. You're right. <laughs> Fun fact about the word hung. If you have been hanged, as in death by hanging, you were not hung. <laughs> you have been hanged. That is the past tense of being... <laughs> of the word hanging. <laughs> it is hanged. <laughs> if you say, oh, this guy was hung, you're saying he has a massive penis. Not he was executed by hanging. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't like hung. <laughs> because they named a character slang for massive penis... And he is the most furry character in the game. And I don't know how to feel with that. It's like how they named a character Waifu. <laughs> Under Thermex. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you making sure I had to look at Hung. You're dead to me. <laughs> His name isn't supposed to be Hung. Yeah, I know it's just a bad translation. I know it's EN only. <laughs> but the EN team should feel bad. <laughs> they named a female furry Waifu and a male furry Big Dick. <laughs> What is this, devs? You were so based with the way you translated Iron Stomach into Feet Eater. <laughs> also known as Feeta, which is Iron Eater. <laughs> Lee's sense of humor, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Akalzi and Gnosis, both really good units. I can see you're also leveling them. Warfarin, you're leveling her. Naturally, it'll take you time to level people. The main source of resources is your base, which is uh, why... <laughs> Despite the fact you have a loaded level 120 account, I'm not at all surprised. You still have a lot of people to level. It would be very expensive to brute force them. Level 6, hey, it is what it is. Based devs, I disagree. <laughs> the devs overall are based, though. Ooh, you've got Blaze and Penance E2 and Executor. That's good. Off to a good start with these E2s. I see you also enjoy April. Very good taste. Let me check. Are you doing Masteries? Yes. You are doing some Masteries, at least. I would recommend Bagpipes M3 on her S3, but it's not super urgent. What is with level 6? What do you mean? This is standard. <laughs> Why would you not level up on an even multiple of 5, like the number 6? <laughs> AK devs and translators are based, but love words and they base. <laughs> They're just generally based. Ooh, Kazumaru enjoyer. I like your account, except for having hung. Kazumaru is very, very cute, very, very fun to use. Schwartz as well. Do you have a Masteries? No, not yet. Why do you have her on S1? <laughs> you should, uh, you should, um, set this as your default. Just, uh, you should also do Masteries on this. At least one so that you get the extra tile of range. <laughs> kind of cursed. Uh, let me check through and make sure you have other Masteries. And just, it's not just Blaze. You manually change it when using IS. Okay, so the thing you're not understanding... <laughs> In every situation, Schwartz's S3 is the better choice. <laughs> In situations when it's not the better choice, a different unit is the better choice. <laughs> but look, you do you, I won't judge. A lot of people swear by Schwartz's S1 and S2. It's just her S3 has a very, very fun. It doesn't default auto in IS? Um, yeah, it doesn't. You have to manually select an IS either way. I'm just surprised that for this you have this. <laughs> Arknights dev plays. Yeah. Guys, we need to cancel Arknights. They stole the OC of this weird guy called Lowlight. Kalzi actually predates Arknights. And they just stole her. They stole her and made them... 
<laughs> they stole her and put her in the game. Let's ignore the fact that Lowlight is the head developer and, <laughs> you know, one of the key figures in the Arknights community. They stole it from this, like, small artist called Lowlight. 12F2, yeah. S1 only takes 4 SP and S3 takes 20. Yeah. If we're talking that, then LaPluma is the best operator in the game. <laughs> is that why she's an old hag wife? Yes. And her monster used to be M-O-N-5-T-R. Instead of Monthrita. <laughs> used to be spelled differently. Uh, but it's it's very, very funny. Uh, that's the, the funniest Arknight's art story still has to be <laughs> Beanstalk, though. <laughs> uh, for anyone new and who doesn't know... Uh, oh, sorry, not Beanstalk. Vermeil. Uh, the four-star sniper Vermeil. I'll go back to everyone else in just a second. Where's your Vermeil? Surely you have her. Let's go by rarity instead of levels. There we go. So, the reason Vermeil does not have a skin, and probably will never have a skin, is right after the game's launch, the official Vermeil artist started drawing a lot of porn of her. That really emphasized the fact she was underaged. So, strangely enough, they haven't really worked with that artist again. <laughs> it's this weird coincidence, I don't get it. <laughs> One day there'll be a <laughs> Kelsey with Mon fi to Fiverr, yeah. Yikes, yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a thing. <laughs> Which is a shame, because Vermeil's art is really, really cute, and most of her fan art is by her official fan artist in a different style, Emphasizing the lolly aspect of it and being very, uh, not safe for work. It's a shame we have to include Kelsey to deploy monster. Yeah, the ultimate debuff, she takes a second slot. <laughs> now, we were at the E2. So far, the only masteries you really have are on Blaze. Which is very fair, Blaze gets a lot from her masteries. Cutter, you love to see it. Gummy, good choice. <laughs> I take it Super <laughs> is responsible for this. <laughs> Pinecone, Shirayuki, yep, lots of good 4 stars. They don't really need masteries, though. Mlina, good to see, good to see. Yep, he's high level, he's got his M3. Wonderful. Mountain, M2, good. You have a very, very solid account. Blemishine, her masteries are useful, but not super high impact. Horn, <laughs> A, I take it you're a horn enjoyer. Jessica Cat is leveled, you'll love to see it. No wonder she got no skins, yeah. <laughs> Hoshiguma, you don't have her masteries, but you do have her on the correct skill. Her other skill, her S3, is very funny, but it's not as good. <laughs> uh, Typhon, yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. S2 is also good, even if I prefer S3, usually. Reed, ooh, you're a Reed S2 enjoyer. You hate to see it. Ugh. I, ooh. It, it's a decent skill, it's not bad, but... This is the correct skill. <laughs> and that is a joke, that's just, I, I can't use read S2, <laughs> scoot. Yeah. I suck at using read S2, so I pretend it's bad. <laughs> Suzeran, you'll usually want to use her S3. It's not as applicable now, because your team's a bit um lower. Suzeran's S3, once you have it mastered, outright <laughs> increases all damage dealt by every unit by 40% while it's active. For everyone in her range. So Fragile is a very, very powerful debuff. But that being said, her S2, very, very strong as well. Meanwhile, Azure Lane has an official artist working on a book with Prince Heinrich Lutz. Oh, uh, that's Dishwasher, right? I didn't know they were doing an official porno. <laughs> dishwasher! I mean, Dishwasher is the reason the um even shorter version of the Virgin Killer exists, so that doesn't surprise me. Dorothy S1 is a strange choice. I would say usually her S2 is better because basically nothing in the game is immune to bind. But it depends on your playstyle. Swire, all of her skills are good, and you have all of her skills mastered. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Swire, alter, very, very based. Love Lemmy. Love her, but she's niche. Yeah. Horn's voice. <laughs> she's very cute. Why does everyone in the support list use Hoshiguma S3? Because Hoshiguma S3 is a really funny skill. Uh, it is the funniest skill in the game. She spins her Dorito-shaped shield, and everything dies. <laughs> it is the OG funny skill. You'll love to see a leveled Cantabile. Hopefully your Lapland... S1 is a strange choice. I would say, generally speaking, you'd prefer S2. And for what it's worth, whichever of Lapland's skills you use, because she has offensive recovery on both, it is worth doing masteries because uh, it massively increases her uptime. <laughs> Not too important if you're using S1, though. Texas, doesn't matter. You have it E2, that's the main thing. <laughs> Whispering, you'll love to see it. Whispering's very, very cute. High level gravel. Ooh, high level Exia. You should, when you get the chance, uh, level Exia's M3 more. Uh, S3 more. It looks like a really minor buff. Exia has the highest single target damage in the game. 
So even though it's um, it says something like, oh, a 3% damage increase, because her main weakness is enemy defense, every... Exe is one of the only units in the game who it's kind of worth getting to level 90. <laughs> she is very, very good, and every little bit of buff you can give her helps massively. So even though it's a really small buff, it will make a relatively big difference. J levels, woo. Oh, account ruined. But no, 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 he's running 253, so that's fine. <laughs> Use Chen to buff Lappy uptime. Yeah, people do. Blemishine to buff Mudrock and Penance is a very fun combo. <laughs> Gao. That's why he's cute. <laughs> Look at your May. Oh, okay. I take it you're a May enjoyer? Yeah, look, that's fair. I personally find her voice really annoying. And you should also trust farm her at some stage. Even if you, um... Even if you just put her in your control center, it'll only take a few days for her to at least get trust 100. But I do understand why people like May. <laughs> Me, personally, not liking something is not an indictment. You have La Pluma, you'll love to see it. <laughs> M6, even though you only need the first skill. Very understandable, I did the same. You have others to trust for. <laughs> May's voice is unbearable, you'll never use it. <laughs> Nan... Nanada! <laughs> Freeze it, Nanada! Endlessly, <laughs> because she spams it. <laughs> At least with Saga, it's funny that she's loud. Thorn's level 90, very based, I assume S3, M3, yep. I love Spectre, so always happy to see her this high. And Cholter, yep, good to go. Very meta units. Golden Glow, yes, the correct skill. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Amia doesn't really matter. Amia card's fun. And yeah, La Pluma is a really, really fun unit. All in all, you have a really, really fun, uh, really good account. And I can tell you enjoy the game, so... <laughs> Hopefully you'll continue to enjoy the game and gradually improve some things. For what it's worth, if you are looking for a recommendation, I'm very biased. Exia has, Exia's E2 Art has been my home screen for two and a half years now. Maybe three. <laughs> I would say maybe finish your Exia's Masteries. <laughs> It'll make more of a difference than you think it does. Uh, for any other unit, the gap would be tiny. 3%, who cares? For Exia, it actually does kind of matter. And yeah, she doesn't say Cockadio. Finishing Whispering first, very, very fair. <laughs> Whispering is very fun to use. She did kind of get power crept by Aya Alter, but she still stands up. You got Flametail and Fartooth. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> but yeah, like, really good account. Uh, if you keep playing, you'll end up with a very amazing account, and I will assume you'll keep playing because it seems like you very much enjoy the game. <laughs> Which is good, it's great to have people who are passionate about it. <laughs> I'm also very passionate about the game. Case in point, I've been making content about it for two years. <laughs> she carried you through the event. Yeah, she does have anti-stun. It's so clutch. Blaze as well. Uh, it doesn't stack, but it's very good. Okay, now we have Fian, and then Chillabelle has jumped in the queue. Hey, yo, Fian, thank you. Yep, I just need ADM to remind me. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. But yeah, like, you have a really good account. <laughs> so even though a lot of people will be like, oh, you don't have this limited, you don't have that limited, don't worry too much about that, man. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. You will get limiteds eventually, probably, and if not, you still have all of the good non-limiteds. <laughs> okay. Fian, I will need the new verification code. No, Yato's Ode, <laughs> Yato or Texas, yeah. But you can use at least one of them uh, from a friend. Whispering walked so that Aya can run later. <laughs> yeah, alter Aya. <laughs> but yeah, you can you can always use at least one. You're trying to build all four stars. That's very fun, and it's also very cheap because they are so much easier to level. Getting them to max, getting a four star to max is cheaper than getting a six star to E two. <laughs> E266 Master 7. Fair enough. I assume you mean Mastery Level 6. Okay, Fian, if you're still around, I need new verification code. There we are. Sweet. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. He's finally here. <laughs> Recording for you. If you know the words, you can join in. <laughs> I love the DK rap song. <laughs> I don't know if it's copyright or not, otherwise I'd put it on right now, now that it's stuck in my head. Let me actually very quickly, um, very, very quickly add it to my Chrome tab so I remember it later. DK rap, there we go. Okay. Now, let's see, you wanted an Annihilation handled. Uh, just to check, which team do you want me to change? Yeah, so many ops to farm, yeah. It is kind of like that, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. I assume Lungman Commercial District, which is this one, right? 
So just let me know which team you want me to change, and just to check, it is this one. <laughs> Working on Merchant Niche. There's a handhold team? Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I'll refresh with that team. You're fine with me? Yeah, yeah, sweet. I, you're fine with me changing it up, right? Rather than just keeping it? Yes, Langman. Sweet, sweet, sweet. One sec, sorry about that. Some of my tabs are out of order now. Because I'm a very professional streamer who's good at my job. <laughs> anyway, have a good stream. No worries, thanks for swinging by, Yushua. <laughs> thanks for coming by. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Okay, uh, is this the one with invisibility? No, this is the one with the mobile tactic. Oh, this is, yeah, Rat King. This is fine, this is fine. Just needed to remind myself. <laughs> okay, let's change up. We'll need some three block because bullies will exist on this stage. No real reason to bring Amir, Red, or Gravel, unfortunately, because I like all of them. But for this stage, they're not worth bringing. Likewise, April and Ambriel, because it's an annihilation. Who's someone I can use auto? <laughs> Inez is pretty good. <laughs> okay. So now from here, we need one defender. Mudrock will absolutely do. Do you have Skulter? No. You also don't have a leveled Sora. That's fine. Let's grab a different medic then. Perfumer will do. And then we just need some ranged DPS. We already have the best caster in the game. <laughs> in the form of Reem the Flame, Read the Flame Shadow. But casters are really, really good here. So... Okay, no, no. I understand why you just have Read. That's fine. Let's grab Mlynar then. He's very, very handy. Now, honestly, Kirito is a good final. <laughs> kind of regretting not pulling on Reed. <laughs> hey, at least she's permanent. Uh, so she'll eventually be on another raid up banner. She's not a limited, like, W who's just gone forever. <laughs> but yeah, Reed is a... A healer, by the way. <laughs> Lina is an okay AoE caster. Yeah, I didn't realize how nutty strong Lina was until Pinch Out Operation, where the enemies had 4,000 defense, and Lina with his S3 wasn't even doing chip damage. His attack was still high enough that he didn't care. <laughs> Reed Alter blocked you on Aya banner. Yeah, I mean, look, that's fine. Reed is amazing. Oh, yes, sweet, on the correct skill. Let me quickly check. Irene's S3, right? Yep. Lin is S3. Kazumaro doesn't really matter, but I like Kazumaro, so I'll keep her. <laughs> Everything else should be good. Dorothy. Oh, I shouldn't run Dorothy. I'll run Spectre. There we go. Happy with this team. Let's do it. <laughs> and yeah, that's very fine lo logic. Don't worry, uh, Tifa. You'll, you will get a chance in the future. <laughs> Just like Saria is the best AoE medic. No, Reed is now also the best AoE medic. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I need, need anti-air. That's what I was needing. <laughs> Pronounced TAFE. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it's um Irish, right? <laughs> or Gaelic? Sorry. <laughs> I only know how to pronounce three different languages. <laughs> Apologies about that. Best Annihilation? Yeah, yeah. Zero flaws, instantly one. I'm that good. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's swap out Kazumaro, unfortunately. Wrong again. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I only know how to pronounce Italian, German, and Japanese. And a little bit of French. Uh, but that's like against my will. I learned one French song, unfortunately. I know, right? My condolences. Typhi? Typh? <laughs> sorry. I'm very not good at other languages. <laughs> Once I learn it, I will memorize it. Just by default. <laughs> but it'll take me a while to learn it. No E at the end. Okay, so Tyfe. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Cheers. Zero kills. Yeah, but zero mistakes as well. I'm built different. <laughs> I never said I was built correctly. Just that I was built different. Okay, now... Mudrock should be fine there. From memory. <laughs> Hopefully I don't mess it up. Tithe. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> she can spawn camp there. Yeah, this is a much simpler map than I was expecting. If I have any mistakes, I might swap to a pusher to deal with this lane. I made the mistake of bringing no anti-air. I have blue poison. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Damn it. Wait, no, no, I get you now. Oi, don't call me out for making mistakes. We pretend they don't happen. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of immediately screw up. <laughs> It is what it is, fellas. It is what it is. Can you prove I screwed up? That's the better question, because if you can't prove it, it didn't happen. <laughs> okay, now let's uh, set Reed up to spawn camp. 
Is this the Rat King stage? Yes, this is the Rat King Annihilation, and we have his daughter to beat him up. So it's absolutely fine. It's recorded. Prove it. <laughs> I can delete the VOD. <laughs> I won't because I'm lazy, but I have that power. <laughs> No mistakes, just happy accidents. Thank you, Rob Frost. Kibai did a lot for you here. Kibai is an amazing unit, and I'm always really confused by people who think she's bad. <laughs> she's one of the best in the game. <laughs> in my opinion, just for my playstyle, she's one of the rare burst units who I can use and make sense to me, so I'm biased. Now, the good news about this stage is I can let these... Uh, things die and lose HP uh, and still get the full rewards <laughs> because you don't need to order this one but still <laughs> S3 is such ridiculous damage yeah <laughs> she's bad because she never came home <laughs> also um Kibai works so well with um so many different IS buffs because any attack speed buff or bind buff is just insane on her <laughs> but she's just strong by default <laughs> you do have her skin it's really funny Kibai's skin would be an upgrade on anyone else, except for Kibai, but Kibai's default is just so amazing. <laughs> High damage with bind equals bad global brain rot. Yeah. <laughs> you put Mudrock in the left lane. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't remember where all of the enemies come from, so I'm just kind of guessing. But this team should be fine. I'll eventually put Irene here, and then set up Tolopsis. I'll probably put Irene here on this tile. Wait, you can't see that. That's right. I don't capture my maps. <laughs> I'll probably put Irene here facing downwards so Telopsis can heal Spectre and Irene. <laughs> I want to activate these first. <laughs> Inez plus Kibai lane hold is basically put enemies on pause till they die. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, you can see my mouse. Sweet, I fixed that then. Okay, that's going to be a pain, but I can set Lionel to tank those. <laughs> you do capture mouse. Wonderful, wonderful. I used to have it so that you couldn't. <laughs> for recording reasons. Okay, now let's uh, set. Let's start setting up everyone else. The good news is I can just tank with Mlina, <laughs> so I'm not worried. Actually, let's set Perfumer down. Now this, I'll just leave this on two times. I won't worry about it too much. <laughs> there won't be anything difficult for quite a while. <laughs> this is a banging theme, though. I'm enjoying it. Hmm. <laughs> And yeah, we do have good AA in the form of Blue Poison, who I I don't understand how you managed to E2 Blue Poison, given that she's a 3-star. Like, you must have glitched the game, but at the end of the day, uh, Art's damage but Cruise <laughs> is slightly better <laughs> at E2, so fair enough. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, come on, Myrtle. <laughs> Thank you, Reed, for just insta-killing everything. I no longer need Inez. <laughs> She's never going to hit anyone. <laughs> and we'll probably deploy Lin here. Uh, she should be fine to spawn camp the Bullies and the Rat King. But it's by no means urgent. Okay, it's good to know that she'll get hit by that, which means this tile, Malina will get hit. Wonderful. What is this bloopy <laughs> slander you're all spewing? <laughs> what do you mean? She's just um, Art's version of Cruz. As in default cruise, and therefore it caps out at E1 level 55. She's a great unit, it's just she caps out at a low level. <laughs> Blue Poison is a 5 star? What are you guys talking about? Why are you trying to gaslight me? Just because it's April Fool's Day doesn't mean I'll let you get away with this. <laughs> you can't just gaslight me because it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> How could you do this to me? <laughs> ah, but no, it's just a personal joke, really. <laughs> Blue Poison is a 7 star. Look, the highest star unit in the game is Clojure, who is canonically a 42 star. So, take that. <laughs> like Melantha. <laughs> BP is a 7 star. Look, Blue Poison isn't meta enough to have the nickname BP, because that just means bagpipe. <laughs> so take that, Blue Poison enjoyers. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's a... Mlynar should be fine there. <laughs> He's Mlynar. I was massively overthinking things. Okay, now let's just activate Myrtle a few more times, then just let it auto. <laughs> we can use blue poison to spawn camp that guy. <laughs> Thank you, Irene. Very cool. Joke's on me, I only... <laughs> Joke's on you, I only use blue poison for IS. My main sniper is inside. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you are definitely a unique player. I don't know many people who use Insider. <laughs> Flame Tail versus Siege. Yeah, I don't... I definitely use Siege more than Flame Tail. Uh, Flame Tail's skills are too short for me. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but I understand why people like her. So technically, I am on the Siege side of things. So I'm a Siege enjoyer. Plus, one of my IRL friends is... <laughs> Siege is his favorite character outside of Ace. And Ace isn't playable, so... <laughs> Wait, do these guys really skip that tile? That's so cringe. Do I play CN server? No, actually. I only play on EN. I don't want to spoil myself. <laughs> and by that I mean, like, literally spoil myself of what's coming. I don't really look into leaks too much either. <laughs> just a personal preference. Nothing against anyone who does. Okay, now that's fine. As soon as uh, Spectre's up, I can just redeploy her over here. Still in range of perfume. <laughs> Lynar can cover this lane, assuming Reed doesn't. So I don't know what units are coming. Uh, it's not that I'm, like, super against uh, leaks. I do know most of the upcoming units. I just, um, I don't look into it super deeply. I'm aware of who's coming. I just like to encounter new content when it comes to global, rather than <laughs> encountering new content and feeling like I've already experienced it before it's even come out, if that makes sense. On the topic of leaks, you would hope for good male sniper when Ray was leaked. <laughs> Understandable, but no, she is uh, definitely a she. <laughs> and she's also the first meta Australian unit, which is exciting, which is awesome. Any units I'm excited for, Degenbrecker. I like her name, it's very funny. <laughs> her whole mechanic is about disarming you, and her name is Daggerbreaker. And she uses Dagger Breaker Daggers. And then, because no one knows German, everyone mispronounces it as Degen Breaker. <laughs> and because it's funny. Plus, she just looks really, really strong. I'm also looking forward to Shu. And then, even though I don't play Rainbow Six Siege, Ella. Ella looks really cool. <laughs> I'm a massive Dull Keeper enjoyer. Oh, wait. I might need to very quickly assassinate these guys. I don't want to lose HP. <laughs> oh, damn. No, that's fine. We can still get them. The good news about this is you still get the full rewards, so. <laughs> I'll deploy Inez here. She should be fine. I just don't want to read the leaks. Yeah, it's. I have nothing against leaks. I just personally prefer to ex have the excitement of new content coming out for me, if that makes sense. <laughs> Flametail dodges 100%. No, it's not. Oh, RNG is peak gaming. Same with Dorothy Traps and Project Red S1. Yeah, I get you. You're currently attempting X8 CM and just wanted to ask what the best rank of rope for a noose. Uh, don't worry, it's, it, if, if you're that stuck, you can let me know. I have time for a couple more handholds. <laughs> you just want to know what characters so you know when to save. Yeah, that's absolutely fair, especially from a meta perspective. Uh, there are a lot of good characters coming out. The best ones are probably Ella, who is a boss killer doll keeper, which is pretty cracked. Uh, Degen Brecker, maybe Ray, maybe, and Shu. I think those are the best ones, <laughs> but I could be very wrong about that. Ella is a ground sniper. Yeah, she's pretty ridiculous from what I've heard about her. <laughs> you meant as Ian can't read. Oh, yeah, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> I don't consume leaks because I don't want to have to read them. <laughs> you want Degen and Shu? Yeah, <laughs> that's very, very fair. Oh, you're not a meta player and want Degen and Shu. That's also very, very fair. Degen Brecker is a woman in the suit. <laughs> Obviously, you went around during my Helltaker playthrough because not many people were, but <laughs> I am biased. <laughs> Women in suits are peak. <laughs> oh yeah, let me activate these two before I forget. <laughs> you just got the kill cliff under vent trimmed metal using AAR as your main DPS and Shamari to reduce his attack. Oh, I had a stroke. Sorry about that. <laughs> I looked away for 10 seconds. Okay, I've at least reminded myself of the uh, stage, so. <laughs> should be fine, should be fine. Let me shut that so I don't waste your sanity. <laughs> You want Shu because you have a dream of using all 12 Sui siblings together. Man, how are you even going to use all six of them together when Ling already takes all of your deployment slots with her dragons? She's on Zua Li's banner, so you'll use her anyway. Yeah. This is all I know about AFK Journey, by the way. Every time I log in, it pops up. <laughs> You're not going for Degen or Shu or Rei or Arturi. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, they're not for everyone. Who are you going for, then, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> and Limited? Yeah. Your luck on limited manners is shit. I mean, look, the good news is you get like 30 free pulls, so even if you don't want to spend resources to try and get them, you still have a decent chance to. Ling dragons take deployment? Yes. <laughs> the big dragons take two deployment. <laughs> so Ling by herself consumes seven deployment slots <laughs> once you have her module. 
Oh, you need to guarantee the collab. Very fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, Ling's dragons are buffed versions of Blaze. So it's, it's definitely worth the resources. This is going to take a while. Don't we get one Sui sibling a year? Yes, sir, we do. Okay, let me see. Who do you have other than Irene who can auto? Because I can absolutely do it. Oh, yeah, let's do Chong Yui. I personally don't use him often, but he will absolutely solve the problem I was having. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, think of it this way. Ling takes seven deployment slots and is still considered good by the average player. That is the level of broken Ling is. <laughs> Chong Yue mentioned, let's go, yeah. And yeah, apologies, I am terrible at pronouncing Chinese. It is what it is. Okay, let's set Inez here so I can farm the crap out of <laughs> everything. <laughs> that was way too early, that's fine. Oh, that's why I didn't recognize these two. That's right, they spawn in later. And you know what? I don't want to deal with those guys. <laughs> now I don't have to. Not the worst you've heard. <laughs> yeah, very much so. There are definitely uh, units with greater drawbacks. Then Ling, who can solo the entire game. <laughs> so we get the 12th Sui siblings in 2031. Yes, yeah, you mean the game's still around. I mean, we'll definitely get at least eight, so we have one of each class, would be my assumption. I mean, we already do have double defenders. Never mind. Okay, let's get Chong Yui S3 activating, so I don't need to pay attention to him. <laughs> Typhon is still pissing you off. 140 pulls, three six stars, no Typhon. I can't talk because the only way I got Typhon was promising to cosplay Spectre if she showed up in the next t t ten pull, whereupon she immediately showed up in the next ten pull. So, in a way, I would argue you have better luck than me. <laughs> Waiting for Lee Alter next year. That would be very funny if they just gave us, like, Dusk Alter instead of a new Sui sibling. <laughs> okay, there we go. Inez is farming DP now rather than being useless. That's good. <laughs> Let's start popping these bad boys so we can get more units down. We don't need to worry about the middle lane because... <laughs> Mudrock. <laughs> How does Chong Yue skill work? After its fifth activation, it starts activating automatically. So after it's used five times, the range increases. He charges faster because he hits twice every attack. And he uses it automatically. It took me a while to learn that as well. Don't, <laughs> don't be embarrassed. <laughs> You've already learned it faster than me. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay, so now it's activated. Now he has extra range and it activates faster. <laughs> So now he's an AFK unit, I don't need to pay attention. <laughs> you mistook him as one, so I'll cope for it until all 12 are revealed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right. Lee is not one of the dragon, the Sui siblings, you're right. You don't have him, that's why you don't pull on dudes. Very, very fair. For what it's worth, Arknight's male characters have really good designs. <laughs> And are not lazy like a lot of other gacha games. <laughs> I actually generally like the Arknight's men. But like, I don't... <laughs> I'm not gonna throw stones in a glass house. <laughs> Just because Phantom's one of my favorite characters, but that's because I'm an edgelord. <laughs> that's less because of Phantom and more because of me. Okay, we have simplified the stage massively. <laughs> now unless it throws another curveball, this should just be stage shorted. Oh wait, sorry, that's Chong Yui. <laughs> Lee's a Bluetooth speaker at 200% volume, yeah. I mean, they nerfed Chong Yui's voice spam for a reason. <laughs> when will they nerf Saga's voice spam, I wonder. Okay, now let's set Linar here, so we can tank those guys. <laughs> and then Reed will attack once and he'll be full HP. <laughs> Inez, please continue to infinitely farm. Thank you very much. It's very handy. <laughs> and let's also set up Lin here, so that when the Rat King spawns, we can nuke him. You would level Mizuki? Yeah, Mizuki is very, very cute. Also, the, um, I mean, look. We're in a VTuber space. Obviously, pretty much everyone feels happy about Mizuki because of his artist. <laughs> his artist, Nami, also known as the Hololive VTuber who retired. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she was a very wholesome, very cute person. And still is as Nami, just obviously we don't get as much comment content from her. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mizuki and Jackie were made by an artist called Nami, who is a member of Hololive. <laughs> who is no longer a member of Hololive. They parted on good terms, though. Saga voice spam is at least cute and hungry. Yeah, you love Nami, Mama. Yeah, Nami is so cute. <laughs> she is such a wholesome person. And I thought she was wholesome well before I knew her content. Which is very funny, because um, all of my IRL friends and I have had instances of knowing a Hololive member before they joined Hololive, and not, not realizing they're in Hololive. <laughs> Liking their new instance. <laughs> 
And then after, like, years later, realizing, oh, that's the other person I like who disappeared for no reason. GG, no, isn't the same artist? Uh, I believe Golden Glow is the same artist as um, Jackie. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure. For one, it's Chong Yu during the event. He's always in Sui events too. <laughs> yeah, for real, the dev's trying to tell us something. She is? Oh, okay, that's good. I sometimes get him confused. <laughs> but Nami is very, very wholesome, and I love her art style and character design. Stream's bugging out for you, gotta retreat to Twitch. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, every time you switch between Twitch and YouTube, I will say hi to you a second time, so... <laughs> You didn't know Jackie was? Uh, I only knew because, like I said, I've known Jackie since before she was Sana in Hollow Life. <laughs> uh, Nami, rather. <laughs> Stream is fine now. Yeah, sorry about that. My model had a stroke for some reason. <laughs> it should be all fine now. <laughs> I figured out what was causing it and fixed it. <laughs> it my phone is running out of battery. <laughs> First message in Twitch's exclamation point Discord. <laughs> Thank you, as always, username. <laughs> User, rather. Uh, it's not bad enough that my Streamlabs is constantly broken. <laughs> You're making it worse. Parentheses affectionate. <laughs> okay. Almost halfway. Should be nice and clean. Then we just have Chillabelt currently. <laughs> and then we'll see if anyone else needs help. But otherwise I will end stream there because I have a new work at my new job tomorrow. So I'm going to get up at 6am so I have time to hit the gym. Posture check? Yes sir. Yes sir. Fixed my posture. <laughs> I was slightly slouching, but generally I have good posture. Generally. I was slightly leaning into focus. <laughs> and yeah, if there's anything you want me to add, like emotes to Twitch or something, let me know. I have extra slots, I just can't think of anything. I'll think of things eventually. <laughs> but if you want me to add commands and stuff, now that I have them working, I just need to figure out why they aren't working on YouTube so I can fix it. <laughs> Add tequila emote, drop it in suggestions, and I will. <laughs> I'll add it to Twitch. <laughs> because basically all of my Twitch viewers are male knights and joyers, so... <laughs> Might as well. I don't have emotes on YouTube, unfortunately. Uh, you need to be monetized for that. <laughs> and... Uh, hi, hi, I'm Dark Lude on YouTube. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Welcome, butt spotter. <laughs> the difference in your name is pretty funny. <laughs> Oh no, someone's targeting Lina. It didn't even reach him. <laughs> How does it profit a woman with Brazilian hair to lose her man to a lady with short hair? I don't know. How does it profit a woman with Brazilian hair? <laughs> hair. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> a, Louis, a Lee Sui reveal event would be cool. Absolutely. Modern African proverb. Huh. Yeah, I mean, thought of the day, dude. Thought of the day. I have no idea the answer to that question. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Yato. Very cool. Uh, she should be fine there now. And this lane will die to Yato in just a second. I've made hours worth of tier lists and are not monetized. I got monetized very briefly, and then I released my 8-hour snipers tier list, and YouTube demonetized me, because apparently <laughs> that was stolen content. <laughs> apparently I uploaded someone else's 8-hour review stream. So I'm demonetized on YouTube and I can't apply again until May. It is what it is. <laughs> also, hello, I guess I'm Chris. Hello, hello. But hey, look, I'm monetized on Twitch now. <laughs> so I can gradually rob Amazon of $5 at a time because one of my family members has Twitch Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime. And they don't even know what Twitch is. <laughs> so hey, it works out. But nah, I'm not too fussed about that. Obviously, I'd like to be monetized on YouTube, but... I really don't mind. <laughs> I'm not in it for the ad revenue. <laughs> and I feel bad taking people's money. Okay, Myrtle, I need you to very briefly stall until Yato can come up. Oh, never mind. She can just kill him. <laughs> Tarkus is not Tarkus. Source YouTube. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. You know, let's just, uh, let's simplify this. <laughs> Damn, Myrtle with the hands. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, right. Lee has AoE range. Never mind. <laughs> The lady that says his mother will not know peace will also not know peace. Damn, proverb of the day. I do like really old quotes like that, especially, um... I know it's pretty cringe to a lot of people. I enjoy reading Marcus Aurelius's meditations. I'm not one of the hustle bro killed people out there, but, like, look, I think it's really good, <laughs> generally. But philosophy should be an individual effort. It should be a collection 
of inspirations from other people adapted to fit you specifically. You shouldn't try to steal someone else's philosophy. <laughs> It'll never work as well for you as it would for them. <laughs> Tarkus is not Tarkus source YouTube bots. Yeah, for real, man. It's annoying. <laughs> it was just like such a gut punch that it happened like midstream. <laughs> but I was fine within an hour. It was just a... It was a slight gut punch, but I recovered. <laughs> I never feel sad about that stuff for long. I generally don't feel negative emotions too much. I just... I used to be very sad all of the time. And now I'm not. So now I'm usually just really grateful to be around. <laughs> Why did I steal from South? <laughs> Oi, I'm South, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm South, he's Tarkus, that bastard stole from me. <laughs> Whoever sleeps with an itchy bum will make up with smelly fingers. <laughs> Yeah, thought of the day, dude. Thought of the day. <laughs> you ain't wrong. Spitting straight facts. <laughs> okay, Reed continue to be based. Chong Yui should kill that guy. Or is his name like Chong Wei? I think that's how you would pronounce it. <laughs> now, Lin should kill these guys. And if not, we have no three block. So, <laughs> Yato, <laughs> do your thing. There we go. Now, the smart thing to do would be to retreat Mudrock so that I have an emergency 3 block. But alternatively, I can just pray. <laughs> you know what? This should uh, this should stall them long enough. Anytime a bully comes this way, they are going to immediately die when one of the nuke guys spawns in. His name is Chongus, the armpit sibling. <laughs> they do a lap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Never mind. You're right. Thank you. I thought they did a lap, but I'm never positive. That's wonderful. <laughs> Then that means Spectre can chat it up. She can solo. <laughs> Spectre, absolute gang. I was about to say Spectre MILF, uh, but that was the intrusive thoughts winning. Winging. Winning, not winging. <laughs> Spectre goat. Spectre the goat. Eat meat, lift heavy rock, stand in sunlight, make sad head voice shut up. No, it wasn't even that. I still definitely have unhealthy habits. <laughs> Just overall, I uh, no longer want to game over in real life, which I did for quite a few years. <laughs> And I'm very glad I didn't. And that I always uh, avoided doing so mainly out of spite. So it worked out. <laughs> but hey, I'm in a very good spot now. So I'm happy. <laughs> and if anyone else is considering doing that, don't. <laughs> it will get better. Trust me. <laughs> okay, now. These guys are cringe, but the first one will be dead in time both times. <laughs> because Lionel's there to swing swing the second one. Let's go. <laughs> These dumbasses do a loop. <laughs> Absolute knuckleheads. I was about to say something way meaner and then remembered I'm streaming. <laughs> Spite is a very good motivator. Yep. Spite is the reason phones exist. Not mobile phones, just phones. Or rather, what I should say is, um, the reason phones... N there used to be a, a job connected to telephones where you would call, like, a general phone number and then that general phone number would connect you to the person you're trying to reach. <laughs> And that was an actual job. <laughs> and instead, now, it just automatically goes to the correct person. Uh, yeah, that was because of spite. There was an undertaker who noticed he was losing a lot of business and eventually realized, oh, it's because my competitor's wife works as one of the phone operators. And they're saying, oh, you're reaching out for an undertaker. Would you like to consider using this person instead? <laughs> and so then that person invented automatic phone connections, effectively. Damn, Spectre died. That's a surprise. How do I feel about Lin being top meta in CC2? I mean, Lin definitely wasn't out during CC2, so... The game has definitely changed since CC2. Unless you mean the new one coming out. In which case, like, Lin's a really fun unit. I definitely don't have bad thoughts about it. <laughs> Just because I personally don't really use Lin doesn't mean I think ne negatively of her. She's a very good unit and a lot of people like her, and I like her to design a lot. She is a really cool coat. <laughs> The new CC2, it's basically ranged knights. I mean, that's better than caster knights, which is what it was before. <laughs> Always casters. Why do you think they started giving en enemy units, like, a thousand res? <laughs> it was specific, like, because Aya and Serta were so strong, they tried to counteract that, and as a result made every other unit really bad, and Aya and Serta still kind of strong. <laughs> Good work, devs. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> okay, are they out healing Reed? Just barely. <laughs> We'll have 10 years before Mudrock gradually kills those two. It's fine. We're not in a rush. <laughs> we only have Chillabell next in the queue. So we... Unless Snafu's around. Snafu seems to have gone offline. 
<laughs> Which is fine. I was about to on instinct retreat Myrtle uh, for no damn reason. <laughs> you know, let's retreat Blue Poison so she can help out there just to speed it up because this will keep happening. The best units are Ifrit, Inez, Suzerain, KB, and Lin. Oh hey, so it's just a rehash of the first four contingency contracts. Though to be fair, CC3, the best unit in the game, was uh, Blaze and Surta. <laughs> and you could do Risk 19 with just Mudrock and Surta, which was very, very funny. One of my favorite 7 7 Aki videos. <laughs> Okay, now more units will finally start spawning, now that Mudrock has very slowly killed that guy. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Rat King finally spawning in. <laughs> Get his ass. <laughs> Commence operation, steal his shoes. <laughs> okay, Inez, do your thing. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> now, this is fine because read Alter. We'll keep them alive. <laughs> and kill both of those two. <laughs> okay, his shield is down, that's what matters. Now we can retreat you and do this. And that is Rat King dead. Now, Mlynar, just in case, because there are bullies, start swinging, please. <laughs> AK devs make A Asserter, GG, and Reed add resistance to all <laughs> enemies, confused doctor noises. Yeah, for real. <laughs> do you want us to use them or not? Make up your mind. <laughs> okay. Now, that's one of them dead to this Surta, I believe. Wait, isn't Ling the Rat King's daughter? It's Friendly Fire? Yeah, yeah, that's... I made that joke a while ago. She absolutely is. <laughs> okay, now, how am I going to kill these two? I can block one of them. I need to nuke him really quickly. So let's, uh... I mean... Oh, wait, no. I'm not in as much of a rush as I thought I was, because I can just kill this guy here. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Yato. Oh, Kirito, for being incredibly based. <laughs> And yeah, it's good that KB comes back. I always love using KB. She's very cute. I love using KB almost as much as I like listening to Marta, which is the Andoane soundtrack, which I unironically like use as a workout playlist. <laughs> I know that might sound silly, but hey, I love that song. Hey, here come the other guys. Quick. <laughs> can we get the damage in? We can get some. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Reed is up. Lina will kill this last one to Schwing Schwing. And then we just need to make sure one of them dies. Lina is very funny. <laughs> this guy shouldn't be a problem. He should die absolutely fine here. Especially because... <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, and then Lin is back up. Wonderful, wonderful. Where's Rat King? Dead. I spawned Captain. <laughs> His uh, AoE decreasing... Your attack is really annoying, so I just killed him. <laughs> now, Mudrock might actually die here, which is kind of wild. So we'll deploy Blue Poison as an assistant. <laughs> yeah. Rat King is indeed dead. <laughs> you know what? Let's retreat Perfumer. She's she's somewhat helping Mudrock, but I think that's enough of a hand for Mudrock. <laughs> Blue Poison will help more. Damn, okay. 380. We're almost done. These two should die here. Yep. And you will very slowly kill him. <laughs> Then we just have this final wave, which should be spawning now. Okay. Now, hopefully there are no more bullies, because bullies are kind of cringe to deal with. Mudrock dying, maybe if she was penance, that wouldn't be an issue. I mean, as it stands, she hasn't died. I just thought maybe there was a chance she would die, but she hasn't. Now, if I need to, I've got Yato for that. If not, I'll use her. Yeah, sweet. All good. I'll use her over here, just to speed this up. <laughs> so this is going to be the longest living guy in the entire Annihilation. Every other enemy will be dead before I kill him. Lynar, it's your moment. <laughs> oh no, they're out healing Reed. They won't out heal Lynar though. <laughs> okay, he's finally dead. Thank you, Lin. Now, who are going to be the final three enemies? Are they just going to be more Mudrock enemies that can't spawn until the last one dies? No, okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now, finale, Mudrock versus the last guy. Easy clap. Chillabelle, you are up next. <laughs> and there you go, sir. There you go. Annihilation done. No life lost. You can auto if you want to. Ten with zero. Omiya shinderu. Do you mean omai wa mo shinderu? Or... <laughs> I can't pronounce Japanese very well. I just know what it's supposed to sound like. And I'll collect the last reward for you just in case so you don't forget. There you go. No worries, Fian. <laughs> Why is my keyboard not working? There we are, there we are. Always happy to help. Okay. And shining as your base assistant, uh, your default assistant, very base. Can I check out your account? Sure, very, very quickly, because <laughs> I need to go to bed soon. 
uh, because I have a 6 a.m. start, so I can hit the gym. Let's take it. Gander. We'll start with dorms. Oh, expired. You need to fix that. <laughs> but 432. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's check out your dorms. Everything's maxed. Good. Very, very nice. This looks like a standard. Check the tequila level. I will. <laughs> this is also a very standard, but a very pretty standard. Very, very pretty dorms. I love the back-to-back, -back, the double. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> but yeah, all presets, but very, very fair. I also just use presets, though I have added some extra stuff and made it very scuffed. Now, the more important thing, let's check out your operators. Okay, I'm getting the impression you're a Waifu Knights player. <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> Which is very, very fair. Not pushing anyone past 60 currently, that's good. First off, it's generally better to get more E2s, and you're kind of light on E2s, because you're relatively you. Only M1 Chong Yui, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> good night, sleepy time. Not out, Willy, thanks for swinging by. Hope you sleep well. <laughs> Uh, you do have some really based units, though. Waifu and Chads. Yeah, I figured it was something like that, because the only menu you have leveled is Chads. Line up, very based. <laughs> Saria, very, very based. Uh, both of those are pretty good breakpoints. Her S3, if you use it, it's worth leveling more. Uh, the S1, that's the main breakpoint you've already got. Silver Ash is not a Chad. <laughs> yeah, he misses the muscle mass that Mlina has. Let's see, who else do you have? You have Reed, mostly mastered, that's right. Silence, very fair. Dorothy. Oh, you're a Dorothy S3 enjoyer. Fair enough. I personally massively prefer her S2. Yato, a Correct. Good job. <laughs> Swire, it doesn't really matter. All of her skills are good with and without masteries. Spectre, fair enough. Yeah, Spectre skill is really good in some cases, but the rest of the time you just kind of don't use it. <laughs> and she just raw stats her way through it. <laughs> By being a Centurion who heals max percent HP every second. April, yep, fair enough. It's strange to see Blue Poison is your only sniper that's leveled. No masteries in Kazumara or Red, right? Oh, no, no, some, 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 some. That's good. All in all, you do have a very strong account. And the main thing holding you back is just... <laughs> as you become more experienced, you'll be able to E2 more units. Like, Lapland gets a massive benefit from E2, so does La Pluma. Hoshiguma kind of does, less important. Gladia, if you use Abyssal Hunters, absolutely level her. <laughs> Even just for her E2 passive. Ambriel is a based choice, I did see that. <laughs> the OG Golden Glow, though Fizz has kind of fallen off a little bit. Uh, Ambriel can't handle most dangerous enemies anymore, unfortunately. Let's see who you have. Weedy, Ifrit, Suzerain, all amazing, love to see it. Hades, very, very hot. It's a shame she's also really bad. Ditto, Whistlash. <laughs> Aurora, love to see it. <laughs> Let me guess, you had Silver Ash and then pulled Mlynar while you were leveling him. <laughs> Either way, very understandable, you have Mlynar, so. Uh, Enforcer isn't really a Chad, he's just hot, so fair enough, you haven't leveled him. <laughs> Congrats on your Fartooth, you were telling me if I remember right, you just got her, in which case, yay. <laughs> if not, apologies, I'm getting you confused with someone else. Dagda, very, very cute. I understand why you haven't leveled any of these operators, even if I'm a massive fan. For what it's worth, I would say if you need more AA, which you eventually will, it's worth it to level up uh, Cruz. Now he stops leveling Silver Ash after the event story, fair. <laughs> and yes, he has not leveled up Tequila, but to be fair, while Tequila is very pretty boy, he's not a Giga Chad, and Mlynar is a pretty boy and a Giga Chad, and Mlynar is leveled, so. <laughs> we can at least handshake on Mlynar being a Chad. <laughs> Waifu and Husbando enjoy his handshaking on Mlyna. <laughs> and Thorns. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Uh, could be worth leveling Steward, but you probably don't need him anymore. That's the only one I'd say. <laughs> no real point, though, once you have better casters. Just got Tequila. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're also relatively new, so you'd only be gradually unlocking them. No Mr. Nothing. I don't think he has Mr. Nothing. Which is very fair. Because... Oh, no, no, he does. Fair enough. Uh, Mr. Nothing is kind of one of the worst units in the game. It's fair enough to not level him. <laughs> you do have Dorothy, so no reason to level Robin. Otherwise, I was going to say level Robin. Yeah, I think the only specialists you should really level are Weedy and Gladio. <laughs> Totter is very much a Giga Chad. Uh, I understand why people think that. I personally don't. <laughs> Three stars are good for IS. Yeah, yeah. If you play IS a lot, I'd say level Steward and Spot. Otherwise, don't worry about it. 
just got him yesterday. <laughs> it's fine. You already have the Giga Chad version of Tequila. <laughs> Who, despite being <laughs> fizz instead of arts like Tequila, is better at anti armor. <laughs> So all in all, pretty solid account. Um, and yeah, for the most part, your leveling priority, very on point, makes a lot of sense. You're mostly leveling up meta units with a couple units you just like, like Ambriel, Kazumaru, Deep Color, but very, very based choices. <laughs> all right, now we'll get to Chillabelle, because I need to shower. <laughs> I am a sweaty boy. Australia is so hot today. It's currently 9 p.m. and it's like 27 degrees. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. It's going to be miserable. <laughs> I mean, technically, that means I could stream longer, though, if I just commit to not sleeping. But that's a bad design. A bad decision. <laughs> okay. And Chillabelle, you just want an account review as well. Okay. You're broke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why is my VTuber model a girl? Because I find female character design much more interesting. <laughs> no worries if that's not your thing, though. Um, but yeah. <laughs> that's the main reason. There are a few other reasons. But the main one is just, man, I really like... Okay, to be fair, I'm asexual either way, so... <laughs> it's not like I'm attracted to my character, but all of my aesthetic tastes are in line and shown through this VTuber model. Dark hair, red eyes, red and black combo, uh, great thighs, <laughs> exposed upper shoulders. <laughs> but no worries if that's not your thing. Thanks for checking me out either way, and I hope you have a fantastic day if you don't decide to stay. And I'm sure there are many, many... Uh, VTuber out, VTubers out there who will be more your style if I'm not, which is fine. <laughs> I know it's not everyone's kind of thing. Mel is currently thunderstorming. <laughs> I'm actually going to Melbourne very soon. There's, um... There's, as I'm sure you're probably aware, a Hololive concert going on in Melbourne. <laughs> I'm going with an IRL friend. It'll be fun. Thank you, Chillabelle. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it won't be thunderstorming while I'm there. But yeah, Enks basically just uh, anime girls are much cuter than anime guys, and I don't like many anime guy designs, with Arknights being one of the only exceptions. But I'm, while I'm decent at character design, I'm not like the world's best. So I don't think I could design a male character I liked, but I really like my female <laughs> model. <laughs> and don't worry too much about it. Assuming you're still around. If you've dipped, that's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, now last of the day, Chillabelle, let's check it out. Uh, why can I not drag it into the main monitor? Why is it glitching out? Who is peak male design in Arknights? Phantom. <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> IS2 is my favorite because I have a goth aesthetic. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna say Phantom? Yeah, like, you crazy? <laughs> Knew it, yep. A friend of mine made a doujin based on your character and you can't remove it from your memories. I doubt that. <laughs> if so, send it to me. That would be a massive surprise, because this model has only existed two months, and I'm a two-viewer Andy. <laughs> I've very briefly been a three-viewer Andy temporarily, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but hey, look, uh, I like my character design. <laughs> Hopefully other people do too. Why can't I see my mouse? Where is it? My mouse is no longer visible. Oh, there we are, there we are. <laughs> it's tequila, but valid opinion. No, I don't uh, like the tequila type of design. It's the same as a... Gawain from Fake Grand Order. I get why people like it. It's just personally not my kind of shtick. I also don't like Aventurine from Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> I just don't like the seductive, big bro type blondes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> 20 viewer Chad now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, that's still two views, right? I thought that was what the lingo is. <laughs> two viewers, two digit viewer, right? Or do you mean literally two views? In which case, disregard what I said. Sorry, I don't know Twitch lingo very much. I'm trying my best. I'm an ancient old hag. <laughs> Tequila is seductive now, lol. Yeah, he is. <laughs> that man rizzes you up. <laughs> Endlessly. <laughs> what do you mean, Tequila's seductive now? <laughs> Implying he ever wasn't. <laughs> okay, let's start out with your base. We'll check the dorms real quick. Okay, you're running four factories. I love to see it. Everything's maxed out. I love to see it. I'm an internationally famous feature. <laughs> yeah. Look, it is a very strange feeling to know that uh, people in Japan watch me, and a lot of Filipinos, actually. Not necessarily my lives, but my videos. <laughs> YouTube analytics are really fun to look through. He's used to enough to start Arknights. <laughs> I can't talk. Lapland did the same for me. I was a launch player who dropped the game, saw Lapland's face, and came back. Okay, let's see. Looks like standard, but very nice standard. 
yeah, just a quick prefill. These will all be the prefill ones. But they're very, very nice. I like what you've gone through. Oh, it looks like you have made some changes by the fact the Emperor's here. I don't think that's default. <laughs> but very, very nice dorms. Very solid base setup. Let's check what you're making so we can judge you. 51k LMD. Very, very good. 23k, kind of bad. <laughs> but I take it you droned here. That's fine. You're relatively new. Shining Skin hooked you first. That's fair, man. Shining Skin is very, very nice. <laughs> Shining hot. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's give a quick check to your operators. Why is my mouse so small out of a sudden? Okay, so relatively built account. That does make sense. Yeah, level 115. Makes sense that you've got a f probably a few very high level units. No, never mind. You just focus a lot on leveling. It may be worth trying to improve your base a little bit. Just because if you're using this much LMD and XP, it will build up over time. Then Serta L2D. Yes, yeah, Serta L2D is great. Arknight says some really amazing skins. <laughs> like, even just Kibai's default. How does my goth aesthetic jive with Arlecchino from Genshin? Arlecchino is... Okay, so when Fontaine released, there were only two characters I'm excited for. Can you guess which two? <laughs> like, when Fontaine was first, <laughs> Fontaine was first leaked. <laughs> Can you guess which two? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. One of them was Arlecchino. <laughs> That being said, I did spend, like, most of my Arlecchino funds getting Dea's weapon, unfortunately. I did get the weapon, though, so it worked out. Rossley, no. <laughs> Rossley has grown on me. He is now my third favorite um, character in the entirety of Fontaine. But that's that's partially him growing on me and partially the ending of Act 5, making most of the rest of the cast less interesting to me because they didn't check on a certain someone or mention a certain someone or think about a certain someone. <laughs> Which rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the the answer was Furina. I also like Navia's design because she's just Swire. Uh, yep, you, you guessed it right as I said it, user. <laughs> so I was looking forward to Furina. She's basically a summary of everything I like. <laughs> and then also Arlecchino. So I'm very, very excited for her. <laughs> Uh, and then, unfortunately, we got Boot Hill, who is just male Arlecchino, who I don't like. <laughs> Genjin has become too wordy. Yeah, it always has been. I did enjoy, I think, um, the best story they've ever done by far was the latest one in Fontaine. But overall, like, it still has problems. <laughs> Can't slog through the story. That's very, very fair. <laughs> for what it's worth, I enjoyed reading everything about uh, Fontaine's story, except for the entirety of Act 3 and the very end of Act 5, which was impressive. It's a massive improvement, but it still takes a long time. But yeah, I guess I'm Chris. I will be pulling for Arlecchino. <laughs> Though I might not get her. I only have like six... I'll only have like 70, 80 pulls by the time she comes out. Furinus to design is Nouvellette if he was an anime girl, so she's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Why on earth are you being wished a Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, man! <laughs> Hope you're having a great Christmas, Teeth. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Merry, Merry Christmas. It might be a different holiday in your time zone. In which case, maybe Happy New Year! Well, happy Halloween! <laughs> the actual answer is it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It's Tyfe. It's Tyfe. That's right. <laughs> happy Christmas. Yes, happy Christmas. It's Tyfe. You said you'd remember. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I sight read it and then remembered. <laughs> Tyfe is <as> in wife. <laughs> that, I should not have said that out loud. Okay, back to, back to account review. <laughs> Fair. Just in terms of pronunciation, I associate things with how do you pronounce them in English. It's a... Uh, anyone who knows French would have a stroke. Okay, my, my model has just died. My phone is dead. Rip. Uh, so I'll finish off the stream with no model. <laughs> happy late Easter to your Christians. Yes, happy uh, Easter, everyone. Okay, I guess... You know what? Uh, let me hide my surprised face. There we go. <laughs> I am now a two... <laughs> I now am a PNG tuber. <laughs> still Easter here. Yeah, it's still Easter Monday for me as well. <laughs> but hey, we'll run through this quickly, and this is the end of the stream anyway, so she'll be right. <laughs> Easy fix, yeah. I'm a PNG tuber, and you can't see my face, so it doesn't look weird. So you've got a lot of really good E2 units. Let's start off by inversing levels, seeing who you're missing. Phantom, that's fair. That's understandable. Cantabile, assuming you have Inners, that's also understandable. 
No, okay. For I would unironically recommend leveling Cantabile because she's very, very strong, but very fine if you don't like her. I'm mainly biased towards Cantabile because I think she's really gorgeous <laughs> from the waist up. Oh, no, no. In her E0, I think she's just overall gorgeous. I love the depressed look. <laughs> I have a trauma fetish. Don't <laughs> don't throw shade. <laughs> She's also a very good unit, though. <laughs> Anyone important you haven't leveled yet? Let's see. Let's see. All of these make sense. All of these fairly niche. Looks like you generally go for units who are really strong rather than necessarily being a waifu player, which is very, very fair. <laughs> oh, you like her tummy? Yep. <laughs> Shamari. <laughs> Look, people not leveling Shamari is understandable. I get it. Trauma fetish, I like Tequila's law. Wrong type of trauma. <laughs> uh, more like La Pluma's law, which is very similar to Tequila, but slightly different. Hey, look, he has Tequila E1. Oh, sorry, Chillabelle is a she, if I remember right. Sorry about that. <laughs> and apologies if I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> Chillabelle has Tequila E1, so hey, he isn't completely abandoned. And hey, same skill level as me. <laughs> 178 trust. Hmm. Yeah, that means actually used tequila. I have never used my tequila except for in the base as a base slave. <laughs> Which you need E2 for, so that's clearly not the case here. Okay, pure stream. Makes sense. Pure stream's E1 is goaded, but you don't need E2. Uh, Scardi. Kia, Scardi. It is a shame to see a low-level Scardi, but I get it. She's not very good. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't leveled Keen Glint, though. Gonna go farm up some stuff because you want to pull for Dagenbrecker pull. <laughs> oh, you want me to pull? Yeah, I'm absolutely... I'm always down to do viewer pulls. <laughs> And I will also be pulling for Degenbroker. Newman levels A. South, if your OC was an operator, what class would it be? Probably an agent vanguard or a special or a executor specialist. Because the, the basic summary of my law is I'm an assassin for the love of the craft. So <laughs> Assassin. That would be my archetype. <laughs> Though it is also funny, I uh It's hard to say because I know how to shoot guns. I have trained with knives and spears. <laughs> I've done a little bit of swordplay, both Hema and fencing. <laughs> and I have a crossbow. <laughs> so I guess I could fit pretty much anything except medic. <laughs> what craft? Uh, the craft of assassination. I'm a freelance assassin who uh, doesn't take salary. <laughs> Hoping for streamer luck, Tarkus A. It's 50-50. Whether I get streamer luck or streamer bad luck. <laughs> Actively pulling for Jessica, but got to save for Dorothy's skin. Dorothy's skin is amazing. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a reason I haven't done a lore video yet, Tyfe. Most of the lore is incredibly edgy, made by me when I was 14-year-olds, and would be very hard to explain to other people's. Ack levels. Yeah, it is um unfortunate to see a leveled Ack, but it is at least the correct Ack skin. Yeah, yeah, as you were saying, it's the correct Ack skin. <laughs> While I'm such an extrovert. Uh, yeah, to a degree. <laughs> I like to waffle. <laughs> I enjoy talking with people, both IRL and online. Uh, I'm just also antisocial. Hung levels, Lamau. Uh, I can't see Hung here. Oh, yes, damn it. Why is your Hung the same level as your Spectre and Texas? <laughs> You've disappointed me. <laughs> Parentheses affectionate. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Texas and Spectre, when you can, probably worth e 2 them, which you're probably building towards. They both get massive buffs from their E2. <laughs> Lol, um, look, don't worry, I don't judge, I don't judge. Side rocker, I see you are also a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, based, based. <laughs> Makes up for it, yeah, exactly. You're considering eating Hung? Look, I only comedically hate Hung. It's fine for you to like Hung. I only jokingly make fun of people for liking Hung. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kazumaru leveled, also great. She's very cute. <laughs> Booba, yep, side rocker. And Udage. <laughs> Yudage's... I like that Yudage makes uh, Side Rocker look non-lewd. <laughs> Even though Side Rocker is more lewd. Though obviously the most lewd is Wind Chimes, who is not wearing a bra and has a torn shirt. E2 hung, S2 gets way better with masteries. I mean, technically you're not wrong, but it's still bad. No way I pronounce Yudage like that. Pronounce Yudage like that? Isn't it pronounced Yudage? I used to say Yutage, but then everyone told me I was wrong. <laughs> In the same way I say Yato, uh, Yato, I know it's wrong. I know it's Yato. <laughs> I just butcher it. <laughs> what buff does Texas get at E2? When she's in your squad, not even deployed, you just start with 2 DP, which is very handy. Uh, and you can also do masteries on an S2, which makes it more heli drop. So basically it just massively front loads your DP generation. 
Oh, I was right before and it's pronounced Utage? Okay, I'll go back to saying Utage. <laughs> People gaslit me successfully. Hello, Chad Enjoyer. Based. <laughs> very, very based. And I can see you're also considering leveling Mistima. If you do, make sure to get a module. It makes her go from kind of bad to really good. Uh, which is huge in slow 75% DP stages. Yeah, yeah, Texas. Unironically, even if you don't deploy her, is usually worth taking because two starting DP is very strong. <laughs> It speeds up your other vanguards by two seconds, which it sounds like a really small thing, but it's just such a quality of life that it's hard to go back to no Texas after using a no Hella Daddy module. He's only level 30. Chillabel has a lot of units to level. It makes sense. <laughs> you target. Okay, I take it you're a booba enjoyer. <laughs> you probably also don't have the swimsuit, do you? Oh, no, no, you do. You do. Fair enough. <laughs> you have to level up Mistima because of Dusk. <laughs> J levels. Look, if you're going to level J, you might as well get J to E2. So very fair. Very based. <laughs> She's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> oh, Elysium enjoyer. Damn. Level 52 Elysium? <laughs> you should you should probably finish his masteries if you're going to be using... Actually, no. If you're using him in combat enough to level him, fair enough. <laughs> See, and, oh, Lord Tachanka. Very based. I've been wanting to level Tachanka for ages and keep putting it off and leveling other units. Good on you. <laughs> Why should you get J to E2? No, it's just a case of if you're going to get J past E0, you should might as well get him to E2 because he's a good unit. It's just he is the only unit in the game who gets permanently worse when you take him from E0 to E1. <laughs> but unlike Frostleaf, who gets permanently worse from E1 to E2, at least he becomes better again at E2. <laughs> and this is basically just a joke, by the way. It's for one specific trading uh, post combination in your base. <laughs> You're buffing your base by upgrading J. You didn't know how it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it's so mean that they had one character just be bad. Once again, a Schwartz S1 enjoyer. <laughs> Why do you people do this? <laughs> also, if you use Schwartz, definitely um get at least one mastery on her S3. It gives her an extra tile, which is a massive bonus. <laughs> Jay and Michael Jackson is base buff combo. Yeah, but Lapland, Texas, and Jay is the better combo. <laughs> it still outperforms it, and it's simpler. <laughs> How does Jay thing work? Uh, you stick him with Lapland and Texas in a trading post, and he uh, Texas drains uh, morale very quickly, but they generate ridiculous amounts of efficiency. Okay, Swire, yep, it's fine. Mastery, whatever you want. <laughs> All of our skills are amazing. Weedy... Yeah, fair enough. As much as I love Weedy, makes sense that you probably don't use it too much. Chen, which skill? S2. Good to see. Good to see. No masteries in Angelina. Very fair. Why does it get broken when Jay gets upgraded? Uh, he stops increase. He, um, for whatever reason, like, his E1 is the only base talent in the game that is actually a debuff to his E0 base talent. <laughs> Every other base skill when you promote them gets better. His gets worse because it decreases storage cap and he gains production based on storage cap. I believe. I'd have to check again. Sorry, I'm a little bit mentally fried. <laughs> no masteries. Hey, look. Looks like uh, Chillabelle is more of a level unit than masteries, which is very, very fair. Though for the higher ones, yeah, impactful masteries makes sense. Ooh, La Pluma S2 enjoyer. Fair enough. Usually it's better to use La Pluma S1 and to master, but it depends on your playstyle. <laughs> if you use La Pluma S2, absolutely go for it. And yeah, Chong Yue S3. <laughs> Chong Yue is good. I think I've started understanding how he works. I'll probably level mine as well. <laughs> now we're getting to the good stuff. Any horn masteries? One, that's fine. Hoshiguma, A, you're an S3 enjoyer, but you understand S2 is the correct skill. Respectable. Arketo, I take it you like playing billiards. <laughs> S2 is very, very fun. S3 is very, very good. Exia, oh, surprising that you go for... I guess it can be annoying that Exia can often burn out S3 when you're not targeting anything. For what it's worth, like I've recommended to a few other people, if you use Exia often, uh, master her S3. It makes such a difference. It looks like tiny percentages, but... Exio gets so much benefit from even the tiniest buffs that unironically she's kind of worth getting to level 90. It's not super high priority, but she's one of the only units who does meaningfully get better with level 90. She has the highest single target damage in the game, or at least close. I don't know if it's still the highest, but it was for a long time. Uh, beautiful Pesemka, love to see it. The percent is tiny, but she attacks five plus times, yeah. And the main reason uh, Exia gets a lot of buffs is usually she goes from dealing chip damage to not dealing chip damage. 
and the difference is a few percent, which means effectively she's going from hitting for 5% of her attack five times to hitting to 10% of her attack five times. So a 1% buff <laughs> might be doubling her damage. <laughs> Unless you're running defense shred or attack buff. Uh, but that's the reason. Like, maxed out Exia can deal with the chapter 8 drones. Unmaxed cannot. Uh, let's check out your Rosmontus. Ooh, interesting. Rosmontus S2 enjoyer. I do know a few Rosmontus S2 enjoyers, but usually people play a S3. But all of her skills are very, very good, if niche. KB, this is correct. <laughs> and KB's very, very cute. God since you're leveled, I kneel. Oh, yo! <laughs> you love to see it. You have the correct dust skill mastered. You also have a skin, which is very, very pretty. I love the skin. Golden Glow, now. Okay, good, good, good. Using all of the correct skills so far. Godsinger you're leveled. Not everyone's perfect. I'm willing to allow it. <laughs> Passenger is very, very strong, especially with his module, which you are already all over. I think both of his modules are good, but either of them are absolutely fine. <laughs> and obviously you have an M3, which is important. <laughs> AAR. Okay, you're part of S3 gang. That's respect, though. Not white module. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure Passenger's better module is his other module, but both of them are good. From memory. Yeah, this um, jump deals 10 persistentness. Yep, sweet. This gives him an extra jump and increases his SP recovery. Oh, that's the lore of this. And this one, I forget what it does. No longer deals less damage. Yeah, both of them are good. Both of them are good. This one's for slows. Uh, this one's for damage. The other one's for slows and SP gain from memory. Both are fantastic, though. Yato... Okay, you do unfortunately use Yato S3 sometimes, but generally speaking, correct? <laughs> Dusk on X is cringe, Y is infinitely better, especially on S3. Yeah, but for us, Dusk 1 enjoys. <laughs> Dusk S1. <laughs> Mizuki S1, you love to see it. Damn, this is a based account. <laughs> you have good taste. Look at his pretty smile. I love Nami's art. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> his face is a little goofy, but he's very cute. Spectre now. Are you an S2 Chad? Or S3 Chad. Okay, you're unfortunately an S2 Chad. But because it's Spalter, the fact that you're using her at all is incredibly based. Mizuki is so BBG. I don't know what BBG stands for. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pray, yeah. I put, I know I'm the minority by massively preferring Spalter's S3. But, like, I respect it. Look at how pretty she is. <laughs> Both versions of her. <laughs> oh, baby girl. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> I'll gradually learn you, Lingo. Okay, good, good. Correct skill again. A lot of people miss and go for Texas's S2, which I don't understand. Oh, almost maxed out red. You love to see it. And you're a red S1 enjoyer. Hey, I take it you might have watched my guide then. <laughs> I'm a massive red fan and S1 especially. Absolutely happy to see that. Red is very cute. Yes, sir. She is adorable and also... Red manages to be cute and tactical. <laughs> like, this is amazing, like, soft tactical, if that makes sense. Texas has more single target on S2, though. Yeah, but if you're using an executor for single target damage, why are you using Texas? <laughs> Cicero leveled kind of sus, eh? Tamimi thoughts? Uh, do I need to say more about Tamimi? Do I, do I need to specify? I think I know why <laughs> she has been leveled. <laughs> It's not for her gameplay. <laughs> but we all have that one character who we level despite their gameplay. <laughs> Penance S3. Very, very enjoyable. Very, very fun skill. It's by far her general use. <laughs> yeah. I do respect the Tamimi level, but... <laughs> we we all know why you leveled Tamimi, and it's not because you use her. <laughs> it's because her hair is pretty on her skin. Yeah, 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 definitely. Her hair. this All this white flowy hair in this general vicinity, right? Right around here where my mouse is, if you can even see it, it's very, very small. Yeah, that part of the hair, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, I understand. <laughs> there are better ops for it. <laughs> the top of the hair. <laughs> oh, do you mean the flowers? Look, Tamimi is unironically really pretty and I love her design. I just don't like that she's uh, visibly, to a degree, underaged. Uh, Personality-wise, at least. And not really wearing clothing. <laughs> Why the fuck is that that S1 M2? <laughs> Look, all of us have had at least one pet project where we just absolutely scuff something. <laughs> I respect the dedication to a unit you don't use. 
I can't talk. Oh, before I go, I will... Oh, wait, no. This... There's no real point. Uh, actually, yeah, I could show off some of my curse. For example, my Ifrit is um, M3 in the sense of spread amongst her other masteries. <laughs> oh, you use her? Yeah, yeah, sure you do. To Mimi is... Uh, she is usable, to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, we all have a pet project who we just scuff. Now, Ling... Sweet. Obviously, you level her M3, that's the better... Uh, her S3, that's the better skill. S2 is also good if you use her often, but if you don't, M S3 is the way to go. Very high level Amir Guard. Interesting, interesting. What are your Samaria Masteries like? Okay, so you mainly use her as a healer rather than as a debuffer. That's fair. Once you get used to her S3, you'll probably use that pretty often because it's very strong, but her S1 is the other best skin. You'd put Tamimi skin as your profile picture if you had it. You like her hair. That's very, very fair. She has very pretty hair. <laughs> I was mainly joking about circling her ass. <laughs> She does have very, very beautiful hair, so I do understand. You hate Ling, not gonna lie. Yeah, but she's just good enough that you use her anyway, right? <laughs> I get it. Ling and Lin, they have the same name. Uh, I do agree, but it could be worse, because there are three characters in the game named Frost, and then also Frost Leaf. So there's Frost, 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 Frost Leaf, and Frost Nova. <laughs> the devs really did a sturdy with that one. <laughs> Let's check out your Siege. You have at least one Mastery. The Siege simps are going to be happy. <laughs> You've got your... A I kicked my Ash on M2 for quite a while. That's very, very fair. I'm going to assume you're using her in base. Ifrit S2 Enjoyer. Very understandable. Why are there multiple Frosts? Because there are multiple characters named Frost. There's Rainbow Six Siege Frost. Then there's the member of Dead or Alive who's named Frost. And then there's one other NPC named Frost. I could be misremembering. I know there's at least two. But there was one NPC, and then the Rainbow Six Siege Frost got added. <laughs> and then there's also Frost Leaf and Frost Nova. <laughs> yeah. Usually Arknight's characters' names are really distinct, and then there's Frost. <laughs> Let's check out Backpipe. Okay, S2 Enjoyer? That's understandable. For what it's worth, I would say it is worth trying out her S3, because she becomes a boss killer, rather than just an AFK unit with S2. But... I was a... Uh, once I went S3 on Bagpipe, I kind of never went back. But for a long time, I was an S2 Enjoyer as well. Bibik Enjoyer Pog. Yes, Bibik. Very based. Too interactive for me. <laughs> but very, very based. <laughs> uh, Nian S3. Makes sense. Dorothy. Ooh, I like this. I like this. You're an S3 Enjoyer, but you're also an S2 Chad. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Bagpipe S3 isn't a lane holder. She's a lane holder who also boss kills. <laughs> R6 Frost, Dead by Daylimp, <laughs> Daylight Antonym Frost, Frost Drone, and Frost Furniture. And then also the Frost debuff. <laughs> Aurora, yes, I love seeing a leveled Aurora. Aurora is so cute uh, and pretty. I love her hair so much. So, so much in this skin. <laughs> Unironically, I know everyone always thinks I'm talking about below the neck. No, no, no. I love her hair and her face. And you've got her some masteries done. That's good. That's good. <laughs> she hits crazy hard. I love Aurora. Okay, now we were up to Blaze. Makes sense. Serta makes sense. Nothing too spicy. AAR also makes sense. Whoa, Aurora's back. <laughs> Body. Yeah. Lapland. A maxed out Lapland. Based. And yeah, Aurora is... um. <laughs> if you haven't seen Aurora's default art, by the way... <laughs> She's a polar bear, so even this is too much clothing for her, and she's very, very canonically hot. <laughs> As in, she's overheating in this little clothing. <laughs> Stop looking at your wife? Sure thing, sure thing. I was just appreci appreciating how pretty she was, was and how awesome her hair is. <laughs> no, I love this skin. It is also very, very hot. <laughs> S3, fair enough. I personally am an S2 enjoyer, but S3 is also very, very strong. <laughs> Both very, very good. I love your wife. <laughs> No, I'm not doing an NTR stream. Then there's Frost Leaf, Frost Nova, Frost Fang, Razor Frost, and Frost Nova Winter Sky. Yeah. Look, to be fair, Frost is a pretty common word, so it does make sense. <laughs> okay. Then we have Saga. This is, yep, this is fine. Her S3 has also grown on me a bit, but it's hard to use, so I completely understand S2. <laughs> I get it, I get it. And you have both Saga and Siege leveled. So, <laughs> both sides of that uh, full-out war will like you. It's strange you've got a left at level 87, though. But fair enough. 
What do you mean, Null the Radiant Knight of <laughs> is right there? Of course, it's an NTR stream. <laughs> How do so many people get LMD for max leveled characters? You're constantly poor. Probably by farming the LMD stage. Uh, now that the sixth stage is out, it's kind of worthwhile. It just depends. Do you want to promote and master units or do you want to level them? Generally, it's better to do masteries, but if you really like characters, it's more fun to invest them to max level. So it's just a matter of personal priorities. Optimized bases and events? Yes, that too. If you level up your base early, you'll generally earn about 40k XP and 50k LMD every day from it. Ah, uh, but like, it takes time. <laughs> uh, thorns, very standard. Max level though, you love to see it. Mudrock, very fair. Her S3 is goofy and hard to use. I use both, but generally speaking, I also default to S2. Chalta, <laughs> some weirdos master her M S1 and S2. I don't really get that. They're kind of a linear upgrade. I sort of get the S1, but the others not really. Typhon, very, very fair. I default to S3, but both are good. Hi there. Hello, Sultan Idris. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas and hope your day's going amazingly. Fellow beautiful doctor. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, my model is not currently animated. Actually, my phone should be charged now. Let me see. Yes, okay. It's back to 52% charge, so I can <laughs> stop being a PNG tuber. <laughs> Go into base to take LMD once every six hours. You don't need to do that. You only need to log in twice a day. <laughs> there we are. I'm back. <laughs> Isn't account review? Yes, I'm doing a couple account reviews right after a handhold. If you are stuck on a stage, happy to handhold though. I'm close to done, but as a result, that means the queue is also empty. So if you want to jump in, you can. <laughs> Very based level 90s. I love to see this. Let's see. Kowsey, Kowsey. S3. Yep, that is the correct skill. And you've got a mod maxed out. Read. Ooh. You need to finish this at some stage. <laughs> but hey, you're using the correct skill, so I won't judge too harshly. You clearly focus more on levels than masteries. <laughs> you want to be reviewed? Sure thing. Just um, exclamation point Discord. DM Southheart. I said hi in general chat. I only need your login, uh, your <laughs> email, and then for you to approve the login. I can do you right after this before I end for the day if you want. <laughs> <laughs> user based <laughs> and please let me know if that link doesn't work someone was having issues with it so yeah overall chillabelle you have my thumbs up of approval very very based account based enough that i can forgive certain missteps <laughs> and differences in opinion especially because you are an aurora enjoyer so liking aurora nullifies this <laughs> So I'll, I'll pretend that doesn't exist because Aurora. <laughs> so handshake emoji, Aurora is based. <laughs> now let's uh, check quickly. I don't think I checked your base. We'll check the DM. Yep, thank you. Thank you. I'll quickly wrap this one up and then go to you. Everything's maxed out. Yep, you have the Rainbow Six party and you're mixing in others. And then I assume you mix in the last Rainbow Six member to get them full back. <laughs> That's what I do as well. We all make mistakes in the heat of passion. Okay, yes, we did check this out. <laughs> we all make mistakes in the heat of passion, Jimbo. Thoughts on Palace? I love Palace, but only her S1. <laughs> it's slightly better than Thorns. Very slightly better than Thorns S3, but without the range. <laughs> but Palace is just very, very goofy. <laughs> okay, one second, one second. Let me refill my water bottle one last time. I'll be right back. Alrighty, sorry about that. Chillabelle, before I dip, is there anything I'm missing on your account that you want me specifically to look at? <laughs> Sometimes I do miss things in the heat of passion. <laughs> you need blessing for the shop reset to get Jessica before she disappeared. I'm pretty sure you do get shop reset. Yeah, you get like 30 pulls in like an hour. <laughs> 
Oh wait, no, 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 yeah, you can guarantee her. She's guaranteed at 150. If you can get all of, if you have enough yellow certs. Oh wait, no, this is Chillabelle's account. No way to spark at 50. <laughs> yeah, wait, if you have enough for the yellow recert, you absolutely do. Oh, not quite. I see now the concern. Oh, that's tragic. <laughs> that's so tragic. That's so, so tragic. You hate to see it. Roll one for him. I'm not going to do that without Chillabelle's permission. That would be very rude. <laughs> Oh, that's so, so tragic to see. Do you have any tokens to exchange? No. Oh, the good news is you'll get a couple headhunts from this and you can get some yellow cert headhunts if you're really desperate, even though obviously it's not quite max efficiency. But hey, hopefully you'll get her. I think with 90, including the refunds you'll get, you might just barely have enough yeah, because this costs 70, 110. You can probably get up to here again with 18. So I think you get really, really close. <laughs> let's hope, let's hope. <laughs> Best of luck, Chillabelle. Please let me if, know if you get her. Hopefully you do. <laughs> it, it's so close to guaranteed. I really hope you do. Alrighty. I'll hand you your account back and end with Sultan Idris's. <laughs> One second, let me log out. Oh. You got a pop up. Never mind. <laughs> It looked like you got free stuff, but no, it was just my game having a stroke. Sure I will. Yeah, please do let me know. I hope you get lucky. Luckier than I did. <laughs> okay, now let's go. Okay, Sultan, uh, I just need you to DM me your email that you use for your Yostar account. Good luck, Shelly. Yes, good luck. Let us know how it goes. And I'm sorry if you don't get her, but you'll get her. Trust. <laughs> okay, gotcha, gotcha. And now, in a second, you'll get a code, and just to prove that. Oh, just send me the code, rather. <laughs> Question between doctors. Waifu husbando of the game for you. Hmm. That's an interesting one for me. Because I don't think any of my favorite characters I would classify as a waifu. And all of my favorite characters are male, so I don't really have a husband. <laughs> I can't say closure. She's basically my sister, even though she's very similar to my design. Uh, let's think, let's think. I guess W is a waifu, but it feels weird to say that. <laughs> I'm not that much of a masochist. <laughs> I'm a lot more sadistic than I am masochistic. It's more, uh, I enjoy physical violence rather than <laughs> emotional. <laughs> Which, hey, boxing is a real win-win for me. And yeah, user did not need to respond. We all know <laughs> Tequila is his wife, husbando. You think Inez looks way more like me? That's just because you want to see up my skirt and you want to see up Inez's skirt, isn't it? <laughs> You're going to sleep now? Hey, thanks for swinging by, Dat Noob. Hope you sleep really well. Alrighty. We'll start off in the base as always. Let's take a good look. Let's see what's going on. 432. Like to see it. Like to see it. Oh, I'm seeing your waifu at the start. Okay. So your base assistant, your default assistant, Lapland, is your waifu. Very fair. Very good taste. Lapland is the reason I'm playing the game. Hehe, <laughs> thighs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want do you want a quick send-off with my thighs? <laughs> and yes, the jiggle physics, too. I've got very nice thighs. I can also scroll. Uh, I also have feet, but they're relatively low res. <laughs> Shit, you'll do an account roasting? <laughs> yes, I'm doing a little bit of account roasting before I go to sleep. Uh, so if you want to join in, you can. <laughs> Your favorite is Chong Yui, but if I don't think about his banner, then I'll feel <laughs> Damn, that bad? <laughs> And also, hello, Ahamkai. Good to see you again. <laughs> I know this is your first time in chat, but I really enjoy chatting with you periodically in the Discord. <laughs> They'll roast you hard. Oh, not yet, not yet. We're not up to the roasting you yet, if it's the case. Uh, do you want it to be just a review and complimentary? Do you want it to be advice? Do you want it to be roasts? I can do all three. <laughs> you got Dorothy twice in one banner. <laughs> At least Dorothy's hot. <laughs> okay, so very standard. Three, four, two. Love to see it, love to see it. Anything spicy, everything's max. No. Do a full review. Gotcha, gotcha. And yeah, Harm, if you want to join in, all you need to do is um, DM South your Yostar account email. And then after this, I'll need you to approve the login by sending me the code. <laughs> and I'll review and then I'll log out. That's it. <laughs> but no worries if you don't want to join in. But you're welcome to. <laughs> okay, now let's check your dorms. Anything custom? That's a preset. Very nice preset. Very nice preset. Why are your dorms empty is the question. But, very, very nice dorms. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, Arcanite's crashed. 
<laughs> One second, you won't need to reapprove the login, thankfully. <laughs> it's just been open long enough that the emulator is starting to sweat. <laughs> Skip his account taking too long. Damn, that's a lot of Firefly. <laughs> I understand now why Looters Justice has the name Looters Justice. <laughs> Can I help you with H84? Uh, one second. Okay, Solomon, are you in stream? If not, I'll type it to you. The emulator smelt. <laughs> yeah, the emulator tried to save you from the roast. <laughs> I can help tomorrow if you want. Uh, in about... <laughs> 20 hours. I will send you the timestamp. I'm free right off stream. <laughs> Join in for the roast. Yeah, yeah, if you want to. Absolutely. <laughs> but first off the bat, first off the bat, to start us off, off to a good start, pretty solid base, Lapland skin. Now, start from lowest level. Ooh. Off to a spicy start. Off to a spicy start. So, I understand Flame Tail. I understand Vigil. And I appreciate Ack. <laughs> this is the correct way to have your Ack. <laughs> but this. Not only is she trust zero, she's level one. What? What's going on here? Did she piss in your cornflakes? Are you an Ablana simp? <laughs> it's just a surprise is all. No worries too much. That that one's a bit of a surprise. I understand not leveling Swire. She's a weird one. <laughs> you just received her? Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. You got her as an off rate? I completely get you. <laughs> this is a crime? No, look. It's it's questionable, but it's understandable. <laughs> How leveled is his tequila? We'll get there. We'll get there. It looks like at least slightly leveled. Can't DM me without adding first? Oh, that's a surprise. Sorry, I'll accept your friend request then. Uh, I have mine open, so you must have yours closed, which makes sense. <laughs> One second, one second, pending, and added. Also, man, every time I see your Arlequino pick, I get excited. I'm looking forward to Arlequino. <laughs> okay, now Ponceros, we joke here about, hey, you should really level Ponceros. This is the cult of Ponceros. But we don't need to talk about that because she's already going to break your kneecaps because you don't have her leveled. But that's a you problem. That's not mine. I'll see special squads. Yeah, I'll check out your, I'll check out your squads. Don't worry. Not at all surprised you haven't trust farmed Reed. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, as much as I like Black Knight, very, very fair to have her unleveled. Or Franca, that's a bit sad, but again, she's kind of bad. <laughs> I understand, I understand. Ooh, I think you are now dead to user. I think user, like... I mean, I, I don't have a problem with this. Uh, you at least haven't trust 200. I don't have a problem, but... <laughs> some people do, some people do. A certain someone. <laughs> But no problem from me, no problem from me. Sad to see Aurora a little low-leveled. Uh, she's very pretty, but I get it. She's very, very niche. All of these units, very niche, makes perfect sense. Lots of five stars unleveled, that also makes perfect sense. You know Yuzu, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not just Yuzu. There are quite a few tequila sims who will uh, attempt to pipe bomb you. <laughs> At least he's trust 200. Yep, <laughs> At least he's trust 200. Angry. <laughs> Heavy rain not leveled. Look... Heli grain, heavy rain, heli grain. <laughs> heavy rain is very, very niche. All of these I understand. I'm not judging too harshly. You run out of resources, I get it. Uh, like, for example, I think Enforcer is really, really hot. I don't like men that way, I just think he's really hot. But I understand why you wouldn't level Enforcer. <laughs> Another unleveled Shamari. <laughs> all caps, don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. As long as you're not constantly spamming all caps. Can't wait to make new enemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone add in suggestions to add, like, um, uh, war tags so there can be two sides or something <laughs> if i can figure out how to do that winfie no levels look i don't have that much money yeah yeah it's fine you run out of lmd i completely understand uh yep these guys are level 30 that's good you get their base skills with very low investment looks like you're leveling mizuki very based he's cute <laughs> now it is a surprise that you have this many e0 level 50s are you doing some kind of challenge? No. Okay. Oh, wait. It's just five. I thought these guys were all easier level 50 as well. So I'm going to assume you're just out of chips. Yeah. <laughs> That's completely understandable. Very good selections. Maya's cute. Mizuki's cute. Waifu, you do you. <laughs> Mule sis. 
Very fair. I take it you're probably not much of a male knights enjoyer. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Because if you were, you would have Executor and or Phantom leveled because they're very, very hot. You have to level robots to get their skills? Yes, but because they only go to easier level 30, it's really, really... Uh, their base skills, not their... They start with their skills. You need to max out the one and two stars for their base skills. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, well, if you are a male knights player, it's a massive surprise you don't have E2 Executor and E2 Phantom. Though, to be fair... He's already really hot. <laughs> Their base skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't know? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Pretty sure. Not positive, but 90% sure. Both of them are super meta in Male Knights, yeah. <laughs> uh, Granny is at least E1. That makes me happy. I love Granny. Sora, E1. Very fair. Fair few levels. Uh, units, E1. You probably used them a little bit, but haven't invested into them too hard. That makes sense. For what it's worth, I would recommend leveling Silence if you need any good healing. But you probably have AR, so you probably don't. That nightmare is very cute. Yeah. This is the OG Boomer check, by the way. I don't have this skin. It hasn't rerun. During the few months I wasn't playing between launch and when I came back, it came out and I haven't played. Like, it hasn't rerun since in the last four years. So this is the OG Boomer check. <laughs> you as well, Aham. Yeah. <laughs> If you have this skin, you are more boomer than me. And it is a very cute skin, and I'm going to get it when it reruns. <laughs> I'm I'm sad to be missing it. There are plenty of skins I've skipped. I would have gotten this one if I'd been around. You started a month after release and didn't play during the skin event. Yeah. I, th that was me with Granny. <laughs> I stopped right before getting Granny, and then came back and really wanted Granny, and she didn't <laughs> come back for ages. Yeah, it was a login event is the real. But the good news is, because it was a login event, it will probably get added to CC Store. You wish you had Nightmare. She's cute. She's very cute. She's just also kind of bad. <laughs> she's very useless, but she's incredibly cute. <laughs> Especially in that skin, but even her defaults. Okay, all of your three stars are maxed. Let's see. Is she here? No. Yo. Okay, no leveled catapult. You love to see it. You love to see it. Spot's E1 level. Okay, you should max out Spot if you use him in IS, but otherwise that's fine. Where's your catapult? Is she completely abandoned? Bottom of the barrel. I didn't notice her, but I could easily have just had a stroke. <laughs> Let's see. Where the hell is your catapult? Do you do you somehow not have her, or am I just blind? I'm probably... Oh, never mind. She is E1. Okay, that's understandable, but she's at least not maxed. So we can pretend she doesn't exist. She is the only Caster Knight's healer. <laughs> yeah, but she's not a very good healer. <laughs> you have this skin long enough. I thought that skin were his default outfit. Yeah, I get like that with some unit skins. Very, very fair. That's such a cute Nightmare skin, though, so I understand. I I really hope it reruns. I want it almost as bad as I want the KFC Exia. <laughs> Orchid skin, Steward skin, incredibly based. Adnachiel skin, incredibly based. Ooh, lots of almost promoted four stars. I'm surprised you have so many maxed out four stars who aren't promoted. But fair enough. Oh, you have a lot of maxed out units who aren't promoted. Do you just do E1 or something? Wait, let me check, let me check. No, no, okay. So just, for whatever reason, you're in the process of... Alright, so the reason these units aren't promoted is you don't use them. Good to know. <laughs> oh, the server reset? Yes, it is 10pm, so server reset. Last day of the event starts now. You're preparing... <laughs> For what it's worth, if you use Spectre, which you clearly don't, she gets a lot of benefit from her E2, but you don't use her, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Elysium, if you use him, worth E2-ing so you can get his masteries. Uh, everyone else makes sense. You're probably working on Jessica now. Yep, working on Jessica now, as expected. Eunectus, very based, very, very based. Eunectus enjoyer. Damn, you have OG Frederico E2'd. But you don't have his altar. That's fair, because his default is also really hot. Executor is just really hot and really funny. I love his lore. If you haven't read his lore, you should. <laughs> He's chaotic neutral. <laughs> uh, Kazamaro enjoyer, very based. Platinum enjoyer, very, very based. If Light were here, he would be over the moon happy with how many people have had E2 cutters. <laughs> Okay, mostly E2 level 35. If you're gonna level J, might as well level that. Jessica, please come home. <laughs> best of luck, Chillabelle, best of luck. <laughs> okay, then you start getting to the good units in level 60. <laughs> Cutter, yep, username. <laughs> Representing light here. J levels, yep. <laughs> He's an angel with a shotgun. If his skills had better uptime, he'd be amazing, but they are so short. Okay, interesting. 
No masteries on your bagpipe. That's a surprise because bagpipe's really good. New monthly yellow certs just got your Jessica Alter. <laughs> Chillabelle is going to cry, but congratulations. <laughs> Massive congratulations. Okay, no masteries at all on Inez either. Let me guess, no masteries on Siege? Yep, to be expected. Okay, you've, you've at least got masteries on Blade. And yeah, massive congrats. <laughs> Jessica is very fun. Okay, so first, <laughs> Blade. Honkai <laughs> <Okay>, Star Rail. <laughs> it's slipping into my subconscious. Blaze. Aham Rika. <laughs> Aham Kyra, sorry. <laughs> I try to just say Aham because I'm not sure how to shorten your name. I would default to Kai. That's the easiest to me to pronounce, but I don't want to use the wrong name for you. <laughs> Chen, okay, you're a Chen S2 enjoyer. You love to see it. Kai is fine. Okay, sweet. That's way easier for me to pronounce. HSR brain rot me with Gallagher. Me with Acheron, man. Did you see her trailer with Black Swan? <laughs> you misspelled QWQ. Oh, I assumed I had mispronounced it. No, you misspelled it. Okay, that's that's better. <laughs> Chong Yue S3 is the correct. Or Shongwe, I believe his name is. <laughs> Uh, no masteries, that's fine. Gaviel S1, that's actually fair. I've tried out all of Gaviel's skill, skills. All of them are really good. And I love her, <laughs> I love her skin art. It's very cute and very personality filled. Ooh, hella chat enjoyer. Never mind, you are kind of a male knight's enjoyer. It's just, <laughs> you make an exception for two of the hottest male knight's characters for some reason. <laughs> Not the two hottest, because Mlynar exists, but two of the hottest. The other two of the top three. <laughs> personality filled. <laughs> Look, it is filled with personality. You can tell a lot about her by how she's dressed. <laughs> Mountain. Okay, fair enough. You're a furry. That's that's fine, that's fine. Malinar is not hot. Fight you. <laughs> Generally speaking, there are three or four types of hot for male characters. And the ones that you don't like like personally won't make sense to you. So it's very understandable. Most people like three of the four. <laughs> Lynar will be in that fourth for you. That's fine, that's fine. You don't like Uncle abandoning family and letting them suffer? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you hate him even though he's OP. <laughs> Hating him for law reasons is fine, though to be fair, he didn't really abandon his family. He did help them out, but fair enough. What are those types? Uh, Twink, Older Brother, Giga Chad, and I'm currently forgetting the fourth. Oh yeah, yeah, Shifty. That's right. <laughs> so those are the general archetypes. For example... Thorns is kind of a shifty, uh, because what I mean by that, that's the wrong word for it, but he's like kind of a lithe body build, and he looks generally dangerous, but also slightly unassuming, if that makes sense. He's also kind of just a pretty boy. <laughs> there are definitely more than four types, so I just need to give more of them thought. <laughs> sketchy, sketchy is also kind of the wrong word, because I'm... Those were bad words to sum them up, except for Giga Chad. Everyone knows what I mean when I say Giga Chad. <laughs> but yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, Thorns looks competent, but also, like, he would stab you in the back. <laughs> or the front. <laughs> Which type is Mizuki? Mizuki is Twink. <laughs> and I mean that affectionately. <laughs> he is absolutely pretty boy all the way. <laughs> okay, now let's see. What are the masteries? Sorry, I didn't check your Serta. Do, do you have Serta as M3? Yes, good. Serta and Thorns M3. Skadi, at least you have a leveled. <laughs> Sly, maybe Sly is a better word. Uh, it's my favorite male archetype, by the way. <laughs> Phantom also fits into it, even though he's more of a hot. <laughs> what type of a boy is Mouse? Mouse is a girl. No Hoshiguma Masteries is sad, but at least you have a leveled Mudrock based. Base, good. I use both her S2 and her S3, but very good. No Penance Masteries. If you use Penance, which it looks like you do, you should get her Masteries. Because she recovers defensively. Uh, so decreasing the amount of times she needs to be hit is incredibly, incredibly impactful. It's April Fool's, so Moose is male now. <laughs> Not how it works. Oh, Saria S2 enjoy. Fair enough. I personally value her other two skills more, but all of Saria's skills are amazing. She's an M9 contender. Yep, Ash. <laughs> Everyone uses her S2. Why Why did none of you use Exia S3? What is this? I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> Penance fucked up Patriot for me, I love it. Penance is ridiculously tanky. <laughs> for what it's worth, 
You should use Exia's M S3 and you should master it. <laughs> but I'm not going to throw shade because everyone else has also been in this situation. <laughs> Apparently I'm the only person who likes Exia. <laughs> Exia S1 is her best skill only in IS and only with certain relics. <laughs> her S3 is the highest single target damage in the game. <laughs> am I sneezing? Yes, when I mute I am sneezing. Sorry, or blowing my nose. Just wait till your account. Yeah... <laughs> <laughs> You're a content creator, so I'm expecting the same kind of curse I do on my account. You like apple pie, just not enough resources? Okay, fair enough. Just for what it's worth. This is really high value, especially because you've already leveled her module. <laughs> her module gives less of a buff than M1 on S3. <laughs> so please. <laughs> but hey, you do you. 45 pulls, no just. Oh, Sorry, Jess. Sorry, Chillabell. Are you sure? I thought it was guaranteed at 150 and you're at like 130. Hopefully, hopefully you can clutch it out. Hopefully. But maybe. That's disappointing. Uh, you use both of Fiametta's good skills. That's good. All of her good skills are good, but those are very based. Not M3 Fia. Yeah, but this is, you can tell, they like he likes Fiametta and just doesn't have the resources. That's very understandable. <laughs> Likewise, Schwartz. Yep, yeah, that's fine. You've got the important uh, cross point of M1 and you just clearly don't quite have enough resources to finish off. Very based skin. Love it. <laughs> Typhon. Yep, starting with S3. Good choice, good choice. S2 is also good, but it doesn't get much from Masteries. So, very, very important to... You get much more from M3 Masteries than M2. Uh, than S2. <laughs> S3 than S2. Carnelian S1. That... What an enigma. Very strange. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> I guess you use her as a ranged tank. Uh, to be fair, her S3, while very good, has a 10-year long charge time, so... The good skill again. <laughs> I can see the argument for Exia S1, even if I don't personally agree. This is the most confused I've been so far. <laughs> uh, but hey, I don't use Carnelian enough to say for sure. KB, okay, good. Your KB is correct. AAR, yeah, that's fine. If you already have a level KB, she's not super high priority. Damn, Golden Glow S2 Enjoyer, but hey, mainly S3. Massive respect, that's the good skill. You forgot to put skill default on some operate. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Carnelian S2 Bind Knights. <laughs> Echoes S1 for Wrath of Syracusans. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's better in IS, but in general content, S3 is way better. Two blue bags back to back. Oh, that sucks. They don't want to give you Jessica. I mean, you're so close. You're so close. <laughs> I've got faith. You can clutch together, like, the five remaining pulls you need. Also, for what it's worth, Dorothy's skin comes with an event, right? So you will get enough OP in that event to get Dorothy's skin. Because it's only 21. So guaranteed you can lock in Dorothy's skin either way. Uh, but, hey, it's it's not ideal. Okay, Holgiak, enjoy her. Based. <laughs> She's really bad, but based. <laughs> I also need to level her soon. Let's see, what are your efforts like? S2, yep, very standard, very standard. Dorothy skin is 21, I believe so, because it's L2D, right? Or is it just 18? I thought it was L2D, I could be wrong. Why would you want Dorothy skin, even if you can get it? Yeah, why would you want one of the most beautiful skins in the game? <laughs> I wonder. Lynn, very, very fair to have her leveled, but not her masteries. She's good even without them. <laughs> Aya can't CC ho oh, is based, yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only person who calls her ho oh. That's really reassuring. <laughs> I'm about to throw hands. Yeah, I've, I've started a civil war. Yo, Mastima Enjoyer M6. I love it, I love it. I also have the exact same setup. Mine's just higher level, level 70. Green suits at least give five pulls. Yes, they do. <laughs> Whoa, max Mastima. Not maxed, only level 60, but yes, very based. Who you have a max pot? A. My steam is very hot. I love her dress. <laughs> Tequila kind of ugly. Damn. Oi, oi. No civil war. Don't start a civil war. Start that in the Discord. <laughs> if Hole is ho -Oh, then Mephisto is Lugia. <laughs> yeah. We finally have both of the birds. Ooh, you are a piss ginger enjoyer. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I will say... Even the passenger fans are going to be annoyed at you for this, because you don't have his module. <laughs> if you're going to use passenger, he's a really fantastic unit, once you get his module. 
Until then, he's kind of bad. But hey, look, Passenger is pretty good. He's pretty good. S2 is very strange. You're glad you never pulled Piss Ginger. <laughs> very fair. Look, I only comedically hate Passenger. Uh, a lot of people do hate him unironically, though. But he is a good unit. Just for what it's worth, you should absolutely get one of his um, modules. They're both massive buffs that are massive quality of life improvements. They took him from one of the worst six stars in the game to one of the best caster in the game. Just default best caster, except maybe Golden Glow. No skin is fine. Maybe you just didn't have OP at the time. <laughs> Aya S1 gang, let's go. But you also are leveling S3. Very fair. You regret buying Pissinger for gold certs. You've never used him and don't want to. <laughs> My entire community is gradually being recruited to the Ponceros cult and the hating Piss Ginger cult. Respect. <laughs> Passenger spooked him and I ignored him till module arrived. Yep. Passenger module is insane. Okay, good, good. This is one of the highest impact masteries in the game because Kalzi is cracked. <laughs> Lumen. Ooh. No masteries, but you have an E2. Very, very good. Nightingale. Nightingale S2. When are you ever going to... I mean, fair enough, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Definitely another Enigma, because, uh, like, S2 is definitely the better way than S1, obviously. I've seen plenty of people use Nightingale S2, I just personally don't understand, because every time I use Nightingale, I want her S3. <laughs> How to get Ponceress? Is she Welfare or Gacha? She's, uh, she's Gacha, unfortunately. It's only a joking cult, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, S2 for AFK. It does make sense, it's just I've never personally used her S2. I assume you're Nightingale, yep. That's not a surprise. Nighting, uh, Shining also S2, rather. Aya Alter's hair is nicer than defaults. Fight me. I agree. <laughs> Damn, you don't have it. Don't worry, don't worry. Nightingale S2 is ge generally easy to use. Yeah, it's another one of the cases of... It's my opinion, but I know I'm in the minority with that opinion. Angelina S1 Enjoyer. Good, good. You fucking love how low <laughs> SP cost auto activation skills. <laughs> They're so good. Why do you think La Pluma is one of my favorite units in the game? <laughs> Her S1, man. It's so cracked. It's even better than Enforcer, um, Executor Alter in a lot of ways. Gnosis, no skin. Fair enough. Maybe you're not a skin guy. But his skin is so hot. <laughs> Ayo, wait. Ponceris S2 is right up your alley? Yeah. Uh, Ponceris is a really tanky vanguard. For what it's worth, she is kind of, kind of good. <laughs> and if you want Ponceris jokes, if you look up Ponceris on YouTube, you'll probably just find my YouTube channel. <laughs> because I've made three joke cult videos about her. <laughs> I'm still going. Yes, people keep jumping in. <laughs> Which I'm fine with. Uh, I'll probably end after a harm, though. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yeah, his default is funny, and it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, it's very fun. Magdalene S1. Correct, correct. The other skills are DPS, but this is funny for memes. I enjoy that. Scardi, surely... It would be worth doing masteries on Scardi as a high priority, if you use her. Which presumably you do, because she's one of the best units in the game. But for what it's worth, very, very high benefit from doing her masteries. So I would recommend. Uh, but you've at least got some. <laughs> Suzeran. S3, good. Nothing out of the ordinary. Dorothy. Why does everyone use Dorothy S3? S2 is where it's at. SMH. Hamas was done dirty by keeping him 3 SP on his S1. <laughs> no, that's standard. La Pluma is the exception. <laughs> Okay, now, probably nothing special about your Gladia. Yep, S1 makes sense. Makes sense. <sighs> does make sense, does make sense. Bit of wasted resources here, because you're only ever going to use her S3, but it makes sense. Six stars masteries are so expensive. Yeah, they're crazy expensive. Oh, I love to see Cantabile, even not mastered. Texas, um, fair enough you run an S1. I personally always run S2, but fair enough. High level Zima, very good. Dagda, at least you have her leveled. As a resident Dagda simp, I'm at least happy with that. Now this is a surprise. If you use La Pluma and she's very strong, you should finish her S1 masteries because it takes it from 3 cost to 2 cost. <laughs> it's a very, very major buff <laughs> if you use her. Uh, ditto Lapland. Nap, nah, sweet, you've already maxed her out. Wonderful. Cement A, at least she's leveled. Fire Whistle, at least she's leveled. <laughs> Lots of niche units who, even if they don't have masteries... At least they're leveled. <laughs> now, any Project Red Masteries? No, you hate to see it, you hate to see it. But hey, I understand. It's expensive. And then Myrtle. Utage. Myrtle. Yep, good Masteries. Utage, nothing. Makes sense. <laughs> the surprising thing is how level, how high level you get your units without really leveling their skills. But nothing too bad here. 
Honestly, there are a couple units where, yeah, you should probably give a few masteries that are relatively high priority. But you've got very, very solid units and very, very solid leveling priorities. The only bit that's, bit that's confusing is how many units you get right before promotion <laughs> without really using them. <laughs> because generally speaking, it's uh, not... Because of how Arknight's levels work, it's better to leave units at about level 50 until you're ready to promote them. Or until you're actively promoting them. Uh, because it's cheaper to get an E2 level 1 unit to E2 level 50 than it is to get an E2, E1 level 50 unit to E1 level 70. You still don't get not liking Tex Alter S2. It's just a case of if you're using Tex Alter's S2, you're looking for single target arts damage, so why aren't you using e Kirito? <laughs> Texas S1 is busted for AFK Annihilations. That doesn't surprise me. I've also done a little bit of, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, Vanguard Texas. Like, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I can, I do get it. I personally always go S2, but that's just personal preference, how I play the game. No AoE except on deploy, yeah. <laughs> Kirito does fizz damage. Kirito does yes. <laughs> Kirito does both. <laughs> because they're talent. Let me see if I'm... Um, let me just go literally anything. Let me see if I can find someone's Kirito, just so I can <laughs> show off their talent. Because I don't think you have a... Yeah, so her E2... <laughs> extra 20% of attack is arts damage. Doesn't sound like much, but it's pretty ridiculously good. <laughs> Texas Alter S2 is insane for arts shred. Yeah, I, un I understand it's good. It just doesn't make sense to me, and every time I use it, it feels really underwhelming. <laughs> Check squads, yes. Okay, wives? Very based choices. Very, very based choices. I like all of these units a lot. <laughs> Kirito S2 is better than Texas S2. In most circumstances, yes, unless the enemy has high defense. Uh, in which case, they probably also have high res, but Texas is fine because res shred. <laughs> she hits like 18 times, yeah. <laughs> okay, so very, very based here. Wives. Understandable. You left an hour ago after my phone died, the madman is still going. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, this was a meme during my first streams during the drip ranking of I'll never need to do a subathon. Because my average stream time will be 17 days straight. <laughs> uh, 2e2. Ooh, very based choices. Okay. I understand now. Your Phantom isn't e2 yet, but he's getting there. Same as Executor. So you are a male knight's enjoyer. Very, very good. Oh, e2 squads? Yeah, yeah, Way ahead of you. <laughs> Cold Shot is a bit of a surprise, but she does give off mummy energy. So, hey. If you're one of the horny type, which, look, we're all gacha players. <laughs> a lot of us are. <laughs> And Swire, very fair. Gao is very cute. Ambriel's a surprise, because I personally don't like Ambriel, but I get a lot of people do. Hence the reason you have them, yeah. <laughs> now, let's check. Team A, very solid. If you're running Abyssal Hunters together, literally even just two of them, you should get Gladys module. <laughs> it might not sound like much, because the first one, this is nothing, right? But the level two... Uh, so you know how <laughs> Gladia's talent is that they take reduced damage from Seaborns? Once you get to level 2 of her module, it's just flat reduced damage. So it's just 30% permanent damage reduction on all Abyssal Hunters. <laughs> we have barely any viewers, so a subathon would probably be sure. <laughs> hey, look, I know I'm not exactly, like, popping off gigantic streamer. But I, I, I'm very happy with my viewership. I'm just a clown on the internet. <laughs> Arknights is a small game, and I'm very flattered that people watch me. <laughs> I do this for the love of the craft. I would feel terrible about taking people's money. <laughs> if you have a Twitch Prime, that's fine, because then we're just robbing Amazon. But <laughs> donations always feel weird. <laughs> very flattering, though. That's why Crusher Ulpianus would be so good. Yeah, yeah. Long-standing meme. Even if Ulpianus is a Crusher, he'll be insanely cracked. <laughs> by sheer virtue of the Abyssal Hunter buffs. But yeah, if you are running them together, like even just two of them, absolutely get Gladia module to level two. You were here for the handhold, but it's actually been a good time. Hey, glad you've been enjoying yourself. I'm always happy to help people out, offline or online. <laughs> My DMs are always open for anyone. And yeah, I got distracted waffling, but hey, it is what it is. Hoshiguma enjoyer though, very, very based. Looks like a bit of a defensive player, judging from the amount of block you have. Makes sense. And then team B is just four waifus. <laughs> Based. That's the Arknights content creator curse. Not the best category to grow big, but yeah. The communities are very small and comfy. <laughs> and at the end of the day, like, yeah, it's a really niche game, but 
we're passionate about it, so it lets you connect with a lot of people with very similar interests. <laughs> Plus, hey, the main point of streaming is to have fun. It's always very awkward, and you can always immediately tell when a streamer is streaming for the sake of trying to become famous and get money. <laughs> like, yeah, of course, all of us have that slightly in the back of our mind if that would be nice, but when someone's active goal is to collect money, it <laughs> it's very, very obvious. <laughs> and it usually ruins the vibes. It's a special type who can pull it off, like Jay Schlatt, for example. He will literally tell you he's doing an ad read, and he'll make it funny, so you enjoy it. It's... those are the goats. Those are the greatest of all time. People who can pull that off. Not all of us can. <laughs> And I wouldn't really want to. <laughs> Gladius talent also heals percent, so it's insane. Yeah, especially with units like Scotty who have massive HP buffs. <laughs> Arknight's community is small, but we're insane. Yeah, people did not know mid rifts could be a fetish <laughs> until Arknights. <laughs> Thanks for reviewing your account. No worries, Sultan. Thanks for swinging by. It was really fun to look at. Also, dot de. <laughs> you had to use. You had to use AOL because, let me guess, Germany does not have any other internet applications that can run email. <laughs> no shade, no shade, just man. I I was trying to get in touch with a German... <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, sweet. Okay, you should receive a verification code, let me know what it is. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was trying to contact a German publisher so I could hopefully do a cover of a German song. And they... <laughs> the only contact information they had was their physical address and a fax number. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that information? <laughs> Germany moment. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I always knew of the memes. I didn't realize that they just weren't memes. <laughs> 150, no, Jessica. Doesn't that mean your next pull is guaranteed? From memory, it's um 150 guarantees Jessica. Let me check, let me check. But yeah, so those aren't those aren't memes about Ge <laughs> Germany, by the way. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. So Chillabel, if you have 150 points, uh, if it says focus selection points 150, your next pull is guaranteed to be Jessica, 100% guaranteed. Oh, oh, is it just? Oh, never mind, never mind. Next six star is guaranteed to be Jessica. Sorry about that. I thought it was like um Ash. My mistake. 151 Jessica is st nothing. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mislead you there. They're correct. I was I thought it was like it was with Ash during the first Rainbow Six Siege collab, where you were guaranteed Ash at 150 pulls. Uh, that is not the case. You had to go 185 for your Typhon. Damn, that's rough. <laughs> I had to go similar. <laughs> Theoretically, it can go up to 210. Ah, that sucks. Hopefully, you get her. But look, at the end of the day, uh, Jessica will come back. I don't. Is she limited? I think so, right? Wait, let me check, let me check. I know she's an alter. Isn't she not limited, actually? Not limited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So don't worry too much, Chillabell. She will come back. She will come back. <laughs> It'll suck to not have her in the future, but for what it's worth, like, um, I'm leveling mine anyway. If you want, you can add me as a friend, and you can use mine anytime. I'll leave it up for you if you want. And yeah, she will be part of the standard banner. You will get her eventually. They told you Mlynar will come back. He will. He'll be coming back relatively soon. It takes a while because they don't like to rerun characters super quick, but he will come back. Okay, Golden Glow right off the bat. Nami and Joya, let's go. <laughs> Golden Glow is very, very cute. <laughs> now a load of LMD, yep. <laughs> that just means you're saving up to level one specific character. Two hundred for Chong Yui and got Dorothy twice. <laughs> that sucks. Any interest in Hodora? Some. I like him, but I mainly like Inez and W in a joint banner. Yeah, uh, he will also come back in normal banners. So if you save up enough yellow certs, you can guarantee him as well. Uh, because he will eventually be in the yellow cert shop, just for what it's worth. <laughs> it's a 50-50 if it's, if it's him or the other operator. But they are in standard pool. You will... It, it sucks. It, Hoshiguma was the last six star I got before I had every character. And she was one of my favorites. I have the Hoshiguma figurine. It's the only anime figurine I own. <laughs> So I, I feel your pain, but you, you will get him, uh, um, you will get Jessica eventually. And for what it's worth, your pity will carry over to the next banner. So, <laughs> sorry about that though. Wasn't there a jo joint operation with him? Yes, he does show up in quite a few. Okay, now let's start. <laughs> Hodora is just simp for Innes. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> you simped for him since Dark Knights, that's fair. Me but uh, Innes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anything, first off, anything spicy. 
351. <laughs> You're certainly a character. <laughs> Classic streamer moment. <laughs> The good news is you have your dormitories maxed out. The bad news is you have one of them partially empty for no reason. Uh, let's check. Yep, you've got the Rainbow Six Squad. I'm surprised you have Kalzi, but I guess when you, when you only have one trading post, fair enough. Farm XP and base, get LMD and CE6. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of Chad. I have a 243 and I have to do that anyway because I get XP faster. Let's see, let's see. Why do you not have anyone working? <laughs> What's the point... <laughs> Why would you even need power plants? Yeah, at this stage, you didn't even need to level your factories. How much do you generate each day? <laughs> okay, so this isn't a one-off thing uh, for the, for making me pause. This is just how you live your life. So you can log in once a day, swap <laughs> them out, clear sanity, and go to sleep. You know what? You can do that once a day, even with it maxed out, and you'll still generate more. <laughs> But fair enough, fair enough. If it's for the sake of, um, IRL convenience, it's a video game. IRL convenience always comes first. <laughs> it is just a little bit cursed to see, but hey, you do you, you do you. <laughs> okay, so that that's a thing. <laughs> I understand now why you have Kalzi. Instead of, oh, wrong one. Instead of, uh, Amia. That makes sense. <laughs> Your base is the most casual brain rot setup in existence. Not gonna argue with that one. <laughs> Now, if you only log into it once a day, you should disable this. <laughs> okay, now let's see, let's see. Let's see how many tickets you have. Ooh, okay, so you don't save? I would recommend saving a couple in case you get a chain of good ones right before a... Oh, you have it disabled and it just broke? Fair enough. But yeah, no, fair enough. You keep on top of your recruits. Very, very fair, very base. Let's check out... No, let's start with your squads. Let's start with your squads. You love strong women. <laughs> Good to know. I understand why you have an Arlequino profile picture. <laughs> very based squad, very based units. Suey siblings, good to see. <laughs> I feel like someone's missing here, but they're not. You have all of them. <laughs> Strong women, yep. <laughs> Level 69. Look, plenty of people do that. Abyssal hunter squad. <laughs> very, very based. Um, are you missing someone? No. Never mind, I'm just having a stroke again. And then I take it these are the units you're mostly leveling or trust farming. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, wrong button. Now let's start up, let's start up from the bottom, start up from the bottom. You got, yeah, you just got your Jessica. I remember you told me that, so obviously she's not leveled yet. Trust farm, A, you called it. Not leveled Mizuki, but a Golden Glow Simp. That is a surprise. I understand though, because he is kind of niche, he's just very cute. Uh, likewise, Weedy. I understand why people don't level her, even if she's a really strong specialist. <laughs> she's also really weird. <laughs> uh, insert joke here, but I don't need to joke because your kneecaps... Uh, as soon as you get the facts, your kneecaps will be broken by Ponceros. She's already sent it your way. So nothing I need to do, she will rectify that herself. <laughs> Tequila levels where? <laughs> hey, look, at least he's not... Um, It looks like, Kai, you generally go for gameplay. Rather than wink wink gameplay, by the fact that your tequila and side rock are not raised. So understandable. Sad to see Aurora not raised, but I get it, she's not very good. <laughs> as much as I love Aurora a lot, she's a uh, one block who doesn't even block most of the time. <laughs> no flint levels. Yeah, but all of the brawlers are kind of bad, unfortunately, as much as I love them. <laughs> Trust Zero is a bit cursed. <laughs> yeah, but if you're not using tequila anyway, just trying to make as many enemies as possible. <laughs> I mean, hey, it looks like you've at least leveled your Project Red, so you're not my enemy. <laughs> and even then, I understand when people do. Oh, we haven't gotten up to that yet. Never mind, let's see. No mayor, that's sad, but understandable. Okay, yep, you've leveled your Project Red. <laughs> Wonderful. You wish you had hung potentials. <laughs> Why must you say that? Okay, actually, yeah, that's the true test of whether or not I vibe with you. I vibe like crazy with you, man. <laughs> He's just like me for real, for real. Based. <laughs> Based streamer. Six trust, unused hung, skill level one. Dogass operator, yes sir, yes sir. I wonder if your piss ginger is also this level. We'll find out once we get to six stars. <laughs> Wait, six stars are first, aren't they? Okay, no, no. You don't have him, that's right. You don't have the pisser. <laughs> Let's go. It's sad you haven't leveled weedy, but at least you also haven't leveled hung. It balances out. 
Now, let's see. All of, Yep, all of your one and two stars leveled up. J, E, zero, level one. You can definitely level J because he doesn't negatively impact your base, but you're also veteran enough that you don't really need him anymore. Very, very fair. Okay, so generally it looks like you don't partially level people. You've fixed it. Lazy. <laughs> Never mind, you do partially level people. This is a strange collection of people to partially level. Lazy, I'm a lazy enjoyer because I joke about her being passenger. Whenever people say, why don't I have passenger leveled, I point to my lazy, who I've never used. <laughs> Palace, based, rope, fair enough. On your to-do list, yeah, yeah. I figured this was a to-do list more than anything. I do the same, or at least I did. Now I have a squad for it because I've got most people done. So it's easier to make a squad. Ooh, you do unfortunately have your catapult leveled. <laughs> you hate to see that one. But you also have the rest of the three stars, so you probably just did it because they're cheap to max out. <laughs> Which is very, very fair. Ooh, surprising that you've got multiple E1 level 50s. Uh, level 70s, rather. I do have the same, though, so I won't talk too much. I only jokingly hate uh, <laughs> Catapult. Don't worry. How is she useful? Her recruit line is your nemesis. Yeah, that's why everyone hates her. <laughs> Nightmare cute. You don't have a skin either. Yep, suffering just like me. <laughs> Cliffheart based, Liskarm Meteorite Whistlash based as hell. Love to see it. This is we're starting to get spicy here, and obviously you're a level 69 player. Very understandable. Mule Sis, Flame Tail, all really good options. Let's see. Masteries. Fair enough that you vibe with her S3. I'm personally S2 gang and S1 gang, but fair enough, fair enough. We live in a skinless society. Oh yeah, actually you don't really have many skins, do you? Oh wait, no no, you do have a fair few, never mind. <laughs> Had a stroke there for a second. It's long, but at least she says what we're all thinking. I like Doberman a little bit. <laughs> Flametail S1, fair enough. Uh, Mulesis S3, correct. Salage S1, correct. Gaviel, any of her skills are good. Every level 69 has at least one M3. Okay, okay. Then let's see anyone who could be spicy. Kibai S3, yep. Silver Ash, yep, makes sense, makes sense. Looks like all of these, you've leveled their best skill, which is good. <laughs> yep, Arketo. Fiametta. A lot of people swear by S2 as well, and her S2 is fun, but S3 is the way to go. <laughs> Carnelian, KB, A. So far, very, very based account outside of leveling your catapult. That's the worst thing you've done on this account, but everything else is fantastic. Okay, let's look, let's look. First person in the world to master Holhiak. <laughs> AAR, yep, all very standard. Ooh, Lumen Enjoyer. He's very, very good. I still need to level him. <laughs> yeah, this does make sense, even if I personally am an S3 enjoyer. <laughs> now, question is... Okay, okay, good, good, good. You leveled the correct reed skin. Fantastic. Shining? Fair enough, fair enough. Her S3 is kind of broken, but you also like her S2 generally. Fair enough on Angelina as well. <laughs> no Gnosis skin, Sag. He's so handsome in his skin, though. <laughs> Lumen is broken? Yeah, like, literally broken. <laughs> Phantom. Okay, Phantom S2. Good, good, good. Gladiator, presumably S3. Yep, and S1. Damn, so many Dorothy S3 enjoyers. Fair enough. Just, I'm the only person who's Dorothy S2 gang, evidently. <laughs> you, yeah, I take it you like the whip gang user. Fair enough. Bomber skill. I, I do get the appeal. It's just, um, I am solely S2 gang. I very rarely use S3. Now, which Spectre skill? You are an S2 enjoyer, which, but it's Spectre, so it's good anyway. And you also have S3. Very respectable. Very, very respectable. Uh, you have Gladium module, obviously. Which Swire skill do you use? S2, fair enough. That is her best one. That is her best. I personally prefer the other two, but that's just because I'm brain dead. <laughs> Cantabile, good. Elysium, good. Texas, good. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. Does it start getting spicy? Which skill did you go for? Oh, good, good, good. Red S1 Enjoyer. The pot 7 Swire accident. It could be worse. I have a pot 15 Ack. All but one of them were off rate. When you get an off rate, it's usually fine. When you get an off rate Ack, it feels like a punch in the gut. Kazumaru S1 Enjoyer. I love to see it. I also love her S1. 
Kazimaru is slept on since Spectre came out, which I do understand. <laughs> could be worse, you could get Dorothy off rate. No, no, Dorothy's good. <laughs> I don't mind getting a Dorothy off rate. <laughs> With Ak, the game is taunting you. It's like when you get a random hung out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, now you said all of these had at least one M3. Very fair, very fair. Isn't gravel... No, no, okay, sweet. I got those skills confused. Yeah. The only reason you feel sad is just because they happened twice in the banner. Okay, so you do have some post-level 69s. Nice. A Dagda Enjoyer, let's go! You did level the wrong skill, but you've at least recognized your error. <laughs> and hey, look, end of the day... We Dagda fans need every additional soldier we can get. La Pluma S1 enjoy it? Yes, based, based, based. Lapland S2, naturally. Morgan leveled. That's very fair. Morgan's fun. I just haven't really used it yet. Who else do we have? Noircorn A. You have you invest in a lot of really fun operators instead of necessarily just meta. I respect that. I do the same. You also obviously have all of the metal operators leveled. <laughs> but that's to make the gameplay easier, so I understand. Glasgow girls make you feel things. <laughs> Very understandable, and it makes sense given your tagline of I like strong women. <laughs> Karara nice based, yep. Shikatsu would be very, very happy if he were here. <laughs> uh, let's see, Blaze, S2, yep. Chen, M9, that's right, you are telling me about that. I remember that. Chongyu, S3, makes perfect sense. Irene, S3, makes perfect sense. Very, very sensible. <laughs> Just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> the best things. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what does Big Bro have masteries for? What do you mean? You mean Chong Yui? He has masteries because he's cracked. M6 Serta Spotter. Yeah, but he leveled the wrong skill. You're supposed to level S1 first. But all three of our skills are amazing. So base. <laughs> Horn. S1. Good, good, good. I also like S3, but S1's good. Standard. That's right. Yeah, you play counter gang, don't you? <laughs> Interesting, but understandable. Okay. Now, do you have any other spicy ones? Looks like no. Fair enough. You don't use Saria as a debuffer. You use her as a healer. Understandable. Ash S1. Base. I also have this. <laughs> Can't leak if every enemy gets blocked by Nian. Yep. Very, very fair. <laughs> Nothing to... Yo, finally. Thank God. <laughs> finally, another Exia S3 user. <laughs> I felt like I was going crazy. Why isn't Chong Yui M9? Because why do you use his other skills? <laughs> uh, ooh, interesting there. I personally only use Rosmontis S3, but her other skills are also good. Towards S3, good. Typhon M6, yep. Fair enough to default to her S2. I personally default to her S3, but both are really good. Uh, both W skills leveled. She only has two. <laughs> both Dusk skills leveled. But you did this weird thing. You set the wrong default skin uh, skill. I don't understand. How did you accidentally do that? <laughs> but no, based, based, you clearly enjoy both. <laughs> Golden Glow should be... <sighs> yeah, the S3 module uptime is cracked on Dusk. It's so good. Now, this is... This is the wrong skill. This is the correct skill to have it set on. But you know what? I've grown as a person. You do you. <laughs> you play the game your own way. <laughs> she gets M9 the second you get P6. Based. <laughs> now, Mistima Enjoyer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shame you don't have S2 as well, but S3 is almost always better. So, fair. Kowsi. Yep. Very, very fair. Ling. Very, very fair. Scotty. Yep. You don't use her as an attack buffer, just a general buffer. S3 is very niche. <laughs> now, who do we have? Who do we have? Kirito... <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. How have you been using the wrong skill so long? Hello, Albia. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> You're joining right as I'm jokingly insulting someone. Don't worry about it. So yeah, uh, it's. This, I think you accidentally miskit, misclicked Kai, like, repeatedly. I also get these really confused because the splash out looks really similar, but you leveled the wrong skill? Uh, like, sorry to tell you. <laughs> The only things... Oh, yeah. Okay, if it's because you play MHW and you like the spinny, that's very fair. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, that's very, very fair. I'm not even going to joke about that. A lot of people just prefer that skill as a whole as well. Both are very, very good. I just am S2 gang all the way. And then last off, Texas. At least you have her S3 M3. You finished the anime yesterday? Yo! Presumably you liked it then, because you marathoned that. <laughs> but yeah, the Arknights anime is pretty fun. Hopefully you really enjoyed it. And yeah, look, at least you default to the correct skill. And you're actively working on Dagda, let's go. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. Now, what's your tagline? What's your tagline? Pain. <laughs> Based. No Texas S1 M3? Nah, I'm working on that, but it is a goofy thing. Yato and Joya, they like to spin, yeah. <laughs> Still, very solid account. It's just uh, my specific user base really like units you haven't leveled. Uh, so you may be getting firebombed. I take no responsibility. Hello, Crindenium. Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Metal roasting? Oh, yes, true, true. You are a fellow content creator. And you said you started basically at launch. Oh, that's the wrong button. So, let's judge. Okay, no, no, that's good. You have all of them from at least CC6. That's good, that's good. You don't have the SSS medals. That's fair enough, fair enough. Uh, those ones make perfect sense. Chronicle medals, yeah, whatever. Traveler from afar. Okay, just CC. Okay, no, 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 that, that's very, very solid. That's very solid. Generally pretty good. Metal roasting, just a few. Yeah, no, your medals are better than mine. <laughs> the real question, not Annihilation. Where's the, um... Where's the contingency contract? That's a vent. Let's see, let's see. How many contingency contracts? <laughs> Okay, no. Your medals are good enough that I would say they're better than mine, so I won't open that can of worms. <laughs> Still, very solid account. It's just funny that you specifically haven't leveled all of the units that people simp for in this chat. <laughs> Alrighty. It is almost 11pm, and I start a new job tomorrow, so I need to go to sleep. Thank you all so much for coming. Let me find someone to raid. Let me find someone to raid. And I will give you your account back. Zero out of ten account? No. That's a very, very good account. That's not a zero out of ten. You can fix not having leveling. <laughs> Fun roast A. I tried not to go too harsh. I tried to find a good balance. So hopefully it was a good balance for you. Almost eleven, almost five here. <laughs> Thanks for the stream and handhold. No worries. Tyfe. That's right, Tyfe. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed. Thanks for swinging by and staying. Hope everyone had fun. And sorry, Altivia and Crindenium who've just joined. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the very brief time you were here while I was streaming. Good luck at the new job. Thank you so much. I wish I had another week off, not gonna lie. <laughs> have a good sleep. Thank you so much. Hope you have a fantastic sleep as well, Crindenium. Alrighty, let's find someone to raid on Twitch because I've learned how to do that. <laughs> Big moment for me. I can now raid someone. <laughs> Good night and Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Let's see who's streaming. Let's see who's streaming. Arknights Twitch. <laughs> First time you could catch because of time zones. Yeah. Uh, people have raised that to me. I'm aware that's now a problem because I've unposted my next week's stream and there are two streams on Friday at 3am and midnight for them. <laughs> Those are different days for me. <laughs> Hello, Aldivia, again on Twitch. <laughs> okay, let's see who's live. Uh, but yes, I am going to start streaming at different times on the weekend so that people in different time zones can hopefully watch. Merry Christmas to you as well, and glad you swung by. It's great you could make it. Woke up in just in time for it to end. Yes, sorry. It's 11 p.m. for me, and I start a new job tomorrow, and I want to go to the boxing gym in the morning, which means I need to wake up really early. <laughs> okay, are there any EN streamers? Let's see, let's see. Looks like only Japanese people. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's two. Okay, let's see. Uh, one is playing on on CN though, so I'll, I'll play, I'll send it to the one playing through IS4. Let's go say hi. Let me make sure I get their name right. There is one solitary other EN streamer right now. So let's go say hi. <laughs> Just got back from six hours on the road. <laughs> oh, so you left your house when I started streaming and now you're back? <laughs> Boxing is cool. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. And sorry, YouTube, you can't take part in the raid unless you quickly hop on over to Twitch. 
already. Everyone, let's go say hi. Let's give them some love. They're streaming to no one. Uh, so let's make sure they feel loved and welcomed. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll see you again in the future. And if not, I hope you have a fantastic life. Catch you around. Catch you around. Bye-bye, Twitch, for now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, now it's just YouTube. Now it's just YouTube. Fuck all of those Twitch frogs, am I right? <laughs> Got them. <laughs> no, sorry for you two who have just joined now. Hopefully you enjoyed the very, very brief part of the stream. And hey, at the very least, you have a six-hour VOD you can watch if you want to. <laughs> Sorry about that, Elvia. Look, it's a joke. I'm very appreciative of my Twitch frogs and my YouTube frogs. <laughs> so, no. Thank you for being part of both. I only joke about that. If anything, my Twitch frogs kind of get preferential treatment because there's only, like, two of them. So I guaranteed see 100% of their messages. Versus YouTube where I sometimes miss people. <laughs> so, thank you all so much. I've really got to go sleep now. So, I will dip off. I'll catch you around. Bye-bye. See you, everyone. Have a fantastic week. See you on Friday if you can watch the stream then. And if not, just have a fantastic week in general. Damn hag. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.